Hey, did you see uh, the Coachella performance Uzi did? What did you think about Uzi's performance? Uzi is the person who recently came out right isn't uzi yeah this is the queer person right am i wrong uh uzi little vert no little uzi vert has issues definite response to the long-running rumors surrounding their sexuality and clarifying that they are not in fact gay oh wait this is in 2023 but didn't they just come out or they're adopting gender nonconformity and they them pronouns so little uzi vert explains change of pronouns to they them okay that's more recent they okay they're they them as of right now okay um, yeah, no, I, I watched a little bit of Uzi's performance. Bro, oh my god. Yo, did, bro, bro, you, you, like, you like when he did this? Uh, 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 you like no. that? <laughs> hey, yo, yo, first of all, I've met Uzi. I know he's a regular person. By the way, just for the record, I don't think Uzi's homosexual or whatever. I don't even think he's curious. I'm going to tell you where this came from. And I got a theory, okay? Call me cynical, but when it is what it is. I think Uzi was sitting back watching. Cardi wearing that thong. And he said, what? This motherfucker is trying to out gay me? <laughs> sees, he sees Cardi wear the thong. Mm. What? Then he sees his fellow brother. You got to remember, Philly is the city of brotherly love. No diddy. And he sees Meek Mill at the freak offs with Diddy. Busting it wide open, screaming to the rock, get up! He's seeing all of the shit, zesty! And he's like, what? Are they trying to out-gay me? <laughs> and I walked yeah. out there with a Birkin and a crop top, and I'm not going to lie to you, I swear, I love Uzi so much, I don't even think if I interviewed him today, I could ask him about the belly ring. Bro, he had a belly ring in, bro. Okay, no. that's not bad. That's not bad. Why not? So, Why not? I love Uzi. I wait, all right, act, act. Okay, can I just say one thing? No, no, stop. No, 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 no. no, no. Just, I don't want to get blamed. What? No, no, what? I want to hear from Train Rex and yes. XQC on this. Train, is this, Belly is, this, is this the green tea? Far, the green tea shit? The other? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, bro, I went on bro, a this date. This is such a good fucking bro, podcast. I went on a date one time with this fucking girl, and like, we're going to the beach, and she gives me this fucking thing. And I take a I take a, a sip and I almost fucking puked on her. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, I hate that shit. The baba uh, shit with the black balls. No, yeah. not boba, bro. It's just, it just it's it's unsweetened green tea and oolong Nasty. tea. At least get the sweet one. Let me go back to that before I lose train of thought. Academics, and I don't want to take the blame for this because that is not me. I was with Uzi two days ago in the studio. Ah. No, 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 no. One. No, he was dressed normal as fuck. Yeah, you hey, know who. Hey, can you, 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 you ask me a question. What was it? What, what, what do you think about the what? About the what? About, about the belly ring? Yeah, yeah the, the belly button ring. Okay, okay. Listen, the, I, I guess it's. Like I just want to say this is a conversation full of ADHDers. The way they just. <laughs> this is like talking to my family. Like, legit. It's like. <laughs> different convos, different things. Axe said that five seconds ago, and now they're responding to it. And honestly, I'm here for this energy. Like, different, like, culture, vibe, whatever. But in my opinion, okay, like. It's things are only like gay when they're gay. When it comes to fashion, you kind of do whatever you want, right? It doesn't really give you like a lot of like gay vibes unless it's like really, really gay, right? Mm. So I think people like exploring some areas of fashion and looks, I think it's kind of cool. And they try to like, um, make, let's say like maybe break stereotypes or like explore some areas that are whatever. And it's, sometimes you get really positives out of that because maybe it's not the belly button thing, but something else will sprout from that and it's kind of cool or whatever, right? So. It's just, it's just my take. I think that the, the whole the whole gay thing is like whatever. So X, what was your thoughts when Playboy Cardi had on a fishnet? Um, I mean, people have worn for fishnets for like decades now, so I don't think it's a problem. I, I mean, I, no, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, eight, 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 eight. No, 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 hold on. Listen, I love Uzi. I love the guy. He was he's super down to earth, super chill. You know, as you know, I've you know I've I've spoken to him you know multiple times. Really good guy. I like him a lot, but I cannot let that cloud my judgment. Okay, like. Belly button ring, I'm with Ack on this. Belly button ring, oh, yeah, in my opinion, is a little wild. That's, yeah, that's a it. little wild. For, oh, yeah, for in my sure. opinion. Uh, well, Ack, well, Ack, what do you, XQC, he wore a fishnet. What was your thoughts on the fishnet thong? That's fine. Oh, oh the thong oh, thing. Oh, is... <laughs> no, XQC, come on, dude. Okay. You no, know, wait, the wait, fishnet wait, wait, is wait. chill, but the tongue is kind of hardcore for sure. Um, <laughs> like a tongue yeah, ring? Definitely hardcore. Wait, like a tongue ring? 
I remember when my brother came home one day with a tongue ring and we were all like, what is that for? And he goes, you know what it's for? And I'm like, oh, he's straight. I know what it's for. And it's kind of interesting. Like, yeah, straight boys in my bubble were getting tongue rings to indicate that they go down on women. But also tongue rings when girls got it were for blowjobs. So it's kind of funny. Like, it's kind of funny what things mean and symbolize in certain bubbles. But yeah, the boys in my bubble got tongue rings to symbolize that they go down on women. But to be fair, I don't know if any of these many pussies, so. Or. Felix trolling with that one. I know you don't think. I, I mean, no, feel like no, no, the fidgets are fine. The, the, the fidgets have been in, in part of high fashion for males for like a, a, more than a decade now. You see a lot, a lot of. Oh, they mean thong. Oh, not tongue. Thong. Oh, XQC says his TH is weird. Okay, I have to remember he says his TH is weird. So I thought he was saying tongue, but he's saying thong. Okay, well I still stand what I said. I stand by what I said about the tongue rings. Okay. Uh, even some of the big uh, big designers, they do include uh, a fishnet or two every every collection. Uh, oh, for, what was it? What was it that threw you off though? The, the tongue was hard. That's just too hardcore, brother. Hey, hey, like, hey, holy hey. shit, brother. I just give some context to all this fucker y'all are talking about. So, so the alleged thong that that um um Cardi was wearing apparently wasn't a thong. And he's not talking about Cardi B. He's talking about the rapper, right? There's like a rapper named Cardi, right? Young Cardi. Is that their name? Yeah, right? Is that a rapper? Who is that? It's not Cardi B, right? They're not talking about Cardi B. They're talking about a boy, right? Oh, it was like a onesie. It was like a bodysuit. Let me just you know, hold on. Matter. Let me just give some context. We have to graphically, we have to graphically describe it that when you give your opinion, we know what we're talking about. It's one of them joints that you gotta button up. Like, but you gotta like probably lift your Okay, Playboy Cardi. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Ooh, this is a different bubble. Balls up in your dick, and you got a button up right be beneath your gooch. This is meant for females, my brother. So if you're telling me a straight man is lifting his leg up and he's like button up this like thing, and that's why it looks like a thong, are we trying to say like cohesively that hmm. this ass shit like like you got to tuck your balls in your dick to mm -hmm. get the to hit the button on the joint. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Here's my thing about this. I think the method is irrelevant, right? I think, um, especially in fashion, it's the final looks that matter, right? Because right now, let's say I have sleeves like this or whatever, right? But, oh, guys, actually, you guys, I tricked you guys. I was wearing a dress to make this look like this right now. Like, I'm wearing a dress right now. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, does it? Right? So, so if wait, it looks just... like a tongue, right? Well, for people, it's just a tongue. I don't give a fuck if it's a onesie. A two Z is a fucking tri zip or whatever. I don't give a fuck. It looks like a fucking tongue. That's all that matters. Who cares how you put it on? It? Right? If it I literally feel like I'm a fly in the wall and like I'm somewhere I shouldn't be. But also, this is so interesting. I'm fascinated. Who sent this to me? I'm fascinated. Like, this is, thank you, Discord. I appreciate you. This is so, I feel like I'm literally. Could you imagine if you could go into a boy bubble and just eat popcorn and listen to the way they talk? Same way I know men feel about women where they're like, do women talk about this? I'm like, yeah. They're like, <gasps> and I'm like, oh, yeah. Like men, this is on stream, but I would love to see them talk about this. Even this almost sounds like they're not even on stream right now. That's what's kind of funny about it. I'm fascinated. Looks, if it looks a certain way, it is, it is what it is. You know what I mean? My whole, my whole career, I came up off Sauce Joker rappers. I'm out of this one. I agree with you. I'm with you. I think it's a little... Wait, wait. What did you say, Aiden? Say that again? I said my entire career, I came up off of, you know, Sauce Jokes with rappers and shit. Act. You know me? I still think it's overboard. I'm with you on this one. Wait, you're with who? Academics. It's too far. No, no. Hey, hey, hey listen, listen, listen. Hmm. With me, you know, first of all, like, you know... In hip hop, I I've been hearing this excuse really recently. They're like, yo, hey, we're mm -hmm. artists, we're expressing ourselves. So what if we were a thong? It's expression. This is art. And I'm like, if you're an artist, but you're known and renowned for making music, why don't whatever feeling that your thong would, would, would express, why don't you express it there? You want to wear a thong because you want to feel something beneath you. Okay, like like that's like, okay. you, like you have a permanent wedgie, bro. Right, I, 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 I got you on this one. That one you're wrong about. Okay, Ex Go ahead. expression um, with visuals very important, right? The aesthetics of music, what the music looks like, even when music sounds like something. Music. They Madonna never would have been Madonna without aesthetic.
Madonna was all aesthetic. That is what Madonna is. She's obviously not like, it's not like she's there for her voice. Britney Spears is aesthetic. It's not because she's Britney. Sp like Britney isn't a, like she's a strong singer, but she's not like a Christina Aguilera singer, not to compare them. But Britney is aesthetic. Madonna is aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? Like men are also aesthetic. Little Nas is talent plus aesthetic. Like he's not that Madonna isn't talented or Britney isn't talented. I love them. But it's just sort of interesting. Now they're associating it with orientation, which I think is interesting as well. The music always has an aesthetic. It looks like something, right? And when you dress a certain way, right, it's part of the cohesive message you're sending through the music or, or as you walk around, it's who you are, right? Mm -hmm. And these people are more than just their music, I think. They are their looks too. I think that matters as well, right? Agree or not? Uh, I'll just say this conversation would not be happening if it was, say, ASAP Rocky. He is known by any means fashionista, but also under, undeniably straight. I I really love ASAP ASAP Rocky's aesthetic. One, he's very, very good looking. But two, I do like the way he fashions himself. I think it's very, very pleasing. Like, but I do see the high. I don't want to say high, uh, I want to say femme of the femme. Like, he is very aesthetically pleasing. So somewhat feminine, but not really. But like, you know, in a good way. Not that it's ever in a bad way, but yeah, ASAP Rocky is a very specific aesthetic. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, I, I, I get you, but, 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 but we talking about a thong. Like, we, we, you know, we, we talking about something that, like, put like this, as men, mm. if, if, if you could feel comfortable with, like, a string or something that is piercing b between your buttocks, right? Right where your asshole is at and is squeezing or like, I gotta be vivid because like everybody's acting mm. like this is like regular shit. Hey, listen, put it like this. I love train where trains like, hmm, yes, mm hmm, I see. Well, very good. <laughs> Academics thinks about this too hard, bro. He's thinking about this too hard, bro. Anybody, hey, you know, we, we got younger kids in here. Yo, y'all know when y'all been horny in class and y'all got certain type of jeans on or whatever, and it, it's like you're not trying to have your boner show in class, so you almost trying to. If you're a guy, you the way these three, <laughs> the way these three men just went, <laughs> you're trying to maneuver a little bit you away. Tuck it up your fucking belt, bro. Uh, no, I don't know about it. But, but, <laughs> no, he's right. You, you tuck it on the waistline, on, on the waistband. Yeah. Okay. You tuck it like this. <laughs> we know the equipment we got. As men, we know the equipment we got. So we have to kind of move around accordingly. If you got on a ones, yo, I love girls in bodysuits. Oh my God, so great. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so beautiful even when they take it off. But here's the thing. They got to go and when, when they're unbuttoning that junk, that's why we think what, what, what play where Cardi has on is like, if he was a woman, like, I'm, I'm, I'll be wondering if some of these rappers are trans. Like, you don't have a bolt? Like, dog, no, like, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if, what if they like the feeling of the balls getting handled by the, by the fabric? <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, yo XQC, stop trolling me. I'm gonna see you at Red Rocket and I'm not gonna be that happy with you. Stop playing with me. Tell my handle by the fabric. What are you talking about? Okay. What the fuck are you oh, talking okay, about? Okay, okay. Then, then, okay, 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 then you're you're against um briefs. Uh, I'm against briefs. I'm I'm a big anti briefs guy. Oh. You know what briefs no, no. are? I agree. Briefs, briefs suck on your balls. Like oh. they do. Disgusting. They do act. That's true. Aiden, could you, could I send you the link of what he was wearing? Yeah, we send me the link. The, let me the see. I'll pull it up right now. Let me, let me see. I'll pull it up right now. Okay. I let feel me, like, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to say something. Briefs huh, suck on your thighs. Rick Owens bodysuit. Rick Owens bodysuit. What first is it? Bro, up. bro, bro, to tell me that briefs it. don't fucking suck up on you. Like, look at this. There's no equity war, dude. Bro. Like, like dude. <laughs> Aiden. Act, like dude, 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 this, dude, dude, like holy shit! Act, this is not what he was wearing. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Oh, oh wait. which one, Act? Which one? All right, go back, go back. No, go all the way up. Oh, no, it's the third one. It's the third one. Third one on the first line. Third okay, one. Okay, this, this. Okay, let me show see. me. Link it, link it. I want to see it. Yes, there you go. Link it. Cut. Okay. Okay, so this is what Cardi wore. Link no, it. no, no, no. That's that's when it's not pinned. Aiden, that's Aiden, can you link like, it? Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. It. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, but he had it tucked in. Aiden, Aiden, link it. Copy and paste link in group chat. In group chat, yeah. 
I'm just gonna put it in uh, my chat. Is that cool? You click. Yeah, it? yeah I got I'm, it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Bro, I mean, I look at it on Google though. Like, okay, they're showing it. They're showing it. I, I googled it too, and the same picture came up. This is it. So, uh, Playboy Cardi spotted wearing a thong, and it's just like, this is it. Oh, they really investigate. Okay. Yeah, Alice says they're really investigating. They are really investigating. This is so interesting. Um, yeah, see see how in different bubbles, like, they. that's what I'm saying. If this bubble came and observed me, they'd be like, what? You're worried about a man wearing a thong. The last thing I'm concerned about is a man wearing a thong. Like, who cares what a man is wearing, if anything? I don't care if they're going commando. Like, who cares what a person is comfortable with when it comes to their own underwear, right? But they are so like, oh, my God, this means something. Could mean a lot of things. Could mean nothing. Isn't that amazing? Could you imagine they come into this bubble and we're out here talking about, like, what is gender? And they're, like, sitting here like, thongs, thongs. Can you imagine being so in the gender bubble that it matters to you what underwear someone's wearing? But to be fair, and in their defense, my mother also disliked that we were thongs growing up because she felt like that can be comfortable. And why are you always wearing like sex ready underwear? I was like, it's just a thong. Now, in her defense, I hate thongs. I prefer French cut thongs or full cover panties. And I prefer like sport panties or boxers or like briefs, not boxers, briefs. But I prefer like French cut thongs, not like like a I don't even know what they're called anymore, guys. What are like just a. Like a, what's a really thin thong called? Oh my God, I don't remember what they're called. The stringy thongs? Oh my God, it's been so long since I've worn. But I like the French cut, you know, the kind that just covers like, I, my bikini does this too. My bikini is like a French cut. So it's not like the full butt isn't covered, but it's also not a full thong. It's just like a half thong. That's my favorite. I like a half thong underwear. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it up my butt, but I don't need it covering my full butt either. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying... Stephanie said, my grandma got me my first thong. Damn, love that. Kay says, do women wear thongs for comfort? I just think everyone's body is different. G-string. Thank you, G-string. I don't wear G-string thongs. Uncomfortable. But also for fashion suits. You know, I have those for fashion shoots. But yeah, isn't that interesting? Like even underwear is so judged. It's so like judged, which is fascinating. I'm fascinated. Like even, oh my God, do you guys ever... Think about like, I had this anxiety when I was really, really young before I had sex. I used to think like, oh my God, my underwear is going to matter so much. And now I don't even think about it. Bro, you're going to get me naked. Does it matter what kind of underwear I'm wearing? Like, I don't even know why this matters. Yo, XQC is trolling us. No, I'm not, I'm not trolling anymore. He said, he, like, he said it's good when your balls is being handled by the fabric. No, no, Stop. no, 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 no. I said, I said, maybe it's what they like. It. Oh, you know? sweet. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's what they like. X, I linked it. Regardless, guys, speaking of, you know, bro, bro, so that, that, wait, hold on. That still sucks on your junk, though. Like, that, that, right, that we... snatches your package, does it not? Guys, I'm not defending Uzi, but I am. I was just with him two days ago. Listen, what I'm about to say, please. I was in the studio with Uzi. He wanted me to go to Coachella with him. I said, I'll go to Coachella with you, perform by it. Problem was, I've been in six different states in two weeks. I was mentally drained. Mm. I fuck with Uzi. He's a real dude. We have real good combos. Ah, I'm sure he he listened. Yes, no, I agree with that. I agree and train you too. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. I love Uzi. Uzi had he was watching performances. I don't want to say who. I don't want to leak which artists. He was watching other artists' performances. Mm -hmm. Um, legends. I'm talking about legend performances. Um, I'm talking about like past our time, right? And you know, Ak, I want to say. It's like, that's what I feel like Uzi gets the inspiration from. Uzi's a rock star. Mm. I, hate, I, I hate that reasoning. <laughs> hey, I'm a rock star, so I have to be feminine. Mm. I need to. Okay, so Academics is 32. I was wondering how old he was. So Aiden's, I think, 23, 26. I don't remember. And I think the rest are in their 20s still. I think XQC might be older now at this point. But I always wondered how much, how old Academics was. I guess he's 32. This is interesting. I okay. paint my nails. I need to rock thongs. Oh, hold I on. I need now. to have a G-string on. I need to have a bra on. Why are rock stars wearing crop tops? Wait, hold why on. Because it's, it it's sexy. Yo, I'm not going to lie. A man in a crop top, when he got that bod... 
just need a rock star mm. to have a uh, belly boom. Okay, question, okay. Can we just have a conversation about this? Okay, piece? what if it was all true and they were all like a little gay and they were all doing this gay shit because they're a lot, all, all a little gay? Then what? Yo. Oh, yo. I'm asking, well, then what? What's, what's the next movement? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, if he's gay, it's fine. I don't care. I don't care if he's gay. What I'm saying is that I've I've met the real person. I've met the the guy who's Saimir Woods. Mm, see, you're different parts of yourself, though. You're the person you are at work. You're the person in the artist when you're performing. You're the person when you're at home. That's the thing. Is like people are all different kinds of people in different places. This is not what I've seen. Here's what I'm trying to say. You have to pull up the picture of Uzi tonight. He has a Birkin. That's hanging on his hand like this. He has his belly button sticking out with a fucking belly button ring. He's walking <laughs> zesty as a motherfucker. Yeah, like brother. Like I think. Come, come on. I, I really think everybody. Yo, yo you see how he's expanding across? your fan base, brother. If you think about it, dude, he's getting he's getting more, more, more gays into this this whole realm. More fans, more money for everybody else. No, but you, you should be thanking the man. You should be thanking the man. No, but Axe, I think what Axe is saying is because I've talked to Uzi too, you know what I mean? Like outside of, you know, performance where he's not, it's like, he's a real, like, I fuck with Uzi. Like he took me to. It, we all have this though. We're all different off camera than we are on camera, but we're all different in different stages of life. He's as zesty and real as he is not zesty and real. Some people are zesty 24 seven and some people aren't. I know zesty means gay, but like, you know what I mean? Like some people are more in their feminine some of the time more than the time like everyone's different girls it's like they want him to be the person he is with them but also don't we turn on certain parts of ourselves to be around people i think people forget that i think i told you guys this story when i was living in arizona and hanging out with my religious family a lot they started to think like oh my god like britney's dressing so modest and britney's changed so much and then my brother came over to my house one time when like i didn't expect him and he was like holy fuck what are you wearing and i was like well i'm in my house so i'm wearing my normal clothes and I was like, yeah, I obviously dress more modest when I come see you guys. And they were like, oh, I was like, people don't realize what people do for them. Like, I don't know how people, maybe it's just the way that I was raised, but like, don't you think about where you're going and how you'll look and how people will perceive you. So you try to dress appropriately. You know, the idea that all of us are just dressing how we want 24 seven is like such a fucking funny idea to me. So it's interesting that people think like, oh, like, oh, this is, you are the person who shows up my house every day. Yeah, a part of me is. A part of me is the person that shows up on stream. A part of me is the person that shows up. But like the full version of me, uncensored, girls, hello. If if anybody knows, I wear sweatpants and a bra every day. That's what I wear. I don't, this shirt is coming off the moment stream is done. The moment stream is done, I'm, I do not, I wear sports bras all day. That's all I wear. Sports bras and pants, like sweats, not jeans. I don't even own a pair of jeans. So Obviously, even for stream, I put on clothes. I'm like, oh, I'm streaming. I have to go get put my clothes on. It's just kind of funny, you know, or it's interesting because like I don't like if I'm wearing a sports bra and sweatpants, I don't change when my in-laws come over because like they don't care about a sports bra. But if my parents were coming over, I'd put on a shirt because my parents care. Everybody's different. And I do make an effort to make people comfortable around me. Fuck all of you who do not. And you underestimate how much I work to make people comfortable around me. The one place I want to be myself is my stream and I can't even do that because some of y'all want me to talk different. Oh my God, the, the amount of work I do to make people comfortable. I take down art on my walls to make people comfortable when they're in my house. I am, I'm doing too much for you. I'm doing too much for you. I'm doing too much. <laughs> Yo, Ak, you know, he took me to Philly. Ugh. Like he took me like in the streets of Philadelphia for Thanksgiving. And like, I really saw where he was from. So I feel, what Ak, I get what you, exactly what you're saying. Bro, I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. When I'm watching some of this, I'm just like I'm, I'm like taken aback. Okay, but and why? I want to know the nature of your behavior. I want to know the nature of your of, of how are you thinking back and why? Oh, XQC asking the deep questions. Why? Can okay. we explore that? Right. I want to know. Okay, so uh, let let me use you. Yeah. XQC, I've met you in real life. Yep. Okay, if I met you in real life, and I and, and, and say I've watched you on stream too, yep. and I saw you on stream to be a, you're doing flamboyant things, blah blah blah. blah. Yep. I meet you in real life, 
and you're a very regular human being who actually doesn't do that at all. Yeah. I would probably say to you, why do you do that? Because now I'm thinking you're doing that because of entertainment. Ah, oh, but not the reverse. See how people think? Oh, the real you must be the one in front of me. They're all real versions of you. They're just different situations. But isn't it, that's a good, that's interesting logic. Now reverse it. Which one is the real Uzi? The person who performs and is free? Or the person that has to show up and be one of the boys? Probably both of them. But also, isn't it interesting? Like, I get what he's saying. Same reason, like, are streamers the people I meet behind camera or are they the people in front of the camera? They're probably both. Not one or the other. They're both. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it, now, if I met you and the same person you're purporting to be either online, and I'm not saying you have to be exactly who you are in your, in, in your media or whatever, but it's like, my brother, this is extreme. Yeah. I met a very regular person. I didn't meet a guy in a crop top holding a Birkin bag looking like he was saucy Santana. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, uh, good. So that, that, that's a good point. Okay. Then I want you to um, think about moments where you were taken aback, but it wasn't in a gay way. It was another way, right? But you were as taken aback by that, but you didn't bring it up as a concern. And what, what, what that is is probably, let's say Playboy Cardi, one of these times where like, um, you met him probably, or you saw him, and he's very normal and chill. And then he goes on stream wearing a- Rashad Crenshaw in the chest says, I enjoy this crossover. Yeah, this is a great video so far. This is like a great conversation. I love, it's like bubbles smashing against bubbles. And like, I love it. I love, right now, DJ Ack is getting his bubble popped by XQC in the most heterosexual way. A mask, and he goes, He's all mysterious and shit like that. We were all taken aback by that. I mean, I know Aiden was, right? But that wasn't in a gay way, right? But you were as taken aback, and that wasn't really a problem then. But why, why is it a problem now, now that it's more taken aback in a gay way? Like, why is the gay no, one it, out it, of... It, why no, is it off limits in that way? No, 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 no. It was still a problem, though, back then for me, too. Like, my personal experience with Cardi, that's why. But, Ak, you, you answer that. Hey, XQC, I'm glad you're doing this. You're trying to get your little therapist on. I see you with a little fake notepad. Mm -hmm. This isn't therapy. This is philosophy. Why? Therapy is about mental health. This is about values, morals, and why you think the way you think. Mm -mm. I love it. Bro, oh my God. Oh, boy. It's so good. I'm going to answer. Oh, my God, Rashad. Thank you. He says you're part of the crossover. Don't count yourself out. <laughs> I'm one of the boys today. To this question, and Go then ahead. you jotting down notes. Check this out. I'll tell you why I'm a little bit taken aback, right? Go ahead. Um, so... You're right. You're saying if he has a mask or you're not. What I understand that artists do is that they want to create mystique. Yeah. They want to create an air of, hey, I am not the normal guy. This is why I'm great. This is why you all follow me. I don't take a shit and it stinks. I don't put my pants on one foot at a time. I'm this guy, like most people actually, you know why those half a million people yep. watching watching Aiden's stream? Because they don't know what Cardi does. They actually believe like this is a guy who probably lives in a bat cave. They don't think he's a regular human being, right? So that intrigue among, uh, th th that he's created with Mystique it's, has it's worked. An, it's an aesthetic. Right. It's, it's, who, uh, created, it's... who created the Mystique aesthetic? Mm. In my oh. opinion, it was yay. It was yay, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no. many other. No. <laughs> I love it. Was yay, right? It was yay. I love boy bubbles. Do you know? And I don't mean to infantilize boys, but sometimes I think girls are specifically, or people more in their feminine, are genuinely interested in why people do things and why things end up the way they are. But Obvious, like, I sometimes I go into boy bubbles and the way they like act, saying like a thong means this, or Aiden being like mysterious, like Mystique was made by Yay, and I'm like, oh, like I just love, I just love the way they don't know things, but also I love the way none of us know anything. Like I don't know anything. Look, this is a bubble that I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Like I know who everyone is, but also I feel like I'm learning so much. I just love it, and I don't, I don't. I think we're all so silly and dumb, but we all know so much about what we know about. Like they know so much about things I don't know about. But sometimes I just love like listening to people talk and you're realizing like, it's like watching Jojo Siwa say like, oh, I'm going to create something new, gay pop. And we're all like, 
who told this who told this girl the gay pop didn't exist? And that's why we say you got to know your history, right? But also like, uh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, I love this. But that shit go, that shit goes back like almost more than 100 years old. Like it's like in the oh, hundred oh, this, oh, oh. this is something that the humans do in a creative way. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, wow. Feel it. Excuse C. He's so attractive right now. <laughs> He's so attractive right now. What? I love a person who knows stuff. Wow. Oh. <laughs> now I can see. Th this is what I'll say is that, okay, one, oh, thing, one thing is create mystique. The other thing is now trying to create mystique by misleading and also trying to follow an agenda. By trying to act like you're weird, I, I don't penalize that as much because that's not an agenda. That's just trying to act like you're not the normal human being. By trying to act like you're homosexual when you're clearly not. Again, if these individuals were homosexual. Good. Ah, that's good. That's good. Oh, look at look at XQC. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be a problem. Okay. These guys are not gay. Okay. 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 No, 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 no. Hey, no, continue, continue, continue. Go ahead, continue. Oh, 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 oh. Cardi, I, uh, I've heard bisexual stuff, but but Uzi's not gay. Uzi's not gay. He has a public girlfriend that he loves. Well, well, isn't Uzi non-binary? Can non-binary people even be gay? Don't they transcend? I would argue they transcend everything. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm married to a woman, as you know. You know, I know. Veronica says, I love how we as a humanity attach so much to a piece of clothing. I mean... That's what I'm saying. I know everybody always says like, oh, you should have made the levels like names, but everybody knows you don't date a Sagittarius. That's a joke. I don't know anything about signs, but what's the sign that nobody's allowed to date a Pisces? I don't remember what it is, but there's always like a thing that people are like, that's not the thing we do. Oh, if you're a straight man, you can't act gay. Oh, if you're fashionable, you don't dress like this. Oh, if this is this. It's all about creating bubbles, our click, our vibe, our approval. You know, we were we wear pink on Wednesdays. It's about saying like you can't sit with us. Oh, a Scorpio, don't date Scorpios. You know, like Gemini. Oh, wow, all of them apparently. So you know, Celia says as an MB, uh, is always gay. That's true. Non-binary, always gay. That's now that facts okay so again like we all have the version of the thing we're not supposed to do so for g for, a for academics it's like if, it, if you're straight you can't you can't act gay what if he's not acting gay what if he's just i follow a lot of black tiktok and i notice that black tiktok does like to shame women in relationships with feminine men Y'all homophobic as fuck, bro. But I get it. But like they do. Like if the guy the girl is dating is in any way gay or feminine, they're like, they like look at her like who's going to tell her? I don't know if you know this, but bisexual men exist. Pansexual men exist. Women can marry bisexual. Women can marry gay men who are bisexual and pansexual. Or you can be a straight guy and mourn your feminine. Like I don't know if you guys know this. So when I see him teetering on the line of, hey, I am the zesty guy who might be gay, I'm like, you could create mystique without playing into that. And that that actually, it makes me wonder that you don't know the power of you doing it because there's many different agendas. Like right now, we're in the time, and uh, I know I said live on Twitch, but like the trans agenda is existing. Where oh my God, it's existing. Where it's like, no, there's an agenda. Where there is, there there's an agenda. It's an agenda. I love how everyone pretends like an agenda isn't just like a cultural preference. Wanting a Christian nation is an agenda. Wanting everyone to be Muslim is an agenda. Get over it. The trans don't want you to be trans. They want trans people to have the freedom to be trans. You see how there's a difference? There, there basically is. Hey. We should have all people thinking and making these decisions about their gender, and it's a bigger situation than it really is. Not no disrespect to them and not trivializing their issue, but when you see Uzi play into it, it's like you know you're serving another agenda with your attempt to create mystique. Because again, my base wow. argument is that no matter what, these guys are trying to create mystique. Go ahead, brother. Okay, so so something I want to explore, right? Is um. A lot of people sometimes, people will present a certain idea or whatever, right? And then they'll have a reaction 
right? But whatever, it's either gay or trans, now it's too far. Now it's out of control, right? And they created a mistake now for more than, I think, what was it, like five plus years? The aesthetic has been that they've been pushing is satanic, right? It's been happening a lot. Demonic, satanic, um, um, all of that, right? And people weren't too crazy about that, right? But now now that they're presenting like this, this more um, effeminate, maybe a zesty one, Oh no, 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 whoa, that's gay, that's way out of line. So how is it too far out of line with the gay stuff, but not with the satanic stuff? Even though they're not satanic. Do you know these guys that, are these guys really satanic? Do they do rituals? Do they go to the satanic church? I don't think they do, right? The same way that they present a gay idea, but are they gay? No. So why is it so bad when they do the gay stuff, but not, not with the satanic stuff? Hmm. I missed a piece of what you said, but no, you're, you're, okay. So what I was saying is that um, um, the mystique they're trying, to they're trying to create is like portraying something that they're not, right? So like, okay. like you say, you met him, he's not gay, he has a girlfriend, but he portrays a gay idea or portrays a gay a, a, a profile, right? And that you think is, is a problem. And I, I'm not going to say this, whether it's a problem or not, but right. um, then that's too far. People have been saying that's uh, too zesty or that's definitely agenda, right? But what happens? Um, with the aesthetic of like say, say, satanism or whatever, or being satanic or demonic, they've been doing for like five plus years now, right? No. That wasn't too big of a problem, was it? Right? No, no, no. Thank you for restating that because I agree with that too. Okay. I do believe when, you mm. know, for example, when I sat with <clears throat> Uzi in the studio, you know, one of the first things I asked him because there's a very viral clip of him saying, hey, he's telling his audience, hey, listen, if I'm glad y'all all listen to me, we're all going to hell. And he's purported very div uh you know, Lil Uzi Vert, he's played upon that by saying Lucifer. And he's played upon those devilish thoughts as well. And I do think that's a problem too. This isn't stemming from a place of homophobia. Wait, did you? Oh, okay. Well, sure, it isn't. Did you guys see when little Nas pretended to be straight and come back to Jesus Christ and people actually bought it? I don't know how people thought that was going to happen. That's so sweet of you. Obviously not, but I just love that idea of like he played heterosexual. It was so funny. that I was obsessed with TikTok during that era before his album dropped. He's so talented to me, little Nas. But, you know, it's like these people are so afraid of the LGBTs becoming mainstream. And it's just so funny. It's just like, okay, so he's about to say this is this has nothing to do with homophobia. Obia. No, exactly. So I'm, so I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to profile, um, or I'm trying to... Uh, no, I'm to not of you saying that. But, oh, but, no, but yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm against that too. Okay, can I say one thing, please? Can you go ahead? Okay. Okay. Mr. Mr. Ross. As she has, and I have. I'm going to show the picture of me too. Look at my stream real quick, academics. This is, I'm going to pull up mine too, actually. You don't think like I'm okay. just trying to settle you out, actually. No, I'm not going to do that. I did this when I was in eighth grade. I had to do it too. X, obviously, they sent me a picture of you dressed up like this. So if you go to my stream academics, you saw it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot as fuck. You Yo. <laughs> Yo. When I was in eighth grade, I had to do it too. X, obviously, they sent me a picture of you dressed up like this. So if you go to my stream academics, you saw it? Is this XQC in a dress? Can I be real with you right now? XQC has never looked more attractive to me. I've never been more attracted to XQC than I am right now. And I'm married, so it's not for real. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I am very attracted to confidence. Like, I'm just very attracted to confidence. And I'm very attracted to people who, like, don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? There's something very attractive of people who don't give a fuck. But in, like, a – not, like, in a rude way, but, like, an owning the self way. You know what I mean? I do find that very attractive. I think that's why I'm, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ooh, that's hot as fuck. You saw that? <laughs> Did you see it? Bro, pull out Felicia. Hey, pull up, pull up again, pull up again, pull up again. Oh, can I get the? Can I get it again, please? Give me a second here. One second, Ak. I'm gonna show mine too. I need the community to find Keep mine. Keep your too. hands above your head, uh, Ak. When he <laughs> shows this picture. Oh, here, Ak. Ak, look at my look at my stream. Look at my stream. Look at my stream. You might have to do the, the fucking tuck, the uh, the pants tuck. What the fuck? Who's that? That's XQC. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. So I, I've done it too. I've dressed as a girl for my school play. I was Juliet, Romeo and Juliet. Me and XQC, we're not. My little, my little brother had to do a final project for school, and him and his friend made a made a video about how they were gay, 
and they were in love and the, the community tore them apart but they were actually like you know meant to be together and i was like you made a gay film he's like yeah, yeah but like we're not gay obviously i was like i watched it it was the straightest thing i've ever seen like two boys being gay together but it was the straightest thing i'd ever seen and i was like yep I can definitely tell you guys are straight in doing this because they think it's funny. They're like giggling the whole time. But that was their final school project. They got an A plus on it. So they did a good job. But I was crack. It's cr I'm cr I was cracking up watching. It was so funny. But I think there's something about the confidence. Like you're not bothered or threatened by somebody being different from you. It's like even I'm being funny or silly and I'm a boy wearing a dress. Like it is. There's something so secure. I love confidence in a person, you know. Gay. Wait, Juliet was the only role you could get? <laughs> I, I, I volunteered. I, I mean, I, I for extra credit. I get it. I get it. Why are you, bro? That's so cute. What is this? I'm not gay and XQC's not gay. We've also. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm going to keep it a view with you as the only black man in this call. I'm, I'm going to say this because I, I just sat with Adam22 yesterday. And I said, man, y'all got some great white privilege because y'all could bend and bend the, the boundaries of not true. being heterosexual. And, I, and like, like we're having a conversation about uh, the thoughts of having somebody else having sex with like your significant other, and obviously Adam has done oh, that. Oh. Well, we would never do that. That's that's, that's, that's out of control. That's out of control. That's not a white person <laughs> thing, bro. That's that's, that's some cucking. Shit. It is a white person thing because it's a matter of your cultural bubble having the options. So right now, like black people in America, and let's say in general, even though I hate to generalize, if you're heavily religious, you're probably also dealing with like a lot of homophobia and stuff, which is totally normal. And then you have the white communities that are suffering in that way. But so many white generations moved out of religion faster just because like they did. Right. And even for me, remember that I was still the first kid ever to really come out as gay in like the history of my family in a really big way. And I was I'm pansexual. So, you know. As the other gay cousins and all of us started to come out, it became pretty clear, like, I wasn't the only one, obviously. But that was a big deal. So it's kind of like when you're having these conversations, there is going to be different bubbles and different experiences where, you know, academics might feel like he doesn't have this, like, privilege to wear a dress without being heavily judged or ostracized or maybe even denied work or access to things. There's this whole theory that... um Diddy and all these people make men wear dresses as a way to humiliate black men. There's all these theories about like what it means to express yourself. Like I think even Cat Williams said, don't put on the dress. It's a very interesting power play people have. Humiliation is a big deal. And I think there's something about that that's really like insidious and gross that we want to humiliate people. So I think the opposite of the destructive, toxic humiliation aspect of it is actually the uplifting, confident, happy, optimistic side of it, which is like it's just a dress relax. It's just a dress. And look, as somebody who's dated men who wear kilts, as somebody who's dated men who were open to wearing feminine clothing, it's one of those things where, again, like for me, it doesn't matter. When people come into my community and they say things like, oh, but Brittany, you're a woman who works. You keep putting me in a box of some heterosexual relationship I'm not in. I'm not in that bubble. Like my person and I, we don't give a fuck about gender and gender stereotypes. We just want to live our best life before we die. And if that means like I'm going to be a little bit more masculine, like who cares? Or if it, you know, whatever it means, it doesn't matter. You know, just wait until my muscles are so big. People are going to legit, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, just, you just wait, bitch. Okay. You just wait. Anyways, I get it. You know, girls shouldn't have muscles and boys shouldn't wear dresses. And it just feels like, None of that shit matters when, unless you live in the bubble. So in, you know, his defense, he kind of might not have the privilege to express himself in that way, which sucks because he's a part of pushing that stereotype further. Maybe if he, maybe he wants the privilege. Maybe he wants to wear a dress. Shit, like chill. Yeah, we don't do that. Sneeko's black and Sneeko did it. No, no, no. Sneeko's not really black. We got to really. Yes. <laughs> Oh, his 23 and me hasn't came back yet. Yo, don't put him on us. Bro, bro <laughs> said Sneeko does not represent us. <laughs> Wait, isn't Aiden black? Or isn't Aiden's dad black? He just does. He's just white passing. Wait, I'm confused. I thought Aiden was black. Am I confused? Sneeko is not an ambassador of the black, he said. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the theory that cuckism is a natural white man sport. No, no, no. Don't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. That's not. Come on. No. Yo, by the way, I'm trying to get the feds to send me a sample, no Diddy, off Diddy. Of uh, uh, Diddy. You know why? Because Diddy allegedly was into that, jerking off in a corner while his girl was getting fucked. That's not a black man thing. That's a cuck thing. It's a very cuck okay, thing. Okay, let me explain. 
Act, that's just like saying some dumb, ignorant shit like, oh, all black people steal. Like, oh, act, you're only black for sitting here, you steal. Come on, it's the same shit. You can't clip say that. that. Clip that. It's a stereotype. There's going to be a sample. I mean, and it just says, black people steal. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Ax, come on. But here's my boy, academics. Cuckism is not just a race thing. You can't say that. Now, academics, I. It's not just a race thing, but I do think white people kind of engage in it probably more. I will tell you stories, locker rooms, right? Even black teams, black high schools and white high schools, there's still locker room shit that goes on in the locker rooms. Tell me more. So academics, you never went to school uh, with people who are black that never did nothing weird in the locker room? Of course, it happens to black, white, all races. It's not a race thing. I'll be honest, it's so, um, I came over here in middle school, so I, I was really adjusting to culture. Mm. I was like, I, I, I was born in Jamaica, mm -hmm. a, a society oh. that previously was known for a lot of homophobia. Mm. So like, I I was very, if I even saw hints of that, I was very, I, I was up yeah. and protested. Like, you know what I mean? It, it never took, mind. Yeah. It, it took me to college to be able to be like, hey, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm not on some when in Rome, do what the Romans do, but you need to be tolerant. And then, you know, I, I learned a lot about myself and I grew as a man. But uh, mm. so you're saying you used to play gay games in the locker room. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. I mean, dude, it's not gay games, but like, you know, I, there would it be someone around high school, you know, with his dick out, what, whipping it around and smacking us like, sure. oh, hold on, stop. No, whoa, whoa. Sure. okay. <laughs> yep, mm -hmm. yep. As far as I know, seems to be very normal in boy bubbles, but also Steven Crowder and, that's why he liked to walk around and whip his dick on people. But also it's a kind of, okay, straight guys do do that. But also gay guys who are closeted do it as a way to pretend they're straight because straight guys do do it, but it's not gay. It's a very specific bubble. There is a bubble of straight guys that like finger each other up the butt. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not like literally sexually. And then they like to like hit each other or they like, I'm not even exaggerating how many times I've had a boy be like, Oh, yeah, I just texted my dick to my friends because it looked good today. And I was like, bro, y'all crazy, bro. People be mad. People be. OK, I don't know what's up with boy bubbles, but they're all different and diverse. OK, oh, don't do that. We did not hey, do that. I did not know what the hey, boy is. Ex, you dressed up as a fucking girl. We Yo, I, I have to see. Stop, bro. You're not going to send this on me. You're you play, slapping it. Your boys you, you left the room. If you uh, Rashad says black gay jokes and white gay jokes are massively different. Apparently, you played a high school sport before. You've seen some crazy shit in the locker room, and that's facts. And anyone that's actually and I rode the bench, and I'm still telling you I saw some crazy shit in the locker room. You see it. It's not a race um limited thing. If you played any type of sport in high school or even college it, it could sure. be a gen it could be a generational thing it could be a generational thing i think gen z boys are much more comfortable with themselves they're much more comfortable with orientation they're much more comfortable with other people from what i've seen gen z boys seem much much more comfortable with themselves than millennial men could have ever been so i think it's probably like that you know you know what i mean Daisy says, is that why men think sending an unsolicited dick pic is normal? No. Okay. Millennial men that so that sent each other, sent women dick pics, think they're like women like it. Gen Z boys that send people dick pics probably send more of their male friends their dick pics than women. I'm going to be real with you. You know what I mean? But yeah, there is a bubble. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Vibrancy says, look up Myron during the military. Okay. You know what's interesting? Is Myron like Steven Crowder and they're gay? but they're trying to hide it by just doing boy things? Or are they like Aiden, who's obviously straight and doing boy things? Because Aiden's obviously straight, but Myron and Steven, well, we know Steven Crowder talked about being bisexual, right? So Steven Crowder and Myron, I think they're probably bisexual and struggling, but I think Aiden's straight and just like, it's totally straight. It's kind of like when your gay friends, like your gay guy friends, like squeeze your boobs. It's different than when your straight guy friends do it. You're like, oh, it's like one actually is into you and one's just doing it because they think it's funny. And then if you're very comfortable in queer spaces, everyone's every gender, so it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? So Something. it's not racial, but it's when it comes not. back, I have a point about this um, that I want to make it. Um, what? Yo, ah, ack, ack, come back, bro. Ack, come back, bro. Yo, we stopped the cock slapping thing, bro, I swear. Also, Will Smith is a fucking cuck, Ack. Yeah, Will Smith's He's husband. Black. He lost He's it. He's black! 
Like academics, I'm not hearing this race shit, bro. I, I don't even know why race is a thing in within it comes to things. That's so stupid. Like, uh, where the fuck did he go and now train? He's probably in the bathroom. <gasps> What the fuck is going on? Yo, 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 AK, come back, bro. So, one thing I want to bring up is that um, I think that the black community definitely self-regulates and um, way, 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 way more. No, no. Um, so, you know, like, I I feel like, um, so what, what I, see, I see, at least I see on the internet, whatever, right? There's a lot more like, oh, dude, like, s stop acting white or stop doing, doing this to each other, right? Much more right. than people do that. Um, with white people, white people don't don't go on and say, "Oh, dude, like like stop at, stop acting black or whatever." Like people, it it's not as common, right? So when it comes down to like homophobia and and gay stuff, I feel like they like self regulate whenever you think it's uh, uh, appropriate or not. The gay stuff way more, and they're way more like um, aggressive with how they do that compared to in my opinion, um, white people. It's just it's just what it is. It's just from what I see. And maybe I'm wrong about that. I'll, I'll ask AK. Yeah, ask AK. Ask AK. Go ahead. No, AK. it it seems to be it, it does seem to be a okay. uh wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. It does seem to be like a like for example, right? Actually, you know what? AK, you answer first, and I'll give you my tip. Okay, okay, AK, did, did you hear what I said? Or did you not hear? Well, uh, okay, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Something I've noticed is um, the it seems like the uh, black culture or black communities they self-regulate. A lot more and they hold each other like accountable and, and, and call each other out uh, a lot more um, than white people do right when it comes down to uh, uh, behaviors and also um, homophobic be uh, uh, fucking uh, gay behaviors right so it seems like they're more aggressive with each other right when you're like oh dude you're acting gay or being zesty or whatever mm -hmm. then the white yes. people do it like a lot lot more and yeah yes it's, it's, I, I, I'll try to offer an explanation for that um, I, I believe what's ingrained in the culture and also, you know, for yes. like black people, African Americans is that we've been almost indoctrinated to believe that an, um, one of the ways that we were attacked were, was that the black male was such a dominant figure just in society. Yeah. The way to really attack that, the, the, that, um, that group of people is to get the black males more docile is mm. to emasculate them. And um, yeah, so we're very sensitive towards, hey, you Losing know, like that image, eroding it, that, that standard. No, of course, like, for example, in, in our communities, like Cat Williams went on Shay Shay, Club mm -hmm. Shay Shay, and he was just like, yo, mm -hmm. these comedians have to wear dresses as black men. And, and that's seen as a thing because it's seen as a sign of emasculation. Now, granted, has comedians, like whether black, white, Indian, Asian, whatever, have they taken on different roles and wore costumes or even wore in dresses over time? Yes, but it is a sensitive and sore spot when it comes to um, mm. black people because we... I think this is very true and I think he's explaining something that is just a fact for certain people in this bubble. And I would say that that's why I think it's generational as well. Because you don't have to raise your kids with those generational curses, but at the same time, they are they are coming from culture, and culture is really difficult. The bubble is screaming at black men to perform, to appear masculine. Somebody used the word machismo in the comment section. Usually, men, I hear machismo, and I see this as a suffering. I see this as a, an adjacent word to toxic masculinity. These men that are willing to hit their women, often machismo is associated with, I think, the Hispanic bubble, right? So there's like this association with like, I'm so, I have to be so toxic and so tough in my machismo and all this stuff that I'm willing to show that through violence. And so I think I, when I think of toxic masculinity, obviously not that tox masculinity is toxic. I consider myself pretty masculine, but that there's like a toxic relationship with that masculinity, right? That's what we don't want. Same with toxic femininity. So I would argue that in some bubbles where masculinity is praised, all femininity is seen as toxic unless it's coming from women. And then in other bubbles, some women see femininity in men as also like not okay. And I would just say this is a bubble cultural thing. But I would say this is an opportunity to change that if we want to. Like Arab men are very feminine. Like I don't, Arab men are a mixture of very masculine and very feminine. And I think that's what I love about 
you know, Arabs. It's what I love about my own people is I think we're so attractive because we are a beautiful mixture of feminine and masculine. Our women are, our men are. I just think we're so complementary as people. And I think we embrace that. I mean, I would argue that like, hygiene and cleanliness is also a part of femininity. So that's like very feminine, but at the same time, you're very masculine. Like I feel like my farm brother is very masculine, though there are traits of him that are feminine and then other people are very feminine and then there are traits of them that are masculine. So it just depends on how we're having the outlook, right? What we're exactly talking about. So I think um, academics is making a really good point here, but I would offer him an opportunity to change that if he would like to. But then I don't know if he's ready to make that change. I don't know if it's important enough for him to advocate for it. Are looking at that to say, is is this like a method of trying to emasculate us and, mm -hmm. and make us soft and kind of like, you know, yeah. yeah. Understood, understood, but I feel like with this, with, if that was the narrative, right? Um, the white people are emasculating themselves at a much higher pace and a much much higher rate density than white people. Let's, let's be honest, um, I, I mean, it feels to me like like white people, right, do the the whole the whole uh, zesty dress thing. I mean, way more, right, and exploring these areas a lot more. But it seems like when black people do it, they they really go against it like really hard, and they're like, oh my god, why is this guy doing this? Why is he so <coughs> zesty? Why is he so gay? And it's like, okay, I think everybody's exploring more and being more out there, and it's just like a an overall state of things. I think it's more like hey. a rap culture thing at this point. I, I'll, I'll try to explain a little bit more of that because it's not only black people. It, it, it's it's when you're a minority, you, you see the majority gets to have gets to not move on groupthink and gets to not be, you know, almost like uh, um, profiled in, in, in a sense. For example, you know, the majority of of you know any racial you know makeup in the United States is is, is, is white people, right? Yep. If one white guy says, okay, I like my girl being fucked and he's a cuck, we don't like, we're not going to say all white people. I don't know if I've joked about, but we're going to say all white people are cucks. Now, if one black guy does something profound or distinct that is kind of against what people, whatever, people now think that's indicative of all black people. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, okay. You become a stereotype faster. Yeah, I think that's probably true in certain bubbles, but obviously we have Prince and all the and little Richie and um all these other black men who embraced femininity and uh, exaggerated fashion aesthetic who kind of also didn't and weren't enough to impact all of black culture. So there's that as well. I would say that it just depends on who you're who like literally everything is bubbles. Who are you surrounded by? Who is telling you this? Who is your echo chamber, right? Like, are are you sure that's what's happening? Or does it just feel like that's what's happening because that's what's happening in your world? Which, by the way, is and could be and feel like the whole universe. If you never leave your small town, you're going to think the whole world revolves around your small town, which is why we watch these movies of people going from small towns to big cities to learn like the world doesn't operate the way you do. And I think we forget that on the internet. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. The world doesn't operate the way you do. Now, people are the same everywhere. So even if you go to an Arab culture and you go there, they're going to have pockets of people that are experiencing the same thing. Here's the place where feminine people are more accepted. And here's the place where like less feminine people are more accepted. And here's the thing where this is accepted. And it's like everybody's going to have this. Again, every category of person exists in every culture of people. And every culture of people is their own category against another culture of people. This is why this fear of like, what if the whole world becomes Muslim, Brittany? It's like, okay, what if the whole world becomes Christian? <gasps> yeah, but wouldn't that be beautiful? Yeah, but Muslims feel the same way. Muslims feel the same way. What if everyone became Muslim? How beautiful would that be? Like, if you have this fantasy that your thing is the right thing, which most of them do, then of course you're going to think it's beautiful that everyone's going to be like you. To be afraid that the whole world is going to be Muslim is to be afraid the whole world's going to be Christian. We're all afraid of living in a world where we don't get to be ourselves, which is why conversations like this are scary because it feels like if you're a minority, you are going to be judged. You are going to be the thing that people judge your minority thing on. And that sucks. Nobody should have to carry that burden. And it does suck that that happens. Sometimes, what did I get yelled at? Wait, 
we're good now, but I think Fairy Queen did that. Who was it? I think it was RJ and me. I could be wrong, but I think RJ and I were on a panel and Fairy Queen came and yelled like, you're the reason women have a hard time in this space. And I was like, I don't want to be in this space then. Because like if I have to represent all women when I'm obviously an exception, like, <laughs> but see, I'm not an exception in a bubble full of like very motivated women. If you go to a bubble with very strong women who are incredibly deeply motivated and very independent, I'm not the exception. I'm probably like everybody else. I'm average. But if you compare me to a woman who's like desperately worried about having to work a day in her life because she thinks like that's not what she should do as a woman, that of course she's going to look at me like, whoa, what a different world you're living. And I'm like, sure, I guess. It just depends on what bubble you're in, right? But I think like just having that pressure of like you're making harder for women in this space, then it's not a good space. If women have to work hard to be seen as valid in a space, the space isn't worth it. It's not worth it. Honestly, like it's not. So then every minority can decide like, is it worth working hard for you to be seen as people in this space? Or is it better to move out of this space and go somewhere else? The earth is a big place, guys. The earth is a big place. But if you want to stay and be an activist and change tides, that's okay too. That's just as valid. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, like, that, that's like, correct. Like, like, a, a good example like, of that is like Middle Easterners, right? Like ooh, us. back when the Oklahoma – or what bombing was it where the white guy drove his truck into the building and he blew yeah. that shit up? No one, no one said all white people are terrorists. Right. But w once a Middle Easterner does some shit, right. all Middle Easterners are terrorists. Mm -hmm. So like th that's a good example to that. Yeah, and, and by the way, it's not only for – African Americans and black people, like it goes on to like say like Mexicans, like you know you'll have certain an identity about all Mexicans mm -hmm. that probably w was created by a like obviously when I say like oh these fucking white men am I right I'm not talking about all white men guys I married a white man right like I'm not talking about all white men I'm talking about a specific category of white men that we're talking about just like Axe isn't talking about all black men he's talking about because he's not talking about little Nas right now right. When he's saying black men, he's not talking about little Nas. Unless you talk about little Nas representing gay men, and then he is talking about little Nas. Like none of us, when we say men or women, could ever be talking about billions of billions of billions of people. Even when people say like men are like this generally, there's no way you fucking believe that half the planet is like that. There's no way you believe half the planet is literally a monolith. And if you do, you're brain dead. But I know you don't believe that. I know you don't believe that. Because you know you don't see it. It's not even in the data. I know you don't mean that. And I know you know data is bullshit, but it's also good. Look, I think everyone has some of the truth and some of the bullshit. And I think if we put, this is, oh, this would be so ideal. If we could put all of the world's knowledge into like a little shifter. And when we moved it like this, only the truth, you know, all the bullshit came out and only the truth stayed in the shifter, like a flower shifter. You know what I'm talking about? Then all of our ideas together, all of us would have some some part of the truth at like he is saying some of every guy in this panel has said something that is true and something that is false that is how everyone is to me everyone has a little bit of the truth and a little bit of the false but see we get it into our heads that we have 100 percent of the truth no impossible how could you as an individual ever think you knew everything about the universe or the earth or other people how could one person hold that much knowledge how could even one peoples hold that much knowledge how could you be so arrogant as to think we all have the knowledge? No, we don't. You know, what do you mean a shifter? Isn't that what it's called? What is it called? The flower sifter? 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 You know when you put your flower when you're making cake and you put it in the sh 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 and it like, what is this called? Or a strainer. Think of a strainer. Strainer's better. You, you're using a strainer to get out the bad bits or to keep in the good bits and to move it under the water. You ever use a strainer? You guys know what a strainer is? Like for salad and you're washing out all the dirt and then all the dirt falls but keeps the good. You know what I mean? I think if we did that universally, like all the people, every every civilization would have part of the truth and part of the lie. That's the problem. We all think we hold truth. We only hold some truth. Some. A few. is It's not everyone. And you almost start thinking about that entire lineage of people as this one thing that was created by some, not all, and they don't get to move uh, um, move like, you know, independent thinkers. It's like a monolith, right? While with white people, we'd be like, oh, okay, well, all right. Well, you're into guns, 
but this Oof. guy isn't. It sucks, I just give me right? a tough. This guy's give me a really really tough take. But um, I hope I don't. I don't. I hope I don't get canceled for that. It seems like the difference is inherent. Probably just woke up. He's like on a shit. He's taking notes. He's ready to the Bro, I love it. Bro, <laughs> it seems like inherently the nature of this is uh, the motive, right? Mm -hmm. If your motive to do something is religious, right? And you're of that religion, people will be uh, combative and will paint you in a certain way, right? But if you do if you do something of terror or something massive as a white dude because you're mad you got broken up with, of course it'll be portrayed differently. Do you agree with the inherent difference between the two of them or not? If you commit an act- Oh, he just explained bubbles so well, huh? Of, of a terror, of grand, <laughs> of grand harm, in the name in, of a religion, mm -hmm. you are now doing, committing an act of terrorism. Mm. If you do it because you're upset, right? It has nothing to do with religion. Unfortunately, for uh, narratives, it's not terrorism. So it's irrelevant what the person looks like or their ethnicity because the motive isn't the same. Yeah, well, I mean, it bleeds into a lot of things. Like, for example, in media, right? Like, you know, um, if, for example, a, a guy goes crazy and he takes an AK-47, he walks into a school and he shoots a bunch of kids. And I'm saying this because I hope this never happens. And I hate to have to use the example, but we're just trying to have a conversation. And let's say, you know... Within our community, we're, we're always like, we're always like, like I hope this guy is in black, right? Because he's gonna further a narrative that everyone's gonna suffer from. If it's a white guy, no one's gonna say all white guys are school shooters, right? If it's a guy who's of, you know, he's a rab or whatever, uh, they're gonna be like, yo, that, that motherfucker is a terrorist. Okay, let let's figure out who. But that's also bubbled, because obviously, in Arab guys, if you're in an Arab country and an Arab guy stabs a bunch of people at a mall. They're not going to be like, I wonder if he was Arab. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if you're in, like, a place in China and someone stabs somebody, they're going to be like, I wonder if the guy was Chinese. It's just because America is diverse. And because it's diverse, it also has a majority. And the majority is built off that, like, racist narrative. And so the racist majority gets to play a game of, I bet I know what ethnicity that guy was. And they get to play into the stereotype. Because minorities are often like that's the pain of being the minority, right? He's right about that. So obviously, it's also a bubbles thing in a lot of ways, which is why a lot of minorities are moving back to their original home countries, like their ancestors' home countries, because they're realizing like it's too hard as a minority to try to like appease the majority. But that's also why activism is so difficult, because you have to convince people to judge to judge you in a neutral way, which is really difficult because we don't. We don't always do that, right? And now school shooters, I would argue, are being stereotyped as white people. I would argue that a white guy with a gun is stereotyped as a school shooter much more frequently now because the last so many school shooters have been white boys. And by the way, all of them guarantee you mentally disturbed. Nobody is just a school shooter with no motive. They are mentally disturbed people. These are sick people. But yet, we're, and see, we're not ready for that conversation. We're not ready for the conversation after that, which is like, Hey, a lot of these people are incredibly sick and obviously like ideological, right? Some of them are like that racist kid who shot people at the grocery store. That was obviously super racist and ideologically based. And at the same time, you know, I, there's a lot of layers to this. So, you know, when we're having these conversations, it's all an idea of like, how do I want to play into this? Like, I don't know if you're watching the protests that are happening at the college campuses right now, but even watching that happen and watching all these kids try to stand up for themselves and then watching the military just deploy to kind of like move them aside and watching the way people are reacting to things. It's like the 1960s all over again. And it's all cycles. We're all just like living in cycles. I'm almost done with meditations. And as I'm listening to meditations, he is talking about the same shit we're doing now. It's so beautiful listening to someone thousands of years ago talk about the same shit we're doing right now. The world doesn't change because people repeat history and people repeat history because we're literally all just living these repetitive, these generational curses, these sort of lessons we learn and harbor and teach to our kids and it goes in cycles. Boop, 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 boop. You know? Mm. Who sent him? You I don't I mean? even agree with that actually. Really, you not don't? True. It's usually no, it's about, true. it's, I it's have to be honest with you, um, you know, the public is brain dead. People catch on to a lot more onto uh, motives and narratives a lot more than just, <laughs> than just imagery. I'm not kidding. Um, 
if if somebody does something in the name of something or or religion, brother, it's it's very impactful. People catch on to that, right? But just somebody looking a certain way, I I haven't seen that be a a, a big thing. That maybe that's just my my analysis is just bad. Um, if it's usually the motive, you know what? Like you know what I'm talking about? Like a, a motive. If you go and shoot you and say, dude, that's because of um this religion. Well, of course, if we're gonna say like, oh, dude, um, all people of that religion are this way because the people are gonna be upset, and of course, but somebody does and shoot you with people for like, oh, because I got bullied. It's a complete different ball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a completely different ball game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. All right. to, to, to put it and crystallize it when it comes to like this is like, for example, and and I'm being honest because I'm a black man. But when I get on a plane, and anybody who's ever watched Soul Plane, <laughs> when you get on a plane, and y'all are white, so y'all can't say it because y'all will call y'all be called extra racist. But with me, if I see a motherfucker with a turban, I'm looking at him with a couple extra. I'm like, you good? <laughs> are we straight? Are we good? Now, <laughs> man, that's, that's because y'all are you, know, you see y'all are laughing. Aiden and Train laughing is so funny. As an Arab myself, it's not funny. I don't really look at Arabs funny. I don't. It's hard for me to look at Arabs funny. I'm going to be real with you. I don't have no Arab trauma. But I'll be real with you. Arabs have trauma from other Arabs. It's real. It's real. But yeah, I don't have any trauma about people on planes. I'm not afraid of flying. I get anxious flying. Like, I'm anxious about the plane going down. But I'm not anxious about terrorist attacks. I have zero anxiety about terrorist attacks, but I have so much anxiety about an engine blowing out for no good reason. Y'all are laughing, and I'm not saying it on a hateful level. That's letter. crazy. No, I know you're not. I know. Bro, you're bro, 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 Aiden. No, it's not crazy. It's no, not I don't crazy. Mean, I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. I added, I added. It's because we've been indoctrinated <laughs> to think that certain things, like just like, for example, if you heard certain crimes, <laughs> you would be like, Oh, a bunch of dudes like just killed each other on some like gang banging, blah, 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 blah. You're going to be like, oh, they're probably like some black dudes. Like, bro, bro, yo, let me tell you this. One thing, you know, even yo, though bro. I don't support racism in any manner or prejudice at all, right. but I would never sit here and be stupid and act like us as humans because we we are living all like the same life. We all have prejudice and bias. The question is, which one is yours? You know, you know, and you know, data supports a lot of our bias. That's why women choose men in our bears instead of men in forests. Like, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, the whole, like, would you rather be with a man or a bear in a forest? My husband and I just spent time asking Alexa, like statistics, because I was like, how many people are killed by bears? It's like 40 a year globally. How many like are killed by like men or, or homicides or whatever? It's like 200,000 something a year. Like, you are it's like one in a million chance of getting killed by a bear versus like one in i think like 44 i think 44 deaths happen a year in america 44 homicides hope happen a day sixteen thousand a year something like that and so we were just like yeah no we'd rather take our chance with a bear right like even a bear because you're thinking again the scenario is different in everyone's heads but that's the prejudice also of like ooh, i just know like i'd i know a bear will kill me and i know a man might do awful things to me before he kills me if it's the worst case scenario right so it's not a race thing but it could be a gendered thing but it might not be a gendered thing in the future it just is right now but also men are the ones who taught me growing up to be afraid of men because they know how bad men can get trust me i know how bad men can be and i'm like okay well you know so it's like kind of funny when we talk about it and i know okay listen for guests you said not really comparable statistics i disagree just like I know everyone keeps saying that, like, oh, well, you don't see a bear every day. But you know how many people I know have gone camping with bears? And like, again, it's it's not the scenario. The scenario isn't the statistics. The scenario is worst case scenario with the bear, worst case scenario with the man. The worst case scenario with the bear is still better than the worst case scenario with the man. The best case scenario with the man and the bear is the same. So anybody would choose the best case scenario, but you're not allowed to choose that. So again, I don't know why people aren't like, Stop getting sensitive about it, okay? We're talking about worst case scenarios here. So anyways, worst case scenario on an airplane is the plane goes down. I don't care why. That is the worst case scenario. I don't care why. So it doesn't matter if an Arab did it, like, you know, accol you know accolades. 
<laughs> academics is saying, or if it's just because an engine went bad. I think the worst case scenario there is my plane is going down. I don't care why. For like these parallel lives, we do take information that we have and we make assumptions quickly. Right. So like, that's a stereotype. That's a stereotype. Are, are, yeah, so, yeah, some yeah. of them are shaped by stereotypes by certain things that we see in a society doesn't yeah. make you a bad person. Now, of course, if you're acting on them where you're like, hey, every black person, you know what I mean? Every person who has this on, I'm gonna act a certain way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, so it's act, a, everything, so, hold on, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Is it something that you do mentally or do you do you materialize these thoughts mm. into action? Do you say, hey, yo, dude, let me check you for a bomb. You don't nice. do that, right? Like, no, you do that in your head. Right? It's, all about how you're, it's, it's almost implicit. Like, like, for example, I don't believe that the majority of police officers are bad. But do I believe if they pull over somebody mm. and they walk up to the car, they see a dude with gold teeth dreads, <coughs> and they smell a little bit weed that they would. I do think I do have a prejudice against cops. Not all cops, because I don't think all cops are bad cops. We have a couple cops in the family and they're good people. But I've seen The Departed, OK? <laughs> It's a really good movie. It's really sad, though. But, like, I know every time I see a cop pull someone over, I'm always like. I'm, do you know what I'm saying? When, when they go back to their car, they're thinking, this motherfucker probably got the shit on him and he got a gun. Bro, we have to be very honest. Like, in life. We oh, yes. Yes. Like, like, we move off patterns. We move off behaviors. Yes. That does stereotypes. Are, are those things prejudicial? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just try not to materialize that into a way. Okay, 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 listen. What I'm telling you is that the way <laughs> the way I think you navigate the world is by materializing those things in a way that doesn't impact them or they see that and they feel discriminated, right? So you, we as humans were designed to judge. You was like, oh, I don't judge. If you don't judge, you're a fucking moron and you're designed to die. Right. Mm. In the religious sense, I never judge. I don't judge to condemn, but in a survival sense, like XQC, XQC is saying, obviously we have to judge. We have to come to a judgment. Now the question is, is that judgment within reason? And ultimately I don't like look at anybody and think like, oh, they're gonna be the worst person in the world because they're this. It's more like, hey, I don't know if you're gonna be the worst person in the world, but I'm just gonna be extra cautious around you because you might be similar to that other person I had to deal with, or you might not be. And so again, it's like one of those, like how far do you take that prejudice and bias? Are you like, you know what I mean? That's the question. That's the part where society struggles because that's why I think root of like the fear or the uh, root of all evil is like fear. Fear is the root of all evil because fear brings out that bias and prejudice and makes you act on it. And you can't be acting on things without the right data. That's why self-defense is valid, but you can't preemptively defend yourself and kill somebody because you thought they looked suspicious, right? Okay. You need to judge at every single time because that's how you survive as somebody. You go out in the real world. I see some people. I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna go the, the left way. I'm not gonna go to the store. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play my cards right. I survive, right? You have to judge. That's just how it is. Otherwise, you fucking die as a species. Okay. So it's then, true. so that as long as you don't materialize that in the way that the other person sees it and you feel discriminated, you're all good. It's whenever you materialize that in the way that you vocalize that to the other person and they feel they feel little or less for who they are, that's not fair for them. And that's how you should you, that's where you should draw the line. I think you're both saying the same thing relatively, right? You're both just saying like th these judgments exist, but you obviously never take action on the judgment, right? And that's what X means when he says materialize them. Obviously, ideally, we're trying to move away from that original judgment. Hopefully we reach a time in the world where we can move away completely from those original judgments. Never gonna happen because parents teach their children their fears. Never gonna happen because parents teach their children their fears. It's never gonna happen, right? We have new babies and new babies have to learn new cycles and parents teach their children to be afraid of people that are different from them. And then they listen to their parents talk and they hear who their parents don't like. Like, like DJ Ack. Like his kids are probably going to hear him here say like, oh, why does this person act more gay than they need to? And the kid's going to internalize it and then it's going to continue a cycle. And then someone who's white is going to say, oh, why this guy's acting so black? And then their kids are going to be like, I, I shouldn't act black. I shouldn't act gay. Like, no. No, it's never going to stop. Humans have never stopped. They're never going to stop. You can only ever impact your direct communities and hope that it like moves society forward. Now, humans as a whole are getting better.
but it's a very slow process, right? There's just like no reason for us to think that racism is going to die when we're having new babies every day being born into racist homes or people's homes who don't think they're biased or prejudiced or the fact that we're raising kids in a world that is dealing with so much recent history. Stop pretending like interracial marriage wasn't just legalized in the United States. We still have people alive today that knew grandparents who were slaves. Like again, humans, we're moving very slow. Oh my God. I was reading, so in in meditations, I think it's in book four, I'm not sure, but there's a, there's a passage where Marcus Aurelius is saying, he's saying something like, something very profound, like um, when you get to this state of, of meditation, you, you, you realize how beautiful the flower is and how beautiful the skin of an old lady is. And then he says something, and I'm so, I'm butchering the quote, I'm butchering it, but he says something like, you... You're grateful for the seductive nature of your slaves. Oh, no, your boy slaves. And I'm like, my who? My who? I was like, who? Like, I was, I'm like listening to meditations. I was like, this is such, oh, this is vibes. And then all of a sudden he's talking about like the sedu- seductive nature of your boy slaves. And I'm like, who? 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 <laughs> like, okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. But okay. Mm, see how I was on board and I'm like, hmm. So even these great philosophers, these great minds, nobody is perfect. Not me, not you, not your mom, okay? There's a lot of wisdom in people, but I'm not convinced anyone dies wise. I'm not convinced fully wise. Ma'am, th- meditations is supposed to be one of the most like wisdomous wisdom things. And this man talking about his slaves, okay? <laughs> And the His boy slaves, okay. But I think you're both saying the same thing. Yeah, I exactly. Think right. What yeah. I want to add in, can I, let me add yeah, in go, this go, real go, quick. Go, 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 go. Academics, yeah. it's like this, bro. Your 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 judgment for sure. Us human beings, we all judge. If I'm walking in Little Haiti, which is you know a, not a nice area in Florida, and I have five black guys with you know Florida dreadlocks, and they're walking towards Nick. me, Nick, yeah, I, you know what they say. This is on my chat said. You know, if you're if you're if your head is nappy, you means your credit's crappy. That's what somebody in my chat said. I um... no that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, says you. That's racist for two reasons. That's racist because that's racist in two ways. Bro, bro, you bro, says you. No, how are you gonna say that? You just said something about a turban. What is this? Look, let me just up. Listen, act. Okay, when I say everybody's racist, I mean every kind of person is racist. There are Arabs that are racist and blacks that are racist and whites that are racist. It's not every black person is racist. Not every single person is racist. But I do think every group on the planet has their own version of racism, okay? Everybody's in a tribe and everybody hates everybody outside the tribe. And that's just how it is. If there's four dudes walking. And then there's those people's kids who all get along anyways. And hopefully we'll be the kids that get along anyways. For real, you know, they happen to be African American, and I'm walking in Little Haiti. My judgment might be to be afraid, but if there's four white dudes walking in Little Haiti, you know, my judgment would be chill. But which one is the one that's doing the crime? Choose which group. What is your thought, to academics? The black group or the white group? Who's doing the crime? The ones who does the crime. What? Oh, yeah. Good you answer, XQC. Thank you. Good answer. I don't know who's doing the crime, but I'm gonna go off what I've heard. Either from the news, I've heard from other people, what I've seen. That's kind of crazy. That's interesting. I mean, I, I'm glad that he's like talking about it. Also, this hair right here is really pissing me off. Look at it. Look at it. No product. Just no love. Hair. What are you doing? Um, I kind of like that he's being honest and saying like, this is my prejudice and this is my bias and this is the thing. And I hope he works on that. And I do. But I think it's kind of refreshing to talk about it because I know people get very defensive. Like again, okay, we all look at people a little suspicious. I tend to look at men a little bit suspicious because of the statistics and also my own personal like anecdotal experience with them where I'm looking at them like, "Mm mm-hmm. But obviously, see when XQC talks, I feel safer with him because when he talks, he makes me feel safer because he's more inclusive and feels less threatening. When DJ Academics talks, I feel a little bit more afraid. And then Aiden, I'm never afraid of Aiden. I could beat him up, right? And I could take him in a bear. And then Train, I don't know much about Train, but he's not saying much either. So kind of neutral on him. But in terms of being LGBT or gay or whatever, obviously I'm going to feel safer with XQC than with DJ um, Academics, right? And I think that's the point is that you feel safe with people based off how they talk about you. Like with men, I'm always paying attention to how men talk about women. 
because that tells me how I can feel about you. Any man that is offended that a woman would choose a bear over a man, I look at you a little bit more suspiciously because now you are not validating the fear that the woman has over the worst case scenario of what it means to be with a bad man. And you're projecting yourself into a weird, like a weird scenario that had nothing to do with you. So it's it's kind of interesting. Seeing, I'm going on personal experience. You get what I'm saying? Like, listen, we're going through life and we're learning. I always say this. Experience is the best teacher in life and it only teaches you the lesson after you've taken a test. So like Hindsight. you going through this life, you're going to know in certain situations and a lot of things are going to kick in. You're going to be like. I do think that if you use wisdom, whatever that means, or at least insight to know, you'll be able to tell, like, is this a man I should be afraid of or not? And often it's like, no, but also, you know, it depends. It just depends. Like what, you know what I mean? Like you have to have a good judge of character. Otherwise you'll miscategorize people. That's why I'm so big on categorization. Because if you miscategorize somebody, if you look at an Arab and you miscategorize them as a terrorist, you're about to do a horrible thing to somebody. If you do not appropriately assess what you're looking at, you're going to make a mistake. And that's what's horrible is you're going to impact someone's life. The reason I'm so cautious about labeling people things is because I want to label you correctly. Because if I don't label you correctly, like you could cause a whole person's life to be destroyed, right? While still recognizing that perfectly good people mislabel people all the time. The world is the way it is because we're constantly mislabeling people. And so my my brain is so specific about categorization because I want to make sure that we're being, because like, again, a certain categorization kind of allows for a certain reaction. And so you want to be careful about who you put in which categorization. Like, well, in this neighborhood, I've seen on the news that these niggas do crime. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, hey, if you clutch your purse or you whatever, whatever, like, I'm not going to be the person who would be like, nah, yo, you're the racist guy because you're walking through O Block and then you're like, you're like clutching on. No, them niggas is doing all type of crimes. That's what I heard. T I do it too. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not the person that would say that. But, you know, th that's one of those things where I'm like, yo, I think sometimes we are quick to label people as racist because they're in survival mode. Survival mode don't mean you're a racist. Racist to me means that you genuinely don't like a specific group or people or creed of people or race of people. And you're taking steps to make sure you either avoid them, put them in, in, in disparaging situations or, 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 or situations that wouldn't help them out. Or like you're doing things because you don't like that group. Now, you being fearful, I call that ignorant mm. most um, of the times. You know what I mean? Because I guarantee you, if I walk through motherfucking, like, I promise you, it, like, like, and again, I'm, I'm not saying these, I'm, these are not jokes and all like that, but if I walk through, and I'm going off what I learned from CNN and Fox News, if I walk through Iraq and I hear three beeps, nigga, I'm running. Feel what I'm saying? I'm thinking, like, this about to be. Yo, it's a suicide bomb or somewhere. I'm like, I don't know what's going on a bit. But that's what I've been indoctrinated because of the news. They, they've told me that people from this area, they might move like this. Again, no, but I'm not I don't think bombs beat, that's, to be honest. Yeah, look, that's caused from like a fear mongering, right? right? No, no, at, at that point, that's caused by a fear mongering, right? Like in, in my opinion, right? It's right, fear mongering. Right, but that, that that example you gave of or Aiden gave of an in a neighborhood, right? So let's say let's say a certain neighborhood had a high crime rate, right? And there was two groups. Like I'm scared of every group, not because of the people, but because of the Area. statistic of the high crime rate. Correct. You understand? Like, sure, maybe in your life you've gone through something where you know certain people have been more aggressive in a certain neighborhood. Exactly. That's fine. That's for you. You know, obviously you, you should move that fear and not think irrationally and think, okay, you know what? This is just a neighborhood. There's a high crime rate. It could have been anyone of any color of skin doing this to me, right? Well, uh, you, for you, it happened to be one color of skin, but for anyone else, it could have been any color of skin. Guys, guys. It's a statistic of the whole neighborhood. Hold on, Aiden, right? So that has to be taken into account. It should be everyone you're afraid of in that neighborhood because that neighborhood has a statistically high crime rate. Does that make sense? Yes. But what yeah. I wanted to say really quick was this Kanye West thing, right? For example, Kanye West, the greatest yeah. artist, one of the greatest artists ever. Guys, when Ye was going on his little rants a couple years ago about Jewish people, 
it was just, and again, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm bringing it up for me. I, just try to understand what, actually, you don't have to write that down. Come on. Well, but anyways, I'm listen. Writing down, I'm writing down some notes. Are they both, wait, oh no, okay. I thought they were both had notebooks, but Axe is like texting himself and, and XQC is like writing in his little scribble notebook. I'm sorry, that was so funny. When, yeah, when Connie like, was almost like he mired from sorry, Fresh and just Fit. Just look at, look at both of them with their yellow. Look at, it's so They both look like therapists writing down what Aiden's saying, but I think it's just a coincidence that he has a yellow phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bringing it up for me. I, just try to understand what... Actually, you don't have to write that down. Come on. Well, but anyways, I'm, listen. I'm writing, down, I'm writing down some notes, bro. When, when Kanye like, would... Almost like he mired from Fresh and Fit, man. Well, look, when Kanye would say, like, Hitler was right and the Jews control everything and stuff, my thing is it's like, why would Kanye do that? Because he had hatred for a certain group of people who fucked him over in business. So... Obviously, he's gonna look at one specific group of people, and 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 you know that's kind of where he stood at. So, but to say like all Jews are bad, like, am I a bad Jew to you guys? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, I'm taking a bathroom break. I'm taking yo, a yo, lift yo. that, lift that. I'm taking a bathroom break. Yo, 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 yo. It, it, it's so interesting because I don't view you as Jewish. No. Like. <laughs> no, no, yeah, true. Because you you don't you don't you don't portray your things. You don't do anything as as Jewish. You just do it as you. So how do I yo, know if it's that Aiden thing or Jewish thing? It doesn't. No, yo, yo. When I watch Aiden, I, you kind of brought it to the forefront when, like, when I realized you were, you know, naturally offended by certain things. I was like, oh, that is part of who. What he am I offended is. by? Um, like you know, what I mean, obviously anything that if someone was anti-Semitic, but but like when when I see you, I don't look at you like. Um, Aiden's my Jewish friend. Like I don't. Do I do I have what's called Jewish manipulation tactics? What was, what was that? What was that? Do I have tactics? Do I have stuff that people are like, oh, that's a Jew thing that Aiden does? And, and, no. it, and it, please call me out. I'm not offended, bro. You know me, I got. I don't give a fuck. Just be real. No, 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 no. No, no you don't. Thank you. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, what I wanted to bring up is that um, it's like what Train said, right? If there's a high density of certain people in a certain industry or um, in a what or in a in a in a zone, right? You can't say you can't bring it to the to, to, and say, oh, this type of people does this and make a stereotype. It's like Aiden. It's like if they're if in the world of like I don't know, like music, a lot of the executives are Jewish, right? You can't say, oh my God. Oh, the Jews are doing this. This is unbelievable. Well, it's just because some things are happening, and a lot of them are Jewish because of because of high density of, of Jewish people, right? So that's just how it's going. But it doesn't mean that that's how you can make a conclusion that this is how Jewish people are as a whole, and and make a narrative about that. You just can't do that. It's just weird. Does that make sense? You know, uh, you know, you make a hundred percent sense, and no, I agree. I agree. Um, well, it's it's like it's like if you have 100 CEOs and 99 of them are white, right? And a lot of them are acting in manipulative ways. 100. percent They're all all of them are fucking manipulative. And you say, dude, fucking white people, dude, these fucking manipulator dumb fucks, absolute fuckheads. Well, dude, there's 99 out of 100 that are CEOs and they're all white. And they're manipulative, right? It doesn't mean that it's it's white people being manipulative. It's just CEOs being manipulative. Does that make sense? So you can't really like make a narrative out of that. I think it's just short sighted. Yeah. No. No. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hey, when it comes to like you know, um, man, I think the world we live in now. DJs. Uh... Ak has been drinking a bit, and I don't know if he's like slowing down because he's drinking or if I'm just getting tired. Um, but like, I th the energy is like very interesting, huh? I love this. Whoever sent this to me, this is so good. Now, people are just so indoctrinated and trained to kind of look at some. Hold on, did he say now? I think the world we live in now. I hate this narrative because it's so untrue. It's just not rooted in any kind of fact. Everyone thinks this everywhere at all times. Everyone thinks this always. Oh, the world we live in now. The world we live in now. The world's always been the same. People repeat history. Like the world isn't different. We're just we're just fighting different battles, but it's the same bullshit. 
the Salem witch trials are happening now. They're just not with Salem witches anymore. Like everything that happened then is happening now. And so this idea that, oh, the world's the world is different, but it's kind of the same, you know, kind of the same. People are just so people are so indoctrinated. Oh, people are so indoctrinated. It's like, OK, so indoctrinated and trained to kind of look at someone else and make them. Maddox says, aren't CEOs the one that tend to have a bit um, ha higher rates of psych psychopathy? I heard that somewhere. Yeah, Dr. K just talked about that in a recent video. But to be a good CEO, you have to be kind of like lower on the empathy and higher in the uh, sociopathy, psychopathy, just because you have to be able to make those business decisions. And it's really difficult. You know what I mean? It's hard to know because you can't take on the burden of like your audience or your customer base and be successful in business. It's too much emotional labor, right? You can't meet everybody in your industry. You can't meet every customer at their front door because their coffee maker broke. You know, you just got to send them a new coffee maker and you got to make decisions. And so it is kind of interesting uh, how people kind of associate. That's how business is such an interesting bubble. It's such an interesting bubble. The enemy, like, you know, just not understanding their background, right? It was like. You know, you always tell people just because I've grown so much and maybe if I, if I was asked this question, like during that moment where I, I didn't fully get to understand and experience and whatever. I grew up in Jamaica, right? Yeah. This is one of the countries that is, you know, historically so homophobic. And um, I always said that, like, I remember in college. I remember working with so many people who were from that community. It, it it made me confront something within myself to be like, hey, listen, you're in the United States now. You're going to either be like this fearful, hateful person of this or you're you're going to be able to like realize. First, first of all, everyone has different life choices. It's not that big of a deal. And, yo, I went choices. through that and, 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 and it, it was like amazing for me. Right. It, it was like, you know, it, it gave me a whole new perspective. But before, you know. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. And, and, you know, I think we live in a world now where it's like, you know, everyone's, you know, has to be like perfect, but like we're all growing and we're all learning. You know what I mean? Like, for example, even the point you made, all right, let's say Uzi is just this very interesting guy. Maybe he is straight and, and, but he likes to do these other things. Why should he be judged? Like, why should people be like, you know, kind of hating on his lifestyle and, because that's what people do. That's what people do. It's a human behavior. People judge. That's what they do. Yeah. For me, I had to get to that point. Yeah. Um, it's it's just tough well, because I feel like people hit harder on the gay stuff than anything else. That's about the only point. It's God damn it. I'm muted. My bad. My bad. I know you're all about to tell me. I know you're about to tell me. I'm muted. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I'm <laughs> okay. Listen, listen, they will tell you all these like stoics, all of these menosphere guys, all of these men that they're like, I'm into the Romans. I'm into stoicism. I'm into all these tough men. I'm into these guys who have control over their feelings. Like these men are fucking little boys, okay? Like these men are fucking children. And I'm laughing because I muted myself during my original statement of this, okay? Okay, I know I was muted. I know, chat's going wild right now, being like, you're muted. I know, I know. But you know who else was muted? All those little kids that the Romans fucked, okay? So again, all these men that are like, I love the Stoics. I really learned from these Roman philosophers. These men were amazing. These men were fucking little kids. And also all these, like, I love the founding fathers. They were amazing. They were fucking their slaves. Oh my God. I love this Pope. I love this priest. He was fucking a little kid. Okay. 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 Stop pedestaling people. Take the good ideas, throw out the bad. Stop pedestaling people. Okay. Take the good, throw out the bad. Okay. Stop pedestaling people, bros. That's my only concern. My only concern is that 
if you say, oh, dude, this is out, this is out, of, this is unhinged, out of control, do you act the same way when it's other <coughs> topics or are you harder on the gay topic? And the conclusion that I have a lot of times, people are much harder on the gay and trans topic than they're about yeah. anything else. I think it's like, guys, chill the fuck out, man. People are doing some weird shit, right? But this time, this time it's the gay stuff. Why are you so mad about it, dude? Like, it just, dude, maybe you're just, you just don't like gay people and you're just well, homophobic. Well, no, I'm, not homo I'm not homophobic, but I have problems when it's like be agendas being pushed on to like kids. That's where I kind of get pissed off. All right, that's the point. Go ahead, cook. But cook, you, cook. You know, you, well, okay, go ahead, cook. Cook, I'm gonna uncook you. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say, if you're allow, if you're allowing like an 11 year old to inject themselves with hormones, you would not allow, allow your 11 year old kid to get a tattoo. You know, I just don't, I don't believe in 11 year olds. Of course. I believe, I believe you're gonna be, if you're- Look, I think everyone basically agrees, don't put hormones into children unless it's absolutely medically necessary. I think all of us would agree don't do surgery on your kid unless it's absolutely necessary. And I hate to tell you this, sometimes it's absolutely necessary. Okay? Yes, I agree. I think everyone, everyone would agree. Everyone, in quotation marks. Don't do unnecessary surgery on kids. And yet, people are still going to do it. You're going to get parents that, you know, have syndromes. You're going to have the Gypsy Rose moms of the world. But more than that, you're going to have doctors that are willing to do it no matter what. So you can, again, be so afraid of trans kids when really you should be concerned about adults, regardless if the kid is trans or not, getting unnecessary surgeries for their kids. Because remember, Gypsy Rose flew under the radar and she wasn't a trans kid. You know what I mean? But yes, of course, like all of us agree, no unnecessary surgery or hormone or anything for kids. <clears throat> but for some trans kids, it's necessary. Okay, and that's it. That's the end of it. Some for some kids, some form of surgery is necessary. The question is, is who's making that judgment? And just like the gypsy roses will fall under the radar and they won't be helped, so will some trans kids. The fact that you're hyper focusing on trans kids is the problem. You should be hyper focusing on every child who's being treated mistreated medically. Again, we should not make this about trans kids. We should make this about kids. Don't protect trans kids protect kids we should be protecting children and protecting children okay does not mean focusing in on a specific group and discriminating against them older let's just say if you were to be trans do it when you're over 18 why you gotta do it 12 years it's old true years Aiden, old. but the, the 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 statistics behind what you're saying are just not uh, what you think they are like mm. the, the the amount that this happens is so fucking little right that it's it's in it's insignificant it's like it's you like mean? you can count them on your hands across the board oh no no, no. Hey, hey, excuse me i would counter that though by saying so if it's so insignificant in this <clears throat> why does it seem like there's so much there's so much attention and so much like you know um care with that community when it's just like for example put it like this uh Think about anything in the world. If, if, if something was like 0.5% or 1% of what was going on, yep. there wouldn't be major statutes and, 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 and huge amount of donations made and the world would change just to appease a 1%. It would be like, hey, listen, we're going to try to do things to help that 1%, but it, 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 it's still a minority. <laughs> I guess when it comes to trans individuals, it almost feels like it's the only minority that feels like a majority. And and, and this is where like African Americans come in because they're like, shit, yeah, we're a minority, but we never felt like a majority. We never felt like people had to. Because you know why? Because white people are talking about trans kids and black people are talking about trans kids. Black people are talking about black people and white people are only talking about black people in a bad way. It's like you guys are both more on the same team than you want to acknowledge. I feel like black people and white people that are anti-trans kids are more on the same team than black people who want liberation and white people who want liberation for black people. So the dilemma is like the numbers are there. So obviously if you like the enemy of the enemy is my friend. It feels a little bit like that. It feels it feels a little bit like black people and white people about to become best friends if they can be anti-LGBT together. You know what I'm saying? It just feels a little bit, you know. And, and, and I mean, at times there, it, it was that, but it was like, we had to stop the world. We had to show the, the whole yeah. George Floyd or whatever the case is like, hey, listen, this is unacceptable. While when it comes to like trans individuals, it's like everyone's, 
Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why. X, I just X. I, I'm gonna let you go, but I, again, back on my thing, I just think like if you're a kid, bro, you you don't really remember, but as a kid, you have like a, your brain is like a sponge, right? So like I just think like if you're so much more normal, like or you're learning so much shit, but like Disney, for example, is pushing like men's and skirts to be walking around and shit. Just let the kids be kids. Let them do what they want to do, and if they want to be 18 and do whatever they want to do, when that's like such a sweet a sweet perspective, like. Just let kids be kids, bro. Just let kids be kids. Yeah. That's like such a sweet narrative. But also, again, you're assuming the world revolves around you. Do you think kids in other countries that have different ways of living aren't being more, like they're being less kids? It's just like, I get what he's saying. And you heard this narrative so much growing up. Just let kids be kids. You are literally taking your kids to church every Sunday and telling them they're going to burn in hell if they do not follow the like word of God. But for sure, bro, let kids be kids, bro. When they're 18, that's fine. Like, if they're, like, near, <laughs> but, but if they're near, like, 17, they know what they want to do, cool. But my thing is, like, if you're a child, bro, like, you shouldn't be, like, going to the doctors and getting, like, even, 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 like, a consideration. Like, it should be pushed. Like, oh, let's make you a, uh, okay. change genders. I don't yes. know. It's just what I see. People, the problem is that both sides, right and left, are putting a megaphone on small stuff. And that's what the real, where the real problem is, okay? But it's a big, and but it's no, a big problem. It's, it's, okay, it, it's a, it's a problem. And by doing what you're doing, you're making it a worse problem. And you're causing, you're causing no healing, you're causing more damage. So that the, that the right wing, right, like, right wing's been doing a lot. They take, like, out of, like, hundreds of thousands of trans people, right? One or two in the entire country had taken, like, uh, um, HRT or whatever. And they will take that one case. One that was, like, crazy. And the person was, like, suffering from, like, major depression because they, they weren't getting what they wanted. And, they, and, they'll, be, and, and they'll take a megaphone. They'll put it on and they'll be like, dude. These people are fucking changing their fucking gender, like at like eight, and they're gonna fucking die. It's like, okay, I'm not saying that, that's but I'm one person. You no. made it a problem. It no. wasn't a problem then. You made it a problem. No, no, it's a, a megaphone on it. It's a problem now because it's giving kids ideas of like false shit. Like you that's see, now, hold on, act. It's, you see Disney, for example. When do we start watching <laughs> Disney? Three, four, etc. Right? Disney, for example, push, 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 and act. I mean, and, and you know, my thing is X like. Back when I was in school, you know, back when I was in middle school, high school, I would have like transgenders in my class. So that's how you know. And I asked my parents, like, yo, mom, pop, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you see, did you see this in your class? Like, nah. And even my, my, my other older siblings, it's the same shit. So it's like, it's becoming more and more normalized to do it as a child rather than waiting till adultery. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's waiting till you don't wait for things that you feel like. You don't feel, but who, but if I believe in the tooth fairy and superheroes, why would I be allowed to believe something? It's like, I have an imaginary mind. It's like, wait a little bit. And instead maybe of just going straight to jump to that, maybe we do some therapy. Maybe okay. we try to I feel like people want you to wait till you're 18. So they're not responsible for the choices you're about to make, but you're like always a parent, you know, you know, Daisy says he's acting like this secret knowledge revealed to you with your 18th birthday. If the kids never uh, have seen a man in a skirt, how will they ever know that that too is a possibility? I just think like people are, again, the road to hell is paved in your good intentions. We obviously want to protect kids. We just don't also want to talk how we've negatively in, like contributed to our kids' downfall. Like when I hear people say, um, oh, like I want to protect my kids around men, but like um, not around women, like women don't do anything to children. Um, no. Like, I want to protect my kids against any predator, regardless of gender. But if you think, if you run this narrative, you'll hear it in a lot of boy bubbles. They'll say like, oh, but if a boy's like molested by a girl, it's not the same. Tell that to the boys who are sitting in therapy and who have wanted to unalive themselves for years because they felt like they should have liked it when in reality they felt like they were being graped because they were. Like, this narrative coming from hyper-masculine bubbles saying like, oh, women can't really grape you. Okay, first of all, don't speak for victims. And second of all, if you feel that way, fine. But lots of people don't. And lots of men are fighting these demons, secular demons, of course, because I don't believe in demons, of being graped and molested by women. And they can't come out and talk about it because you'll shame them. You'll tell them like you should have liked it. It would have been great for you. What do you mean? Everybody wants that. So this narrative, right, like let kids be kids is also the same narrative that follows with a lot of these other toxic ideas. Oh, well, like when a girl gets graped, it's different than when a boy gets graped. Um, no, 
I mean, yes, but no, it's different when everyone gets raped. But the point is, is that men's assault is just as valid as women's assault. And the idea that we're not seeing that is so weird to me. But I think a lot of men, and I'm not speaking for every single person on the planet, a lot of men feel like they're supposed to like it in the same way that men, women are made to feel like they shouldn't talk about it. So, you know, just, okay. Yeah, so you're telling me that you believe in Santa all the way till you're probably like 14, but people no. are wrong for thinking that, oh, maybe I'm a girl instead. I went there 14 too. When I, was, when I was 14, I was still fucking thinking of crazy shit. I was still like abnormal stuff. I think when you become an adult, bro, that's when you know. Just a reminder that people are allowed to believe in God, but not gender. God's okay, but not gender. Oh, well, God is traditional. It's been around forever. Oh, and gender hasn't? Like, that's what I'm saying. We're all just arguing with like, hey, your make-believe stuff, I don't like it, but I like my make-believe stuff. How about it's your business? If you feel like God is real, great. If you feel like gender is something you can play with, great. But no, nobody just ever wants to live and let live, bro. The most, it just hits you, bro. Like, when you're an adult, even, even close to adult, like, even like 17, 16, maybe, like, it's different for everybody, but bro, like, it's just... Yes, like, but you're not making permanent decisions on what you're feeling when you're young. They don't let you do that for most of for like 99.99% of the time. You're not going to true fuck your life up because you feel those ways or you think those ways. They only let you when you're 18. And if they do fuck you up and it's not for your benefit, then they're just shitty at their job or somebody went shitty along the way, bro. That's not true. But look at, uh, and, and I'm going to break it up. It Dwayne, is true. It is true. In wage child, for example, uh, I think, She's 12 or whatever. And again, that's his own. I'm going to rewind it. When you're 18. That's not true. But look at, uh, and, and I'm going to break it up. Dwayne Wade's child, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she's 12 or whatever. And again, that's his own kid. I'm not going to get, I'm just giving you an example of something that's kind of like known out there. There's also many I could pull examples of if I, if I wanted to do my research. My thing is this, bro. It's like, wait. Just wait, and and if you still feel that way all the way to eighteen, okay, be yourself. Do you? Where's that, 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 that person? Where's that person? Where's that? Uh, do, 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 yeah, he keeps doing the thing at like eighteen's this magical year. You could be thirty and realize you're trans, or be thirty and realize you're not trans. It doesn't matter. Your journey is yours. Have fun. Dwayne Wade, kid. Dwayne Wade, correct. Like, again, nobody's going to know themselves until they know themselves. You might be 60, you might be 80, you might be 12. That's the problem. No one's going to know themselves until they know themselves. I feel like I didn't really know myself until I was 30. And at the end of the day, if I had gotten a surgery before 30, live and let live, bro. It is what it is. Living with regret of like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Like, yeah, sure. But like, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. That's life. Everything that happens, you learn from. If you don't learn from your mistakes, then like, yeah, that's on you. And yeah, your mistake might be surgery. Okay. What with them? No, no, I'm sure I could find more. I think, I think, uh, what happened with them? Like, like, what is the story? You're just saying names. I don't know what happened with them. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you an example of you know, um, what happened with them, though. I'm saying they became trans at a very young age. They became trans? Did they take HRTs or whatever? I'm not, I'm not that, I don't know, but uh, they became- If they're not on HRTs, they can say that they're fucking, that they're Iron Man or Optimus Prime and My nobody thing. gives a fuck. <laughs> no, 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 but just look into it. I, I'm informed. It? I did, well, chat I'm, says that I'm, they haven't taken HRTs, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'm misinformed, I'm, I'm misinformed on that specific individual, so okay. I'm not gonna speak so, on so, it. So I, I asked you to give me an example. I asked you to give me an example, you gave me a wrong one. So you're one of one in the wrong. Just give me no, one correct one. it's still wrong. Brother, what? when you are, it's still, I, I I didn't say specifically HRT for that specific one. I never said that. Be, I, I didn't know. I said, I don't know. I'm misinformed on it. All I'm saying is, all, all I'm saying is that person is a child. And I just think that they should wait years and years and years before they really jump down. A ask him if the child should wait before they dedicate themselves to religion or ask him since he's Jewish, if children should be able to consent to being mutilated through circumcision. Should children be able to decide if they are circumcised yes or no answer the question bro they don't they don't know brother, what they're brother when i when i was young i thought i could have multiple girlfriends and for years i mean i had two girlfriends at a time sometimes three not, right riz right and and is that is that a good thing well no it's not um most people are are, are, are monogamous right and 
I understood with life that, hey, that's not how you're really supposed to do things, right? And then after, after when I grew up, I, just, I stopped doing that. Well, I mean, not really. <laughs> I, I stopped doing that. You know? But that's not the same thing as what I'm saying. You're not causing permanent damage on yourself, though. Unless you're on like HRTs and you're fucking your body up and making modifications, you will recover from your stuff. When I was a kid, I thought I was a doctor. I thought I was a superhero, right? I wore a cape sometimes at school. I wore nice. a cape. Does that nice. mean that when I'm 18, I... Is that autism to wear a cape to school? <laughs> I, become, I become brain dead? No, it doesn't do anything. Let, them, let, let people be people. But but that's what Ooh. I'm saying though. Then let them think that they're a girl or whatever for two or three years until they, no, uh, you know no, what? Maybe no, no, I was no, no, just no. feeling a certain way. Hey, Rashad in the chat says we're not talking enough about cisgendered kids hopping on SAR SARMs. What's SARMs an abbreviation for, guys? And HRT for bodybuilding. That's a quickly spreading issue that isn't spoken about enough for pe by people concerned with HRT for trans kids. Is SARMs like, um, like uh, what's it called? Um, why do I feel like I do know this? Didn't we talk about this last time we spoke? Um, I forget what the word is. Oh my god, it's late. I'm blinking. Help me. Wait, and and then past it. I just think it's, it's really hold, on, I, 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 hold on. I just think it's abnormally getting a little bit weird when we're pushing on our kids, bro. That's all we're I'm not, saying. Nobody's pushing other than though. It is. There's there's agendas being pushed on kids, like like what I'm saying. Religion, like religion, exactly. See, that's the thing. I'm pro religion the moment we all accept that we're all pushing agendas on our kids. I'm pro-religion as a civil right. Like, you be you, bro. And same thing with gayness and LGBT. It's the moment that people, like, decide that, oh, the trans, they're the ones with the agenda. Um, Have you been to church? You know? Okay, steroids. Thank you, Rashad. Steroids. Okay, steroids light. Got it. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? Like, I, again, I am pro-religion until you decide, like, oh, literally, oh, my gosh. It's the same conversation when you try to explain non-binary to people. And look. Nobody likes a performative bitch, but everybody's performative, okay? And it's not my job to ask you, like, or to have you prove your relationship with gender to me. In the same way, like, it's not my job to ask you to prove your God is real. I don't care if your God is real. I don't care if your gender is real. My gender is my gender. Your gender is your gender. Your God is your God. My God is my God, right? But ultimately, it's this idea where we're all trying to argue as if we believe in the objective thing when we obviously don't. That's why I think everything is spiritual. I think gender is spiritual, right? I think like God is spiritual. Everything is like this metaphysical, just like thing we tell, our, the story we tell ourselves so we understand what we're doing here. And it's all valid. It's all valid. It's just interesting the way we have this conversation. Kids should be kids. Kids should be kids. <sighs> For sure. A hundred percent. Disney is 100% The agenda it. tells them that if they're if they feel if they feel those ways, they're not completely really wrong or to be ostracized, and they're not gonna fucking kill themselves. It's not like yes, it's okay. a little bit overbearing, over and I okay. get that. It's I'll a little question. bit too much, but it's, the me, the mentality what about, isn't what about, wrong. What about when a targets kid section had like an LGBTQ plus uh, thing, like for the kid section, uh, you know, when you're. What would that look like? Rainbows everywhere? Don't they already have rainbows in the kids section? What would an LGBT section look like for kids? Trans kid models? Okay. Like gay kids in the, what would that even look? Wouldn't that just look like kids clothes with rainbows? Don't we already have that? Kid, don't bro. shop there if you don't want to shop there. If you don't oh, feel man. LGBTQ, hey, you don't go wait. there. Like XQC, Target is an American thing, bro. We all shop at Target. Stop. Yo, X, yo. My mom doesn't shop at Target because they're more liberal and they donate to abortion rights so she shops at walmart hey stop the cat bro come like, on yo, bro hey, Why, bro come ex, on bro hey hey i won't be honest with you man i don't care if niggas want to think they're airplane they want to think they they a man woman kangaroo do your thing exactly right. I, I definitely believe that we gotta let yo kids can choose to go in the military can drink can do a lot of things until they at least turn 18 or maybe 21. Okay. Man, don't don't just seep seep it into shit. Like, you know what I mean? Don't just start putting into the curriculum to, you know, influence them to go away because <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, as a kid, everybody's insecure. Everybody's looking for acceptance. Everybody well, just don't really know what's going on. Okay. And they don't it, permit it, you to do the things you're, you're talking about though. Like you're not causing permanent damage to somebody. They're not on HRTs, brother. 
They're not fuck. They're not doing bodily modifications that they're not allowed. And the few that are, obviously, we have to allow an opportunity for some people to be doing it. And I agree in general. But again, I just okay. Just a reminder once again. All these like anti like I'm telling you right now. All the guys in the menosphere, they're like, I'm a stoic. I love stoicism. Those men were forcing boys to get trans surgery so they could fuck them. Okay, these men were fucking little boys. These people were dressing them as little girls. And these were your heroes. Your heroes were fucking little kids. So just a reminder that all I'm trying to say is how about we focus and prioritize the safety of children instead of pretending to focus the safety of children while also acknowledging that, yes, for some of their great ideas that existed, they existed. And for most of them, they were doing pretty shitty things to kids. Like, again, I love I love that boys are obsessed with the Roman Empire, but I can't tell if you're obsessed because it's all about fucking kids or if you're obsessed because the way they they did, they did like, you know, streets. Do you like the architecture or the raping of the children? I can't tell which one's your favorite part, but either way, okay, you got to know that all of these things are happening. So if you're so worried about trans kids, okay, I'm just worried about how adults are treating kids, trans or cis. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of and worried about how adults, period, are treating kids, period, cis or trans. And right now, I'm not convinced you care about kids. Allowed to do. These things, if it's not true, if it's, if it's just a fad or a phase, it'll fade away, dude. It is what it is. When I was young, I was wearing fucking pink fucking wristbands all the time, and I had girls do me little bracelets. Hey, you know, Ooh, I, I stopped doing no, that. No, I don't no, feel that no, way. That's way because, different. Because where they're trying to push it is to have kids be on some of these hormones. Give early. me examples. Like, give me statistics. I just, whoa. No, no, no. Wait, wait, give no, me statistics you. and give me fucking examples. No, 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 no. Yo, excuse me. It's not about statistics. It's about trying to stop or reverse like you know um a trend that we're seeing happen they want these kids to try to you know make these decisions before you know um they're really uh, of age wait bro what trend what statistics what exam i'm not seeing what you're seeing it i think you're talking about the, like one person who did something and then the whole right wing went to this is killing our kids this is it's like one guy out of the middle of fucking uh, in, like in like Wisconsin or some shit like that. It was on drugs or some shit like that. Chill, chill. Nobody's killing anybody, dude. Like this isn't. A, it's not a problem. It is because you're making it a problem. Okay. My thing is when you when you said t don't shop there. When I said Target, where everyone goes, you know, when you're a parent, you want to be able to sit down your child when it's time and explain what certain things are. I just think it's wrong. No, for real. I think it's wrong when. School teaches you about politics and uh, 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 sexuality shit. I think it's really wrong. I think your parent, when you're a parent, that's when you sit your child down. And that's when you really explain yeah. about. But parents aren't doing it. <clears throat> that's why Walter didn't understand how he got Daisy pregnant. What? How'd you get pregnant? What? I came inside you and you got pregnant? Like, yes, do you agree Aiden. with that? Yes, Aiden. Okay. But society so, already does Aiden. that because it's ingrained into the into the more traditional way. Society so, so already X, shows X, you that, X, and those X. things in the more heterosexual way. Because you are that, you're not you're not seeing it, and you don't we don't you don't identify that. But because there's a few examples of non-hetero things. Oh my God! They're putting you say 20 movies about girls and guys. Oh whatever. Yeah, you're in the same One guy kiss another guy. Oof, XQC has never been more attractive. <laughs> I just love when someone agrees with me. You know what I mean? There's something There's something about him just not being worried. You know what? The, the confidence. The confidence is so sexy. All these other men are like so afraid. They're so afraid. And it's just like, ugh, unattractive. Not that men shouldn't be afraid. If a man is afraid, I will hold you in my arms. I will wrestle the bear away from you. I got you, baby. There's nothing I like more than saving a man from a burning building. But that's not the same thing I'm talking about. It's a different kind of fear. Not that men can't be afraid. But when you're afraid of trans children and not the people that are predatorizing them, I'm just saying. Oh my God, the agenda! Gays! <laughs> Relax, brother. Re it's not that Relax, big of a fucking brother. deal. <laughs> Christ, that's insane. You're making it a problem. Like, <laughs> they're not pushing an agenda.
Like Jesus Christ, dude. So you don't think putting gay kid LGBTQ in the kids section of Target? You could put in the regular section of Target. Cool. That's fine. The the you know the adult clothing. You don't think putting in the kids section of Target's a little bit yes. twisted? Don't what was even that question, Aiden? Aiden's so sweet. He's like a sweet baby. He's so small. What is that question? The way that they're doing it isn't always right, and That's they're it. fucking stupid. But thank you. The, the 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 behavior inherently isn't bad. Having a fucking pink shirt in the men's section isn't the agenda of joe that's biden not, controlling your brain it's that's not that's not that's not the what way I'm they're saying. doing no, it I isn't right wear, but the message is correct no, x i used to wear the i love boobies bracelets too the pink ones and you know the breast cancer awareness but i used to wear it all the time okay Matter but if it was i was dicks you would fucking be up in arms about it hmm? you were wearing i love boobies shit but if it was i love dicks you would be all up in arms about it and you would say kids should be wearing that how can you even buy this, this isn't correct but you know you'd be doing this um, well, no shit, you know, oh, it's oh my Hey, true, Yaya says how many people had military recruiting in their high schools because they were pushing something before they're 18. Uh, they had ROTC too, which is great. Like, don't get me wrong. I was one of the first, me and a group of kids started the first gay straight alliance on our campus, which was a very big deal. Like, people protested, <laughs> my mother included. Anyways, it's not important. The point is, is that it was a big deal to have one, but our Christian club on campus had the most members because I was in a conservative part of California. So it's kind of interesting, you know, how people feel. And again, ultimately, this is what I'm saying by bubbles, guys. Like, Look, if you want to have a whole homophobic country and every single person there agrees and when gay people come out, you don't kill them, fine, right? It's not the greatest, but fine. You know, it's like, fine, live and let live, but I hate that, but okay, whatever. But it's the idea that there's a consequence. There's a discriminatory consequence to being just religious. Look, I don't want Muslim people being discriminated against because they're wearing hijab. Like, leave them alone, you fucking losers. Leave the Muslims alone. And in the same front, leave the LGBTs fucking alone, bro. Leave people alone. Mind your business. And if you're worried about kids, you can stop all of your grandmas. Well, you can't. They're dead now. You can go back in time and stop your grandmas from marrying people. How about that? Because as a person who had a grandma marry fucking young, okay, and after hearing all these TikTok stories about everyone's grandma marrying so young, not everybody's, of course, just like in that bubble, it's clear that heterosexual people are not concerned about the safety of children. Actually, I found a TikTok and they talked about the statistics of child children. Thousands of kids are married in the United States. Do you know California still allows child marriage like as a minor? And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Like we keep thinking we protect children, but we don't understand how many straight kids are being married off right now. And again, I don't care if they're 15 and they're 18. You don't need to be married at 15. You can fucking wait. OK, so you want to talk about waiting? Wait for transition wait for marriage, wait for military, but that doesn't mean you don't get to date the person you're dating or you don't get to wear a different set of clothing or you don't get to play an ROTC. You can have the child version of getting ready for the adult thing. If you're a kid who wants to be in the military, join the ROTC, okay? If you're a trans kid who wants to eventually transition, start by doing your name and your clothing, right? Start by something simple and then we'll go to hormones unless you are a unique, unique, unique case. My brother signed up for the military at 17. Right. There are some allowance for loopholes. He was just basically OK, right there. So it's one of those things where there is an allowance. Every 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 place has an allowance, an exception. So we have to accept that outside of the exception. Most people are being treated accordingly. OK. Give or take, obviously, the ones who that fall through. Nothing's going to be perfect, but it's certainly not going to be better if you keep thinking like, LGBT people things are going to be in the children's section. I don't even know what that means, bro. So, yeah, so yeah, by default, yeah. you're saying yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like, of no. course, it's way different. No, it, How it, is it different? It's as simple as, oh, they're putting a pink thing in like the men's section is that they're encouraging men, right, who are biologically men who are who are born with penises and have the hormones of men that's a sex they, not a gender that's a sex depending, depending on your socialization or how you feel at the moment you could now select your gender after birth that's what people talk about we don't care about that that's a gender not a sex say again i think i think <laughs> I think he might be a little drunk, but like I think academics might be a tiny bit, a way bit drunk. 
But I love XQC here. I love that he knows the difference between gender and sex. It's beautiful. Mm. That's nice. You know what else I like about XQC? Is he apologized for cheating on his girlfriend and he admitted he was totally wrong about it. He admitted it. I liked the way he, he, I don't know. I think I covered it on stream maybe, or maybe I talked about it, but he cheated on one of his girlfriends and he full on came out about it. Let her got mad, like get mad about it. Full on didn't con like, didn't control the conversation was fully like, you're right. I did that. I was really shitty about that. And that was me. That was my bad. Like he fully, he really, he did really, he did it good. He did a good, not that he should have cheated, but the fact that he, he let her be upset about it without blaming her was really nice. That, that, a gender, you're talking about, you're talking about the, 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 the fucking, the biological, like you're born with a dick, right? And then, and then, and then you want to be a girl or whatever? Like, what are you talking about? Am I wrong? A gender Bro. is like a social construct. <laughs> all right, so yeah, all right, we're, we're on two different. Hey, listen, let me tell you this. If if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. <gasps> no, you're a fuck. See? The violence. This is why we choose bears, because the bear doesn't care if I'm trans. Fucking man. Okay, yo, if God made you with a dick and a balls, you're a man. I don't care. I don't care if what you think about yourself. That's called transphobia. He is transphobic. He doesn't believe in trans people, but I wonder if he believes in God because he just mentioned if God made you a man, you a man. So we believe in God, but not physical trans people you're talking to on earth. Have you ever talked to God? Have you ever met her? You need to go deal with that. Go. To, you need to go to. Christ or anybody else, wow. Allah, anybody. You got dick and balls. You are a man. There ain't no social construct. Biology tells me what you are. You got a pussy. You a woman. You got a dick. You're a man. Again, we could make up these other rules, but that is the ground rules, brother. Like this whole oh no, it's <coughs> construct. It's like dog. All right, I'm a penguin. Am I, am I a penguin? No, no. Okay. Yes, obviously. What, what X is saying is, so sex is male or female. Nice. Right? So, the dot chain. so you're correct, Ak and Aiden. There's male and there's female. Nice. There is. That's there's two genders. Okay. Yes. That's the biological attribute, right? Correct. Male and female, that's sex. Yes. Gender, gender. See, like, the, 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 there's a um, miscommunication and misunderstanding of gender versus sex. Sex is female or male. You understand? So when you guys yeah, say there's two, of course there's I understand. Two, when you guys say there's two genders, you're referring to there's two sexes, right? Gender is actually a social construct. There right? you go. So why, why, why that I'm wrong about this? I was wrong like about behaviors that. and certain things of certain different, right? Like, so when you say Wait is there two genders, what you mean are there two sexes? Yes, there's two sexes. There's male and there's female. Guys. You understand? Wow. Okay, train. Okay, train. Maybe I'll, what what website does train have? Kick. Maybe I'll join Kick if it's so based. Guys. So like you're both arguing two different things. That's yeah, academics. Stop! Stop! Academics. Have you ever gone to a gender reveal party? We don't call it a sex reveal party. You call it a gender reveal party. Yo, 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 yo that's why yo, it's called yo, a social yo, construct. Yo, Eric, 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 no, he capping because put it like this: if you meet some of these grown ass niggas who think they females. If you ask them what sex they are, they're not going to say they're actually male. They're going to say they're a female. They okay. want to identify on all the four act on all the, no, on all the government forms, on all the government forms you filled out. Does it not say sex M slash F? My government form. Yeah, we're talking about like, I completely get your argument and you're right. right but the people we're talking about, they want to be able to pick not only gender, but sex, they're X. picking. Nah, that's children. not. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Oh, have you met someone that is a like? like I gotta be clear because I know I'm still on Twitch. A uh, trans, and if you, you do, you think they identify like? Oh, I'm actually a male, sex wise, but I consider myself as a woman. They don't. They call themselves a woman and a female. That's a fact. Why, why are y'all acting yes. like? They still but consider the, themselves a male. They still, no, they they still mean the gender though. Like, and if they don't, they're wrong, but that doesn't, that doesn't, why do you feel so, so uh, enraged and, and compelled to, to write them?
that's the government's fucking thing to do that. If they, if they misrepresent, if they misrepresent themselves on a government form, they're now wrong. That's fucking illegal. If they say sex and they, they, they misrepresent themselves, that's actually wrong. Why do you feel like if they go, no, you are this, you are that. Yo, 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 yo chill the fuck out, bitch ass. Chill out. Correct them. I don't feel compelled to correct them. I'm just showing the fallacy in what you just tried to explain. Not a fallacy. And you don't know. Well, maybe not you, but the train wreck said, well, you know what? You guys are right. Sex, there's only two sexes, but you could have multiple genders because that's a social construct. I'm telling you that usually if someone, and by the way, I'm not even passionate about this, truth right. be told. Right, but, right, but, right, like, right. but usually if someone, say someone was born, right, a female that was born with a pussy, right? If they want to now identify as a man, they're not going to then tell people, I am a female by sex, but I am a man by... It's called the sign female at birth, a fab and assigned male at birth. Okay. By gender. Because they're, no. because they're acting in a social way with other social beings using a social right. construct to... Yeah, it depends on the trans bubble. So obviously that's what assigned female at birth means. Or you can say trans man, assigned female at birth, or non-binary, assigned female at birth. Or you can say, even saying trans man is saying that. And some people call their gender and sex the same thing. But obviously, like, that's also for the social construct because that's usually how people talk. But yeah, like, I'm, most trans people, I've, 99.9% .9 of the trans people I know have met and have seen online know there's a difference between sex and gender. Fucking communicate. They're using yeah. a social construct to communicate, not some biological fucking markers. Right. Right. Holy XTC shit. Is right. yeah. How hard is it? Both people are right, technically, because both bubbles are different. You're going to meet trans people that are like, I'm female through and through, blah, 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 blah. And that's great, too. And then that's someone's perspective. Like, it just depends on who you're hanging out with. Right? It just depends on who you're hanging out with. Like, it just depends on which bubble and who's talking. Because again, the world, like trans people aren't a monolith, guys. I don't understand it. Hold what on, the hold fuck? On. Listen, Yo, I, I'm going by your own metrics, though. Your own metrics said that one of them was biological, right? And then the other, so one is biological, and then the other is actually social construct, right? So you said male or female biological, right? Yes. Then so you said a um, uh, 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 man or woman or. But like when it comes to using bathrooms, obviously like Blair White's not going to use the male bathroom. It makes no sense for her to do that. So the people that are like Blair White needs to be in a man's prison. Like I have no idea why you would put Blair White or Cat Black in a man's prison. Like that's such a weird take. But that's kind of the problem is like academics is imagining men who lie about being trans in order to get into a woman's prison because that does happen or people who lie about being trans to get whatever they think is a privilege, maybe like not going to somewhere with men are because like even men don't want to be with men um, or they want to be with women. But also if you have a real trans woman, like a person who's actually a trans woman, you don't want to put her in a prison with men, you know, but also trans women can be lesbians. So trans and then lesbians can be lesbians. So, you know, like sending women to women's prisons, it's not like they're not scissoring, you know, and if a trans woman goes to a woman's prison and they're having sex, like that's not abnormal. But it also if they're on hormones, they're probably not using their genitals in the same way that they would if they were living life as a man. So it's like very confusing. Like this is very layered and people are not ready for these conversations, bro. I appreciate them having it though. That actually is very impressive to me that academics and all these people are having the conversation because I do think it is a good bubble pop for a lot of people in their audience. So I kind of love that, you know. Caitlin says, I use the male bathrooms a few times. Sometimes it's open and the females isn't. I've used the men's bathroom so many times. And I usually try to ask people because I found that some men are actually so anxious about women being around them. They have a hard time going potty if they know a woman is near them. So I'll usually say like, hi, is anyone in here? And if nobody's in there, then I'll use the bathroom really quick. But sometimes if I'm like, hey, is anyone in here? And the guys are like, yeah. And I'm like, do you mind if I use the bathroom or the line's too long for the girls? You can say no because I've had some guys say like they're super like they have a lot of anxiety and I don't want to add to that anxiety. But I've used the men's bathroom a lot in my life because I ain't waiting in no line, girl. Or whatever is it, it, more of a social construct. And, um, I'm telling you that those people that who identify as such, 
they don't make that distinction, they're not going to be like, I'm a male that w that identifies as a woman. They usually say, I am a female. Wait, so I have a question. Yo, 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 it's wait, insane wait, wait. that you guys are so mad about about some some girl or some guy saying it. Some guy I, saying it. Oh, I'm a girl. Care. Then fucking Kanye saying I'm a god. It's like in, you guys are so selective no, in your that. outrage. Wait, it's fucking insane. I only care You're about nuts. kids, bro. Leave the kids. Uh, he left. I only care about leaving the kids out of it, bro. I just got mad about the Target shit, and I get mad about you know tr like having puberty blockers for kids. That's all. That's all I get mad that about. That doesn't happen though. It's it's yeah. like it happens sometimes, which he's about to say, but it's very rare. X, it, it does, it does. Some parents allow I, I said, it. I said it. Give me statistics. I said, huh? give me examples. Give me I'll articles. You, you have I'll given you me. It's very few. It does happen. Jazz was one of them, right? It does happen. It's just pretty rare. And it probably isn't for the best. But also, you know, parents do a lot of kid things that aren't the best. Just because, again, parents can choose to be bad parents and not do the best for their kids. Also, doctors can be bad. Also, people can just be misinformed. I mean, we got to allow some grace for people to make mistakes. Like medicine is such a trial and error industry. You know what I mean? We've obviously messed up a lot in our life as human beings in terms of how we've experimented on people. And so again, of course, hormones happen. Of course, puberty blockers happen. Of course, parents make horrible decisions. Of course, it could be the best decision. Some kids, it is the best decision getting puberty blockers. And for other kids, it's the worst decision. And we have to live with that. We, that is why it's so hard to be a good parent because you have to live with the reality that the thing you're doing for your kid might either be the best or worst thing and you won't know until you know. You won't know until you know. And what do your boomer parents do instead of acknowledge it went badly? Uh, well, what? What did you want? Uh, at least I gave you food and water and shelter. What? I tried to give you what you want and you're still not happy with me because we're not ready to face ourselves. We're not ready to say like, oh, fuck, we fucked up, huh? I'm so sorry, bro. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I really thought it was going to work. And then accepting the fact that, man, we tried, but it wasn't what we needed. You know, I really think we're not ready to accept the fact that one of your kids is going to love the religion you raise them in, and one of your kids is going to kill themselves because of it. One of your kids is going to flourish with those puber puberty blockers, and one of your kids is going to kill themselves because of it. And you sit here and you say, well, it's not worth taking the chance. Then don't have kids. The only way to prevent your kids from suffering is to not have them. Period. So what you do is you have children and you try your best to give them the best outcome possible and harm reduce to the best of your ability. Because having children is absolutely causing them suffering. Children who have never existed have never experienced suffering. Every child that has ever existed, every human on this planet has suffered. Because it is literally just a part of life. What? Nothing. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what because I'm not informed. I don't really spend all my time doing this. Just give me one. Then. I, I I'll find some if I really. Jazz Jennings. Take time to Google it. I can. I saw a number saying seventeen thousand, but I want to look into it before I really use it as evidence. So you're but pushing here, a narrative with absolutely nothing, no backing, no knowledge, no statistics, can, and no, no examples. No, 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 but XQC, if you don't think there's ever been a minor that's taken puberty blockers, it's, it's a, okay. No, it's, and you were mad about the tattoos earlier. And how many minors get, get tattoos? I don't agree with that though. I don't. I think minors okay. should just they should not drink it. Any type of tattoos, any. You don't seem to be. You anything. don't. You don't seem to be very vocal about that though. I just said that I don't agree with that. I don't agree with any permanent damage with minors. I think when you're 18 and 21, that's when you start drinking and smoking weed and doing permanent bit damage to your body. I, 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 you know, I don't think that you'd get into those things at a young age. I, I, I don't agree <clears> with that. Jim, well, but, but like, like I'm telling you, these things are, are not happening at a rate or at a density. Wait, did academics leave because he was offended by the God thing Lexi asked? I thought, I don't know why he left actually. I thought he was just too drunk. Does anybody know why academics actually left? I knew he left, but in my head, I thought it was a mistake and I thought he was gonna come back. I don't know, what did he, I, did I miss what he said? What made him leave? It's a problem. What happened? These are outliers that are but problematic. It will. It's growing, it's growing though. It's how, is it, how is it growing? The fact that Target is even allowing an LGBTQ section in the kid section is crazy. Some kid isn't going in there and his life is transformed and now he's like a fairy dust because he saw some fucking a rainbow, dude. Holy not shit. The point. That's not the Okay. Okay, so is this what he's talking about? LGBT? So it's a rainbow, it says proud, house, wine, rose bubbles wine. 
uh, pride, lesbian, gay, trans, queer, intersex, asexual. Uh, is this the gay stuff? Is this the gay section in Target? I'm just so confused. What can you help me find? Gay. Hello? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Um, okay. Well, is that what he's talking about? Like the gay section in Target just has rainbows? Aiden, you're so soft. This is why I know I could take Aiden in a fight and a bear at the same time. Aiden is so soft he can't even handle rainbows? You know, you never watched Reading Rainbow as a kid? I guess not. I don't even know if he was born. Point. You're My kid saw a rainbow. He's now a fucking fairy. Like Christ, dude. I, exact Christ, bro. You're so soft, bro. You ever read the story of fucking Noah? What, you think Noah's Ark happened? They saw the rainbow and everyone became a fucking fairy? That's not what I'm saying. I, I'm not saying that. I'm really not. What I'm trying to say is just, I'm cool with whatever. I get what you're saying, by the way, wh how, how you're talking uh, about. Ah, okay, we forgive you. Fuck, I can't be mad at Aiden for too long. He's so fine. Sex and gender, I do get that take, what okay, you're saying. Okay, okay. What I'm saying is, what I agree with Ax saying too, like if you are biologically born as a female <laughs> and you transition to a male, you're still transitioning to a male. But I'm gonna leave that topic because you guys had it. I don't really care. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, you guys got mad. You guys got enraged and pressed over that. I don't care. I'm not pressed about the kids. X. I only care about the you know the kids. I only care about you know children. I think just children should be left out of any agenda. Any agenda, really. Oh, somebody ask about religion. Um, out of all issues with kids, right? There's a lot of pressing matter with children and education and yeah, young age stuff. And the, yeah. the how vocal people are about the actual problems compared to this is at a smaller proportion and it's ridiculous. If you actually care about the kids, you would, you would care about all the other shit that's way more well, pressing, way do. bigger. Okay. What, that's that's fucking those lives forever than this I'm shit. This shit is just like a grain X. of salt in the beach and you're making a big song and dance for this X. one thing. When people are fucking X. dying, it's insane. It's, it's like ridiculous. X, do you notice when you debate something, what you do? What you do is you like to throw in other things, like Kanye is a god or whatever. No. X, I'm saying, I'm saying no kid, I, I'm bringing up the tattoos. No kid deserves to do tattoos. No kid deserves to do this, that, anything. Ask him about vaccines. Do you think you should vaccine your kid or give them a circumcision? Look, we have got to make decisions for our kids that we hope is the best. And we do it as parents with the intention that it'll be the good decision. And you'll know when you know if it was period. I'm just saying on this specific topic, because it's brought up and we're speaking about it, kids should not be walking into a Target and seeing a gay Understood. section. Understood. Understood I didn't. And That's the, all I'm saying. The, the same also, way, you're right. The same way, the same way they should be able to do puberty blockers, same way they should be do alcohol, same way they should be do fucking uh, uh, tattoos. I'm just saying, kids are kids. Let them be kids. Let them play. Let them have imaginary minds and let them grow up normally without agendas being pushed. That's all I'm saying. That's it. No, it, it, it makes sense, it makes sense. I just feel like- That's it, uh, that's uh, it. Uh, the same way with the satanic stuff that I said earlier, right? It's like people are extremely vocal and all up in arms to call out all the LGBTQ fucking gay stuff or fucking trans stuff. Like they come, they come from any area, any zone of entertainment, and they rush to the, protect the kids. But the, the, on the, all the other shit, they're nowhere to be seen. They're not vocal, they're invisible. As soon as there's anything that makes me feel emasculated or whatever, they, they rush to the defense of the kids. Brother, we get what you're doing, dude. You're just fucking, we get it, brother. You're just like some, some closet homophobe, closet trans, anti-trans person, and you're using that as a vehicle to make your message more impactful. Whoa, it's whoa, fucking cringe shit. Whoa, it's some whoa, weak you, ass energy. It's some my weak team? shit. My weak thing? energy, yes. It's my energy. But I'm not, I'm not even talking about adult LGBTQ plus right now. I'm speaking about just the kids. And I'm not even speaking about just being, just gay agendas being pushed. I'm talking about the, what you, cause you said, oh, what about tattoos, Aiden? I'm literally saying X, that I agree that no agenda should be pushed. Kids should just have be kids and grow up and that's that. They should be able to do what they want. Aiden, they have to Aiden, Aiden, agendas are being pushed on the daily, across the board, on a various amount of topics. And nobody actually gives a fuck until it's some gay shit, then everybody's up in arms. That's- Oof. Ugh. I just love the French. I love the Canadian French. Have I ever said how much I love white men? I love white men. I'm just kidding. <laughs>
That's the problem. That's not. That's Hold not your it. energy where it's worth it and deal with this shit later. Holy Christ! I get, I get what you're saying, but that's not true. There's a lot of agendas being pushed that just aren't talked about as much. Life is an about. agenda. The whole thing is everything Who's around you. Yo, based as fuck, bro. Based as fuck. Mm. Yo. Everything's a narrative. Ninety-nine percent of what you know you. is an agenda. But the 0.1% is, is a rainbow target, and now you're- Oh my god! X, not X, the agendas! X, the X, rainbow X, turned Mike into a butterfly! X, X, oh X, my X. god, there, brother. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to tell you how sick and crazy the world is. And you're right, it's not just this. But what I'm saying is, bro, it's just getting too crazy to a point where one day, I'm telling you because it's already like a thing like where we're kind of like letting shit slide. For example, the Dan Schneider situation, where it's also, in a way, grooming, right? It's like, it's it's oh. very fucked up because, you know, you want to give- Oh, that's gift. grooming, not the fucking underage girls wow. on TikTok doing twerkings and shit. Of course and weird sex life and rap videos with underage women in it all the fucking time. That's the problem. It's the it rainbow is. target that's They're fucking both. our lives up. They're Holy both. fuck, dude. And again, again, every debate, this is what you do. You throw in another thing. I agree, that's also bad. That's also bad, and what I'm saying is bad too. I'm trying to tell you. I did. I get what you do when you when you gotta ask him about religion. Religion is the key. Nobody sees religion as a thing that's bad for kids because nobody wants to admit that religion is so bad for some kids. Not all kids, not all religion, but some of us did not benefit. And at the same time, like I'm willing to say, like I'm, I'll take what I could take, but I could also acknowledge what was bad about it. Same thing with everything else, man. When you debate now, I understand it. What you do, your tactic. It's not, it's, not, it's not a tactic. It is. It is. Just how you just brought up Kanye's God or whatever, or whatever, the gender thing. I don't care. All I'm saying is any agendas, life is a gender, right? But any agendas that are kind of being forced is just, I I, I don't agree with on, on the kids, bro, I, I, at all. I, I really don't. I don't. Aiden, you would have had a much easier time. See, I don't like TikTok for the kids. Listen, I don't fuck with TikTok listen, for the kids. Aiden, I don't like it either. Aiden, as a person, you would have a much easier time debating those topics, right? And being vocal about these things if you were as vocal about other topics. When every, the only times you're vocal is when, when, when it's gay shit and trans shit, mm. it comes off across like you're a yeah. little bit oh. anti that because you're not vocal about anything else. That's If you're somebody who actually debates stuff and who actually cares about kids and cares about these topics, you, you do all these topics and when, it, when, when it's a gay one, you can't come across no, it and say, oh, all. fuck this shit, right? You, say this you don't have that track record. It's, a, it's a luxury that you cannot that's afford. Not that's not true. I speak on, again, when I was really fat and fucking <clears throat> overweight and I ate like shit and they, they, they forced McDonald's agendas and all this shit. Kids should at a young age be, you know, do, getting in shape. It's really important because, you know, America has an obesity problem. We're fucking fat and miserable and it fucks up our brains and all that. I agree that kids at a young age, it, having obese kids in a way it's child abuse letting your child be accustomed to that life because and listen bro what i'm trying to say is it's just a bunch of everything a bunch of fucked up shit life's not perfect <laughs> but what i'm trying to say is x you know I, I i am pretty consistent when it comes to other topics but you're just hearing this now because we're talking about this one now that's all mm. no, i don't no. think anyone is transphobic or homophobic in here okay i think listen uh, listen okay i think there is a push and pull here that can listen even though it sounds like you're both arguing opposite things right i think to certain degrees you're both correct the problem is okay on the internet and this is an issue i have with twitch right this is a big issue i have with twitch on twitch right if you remember there was a period of time where if someone if anyone in chat or any donation came through of how many genders are there we as streamers Ew. instantly instantly there was trauma, PTSD. We were scared for our careers because we were scared to answer that question. Well, that wait, shouldn't what question? exist. It, there's of two. How many genders are there, right? There's two. You understand? I'm a proponent for transgender rights. I support transgender rights. But when Aiden, yeah, see, when you say how many genders are there, and Aiden goes two. Some trans people do fall into that category where they think there's only two genders, and you can switch them or change them, but then. That's kind of ironic a little bit because non-binary and like all the other genders, it's kind of interesting. But that could be seen as like transphobic in certain bubbles is kind of the point. But there are certain things that I think Twitch and, and other like platforms push for their creators to believe, right? 
In the real world, hold on, no, wait, hold on. In the real world, I don't think this exists. In the real world, most people are middle right, middle left, middle. Do you understand? People are usually normal. Do you understand? Yes. Are there some extreme situations where fucked up shit happens? Sure. Yes. Right. It's X brought the one percent up. You brought the one percent of your side up. Trained. Right. But on the internet, we are brainwashed. Yeah. Right. The same fear mongering we we talked about earlier about the stereotyping, right, of race and others and religion, mm -hmm. right, is happening with these topics as well. Do you I understand? Agree. You're both. I agree with that. Right. Train, can I just say one thing? It's not sure. really left or right to believe there's two genders. Like 50 years ago. Saying, okay, you know, what, you know what? You know what? You know what? Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. I'm not saying there is. Or I do, believe do, do you feel it's young? Not. Do you feel young or do you feel old? I feel young. <laughs> okay, you're not I am young. young. Okay, you're not young. I'm not? No, you're not. See, see, your your age, your age, the bio the bio the biology, right? Says that, oh yo, um, you're you're a certain age directly. You you are what are you like twenty what twenty whatever, twenty three, twenty twenty three, right? Whatever you oh 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 I feel young. People say that even when they're like forty sometimes. Are they wrong? Well, life expectancy is what now? Well, in, well, in I mean, world. are they wrong? Say that oh you're forty, you feel young. Are you wrong to say that? No, it's not wrong to say that. It's an expression though. Like I feel young, yeah. I feel good. Yeah. Well, Aiden, well, Aiden, the age Aiden. says that, that that that's wrong. That's an expression. Aiden, but Aiden, you Aiden, feel Aiden, an expression. Aiden, 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 you misunderstood me. You misunderstood me. I agree. There is male and there's female. Do you understand? You misunderstood what I was saying. I was saying you're both sitting here arguing like these, 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 I, I don't know. In my opinion, both of you are arguing these like 1% takes that we've been brainwashed to believe. Do you understand how true they are in real life? I don't know. Do you understand? I think as long as your beliefs, you, you, you can each have whatever beliefs you want, but as long as they're not hurting anybody and you, you're letting people be, right? And I know, I Aiden, you're like that. I, I know you do not care about, you know, some individual who's transgender, right? I know you're not a, tra a transphobe, right? I, I know you're not. I know you're not transphobic. Do you understand? I know you're not homophobic. I just think right now you're both being like twisted and torn apart over these like vocal minority communities on the internet that are making you believe that life is in the ways that you're, you've both been told they are. You understand? I think life is more middle than both of you think. You understand? I think the points you've brought up, Aiden, are valid. And I think the points XQC has brought up are valid. You're right. You're right. But the you're world, both the, arguing these like- The real life world, the real, the, the real, real life world is not really far left, far right. I agree with what you're saying. I'm yeah. just saying, like, biologically speaking, guys, it's a male, female. And again, even if I believe in, I have no problem with trans. When you're transitioning, you're going from a male to a female or a female to male. <laughs> it, that's what it is, no? So that's my thing. And I'm not trying to sound ignorant, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So technically, right. earlier, all, all, X, all X wasn't denying that. All X was saying earlier is you guys are confusing the terminologies of gender and sex, right? I'm not. There's male and there's female. <laughs> Oh, fuck. He's so funny today. I will say, so that's what I said earlier, right? That, like, he does think there's only two genders because those are the ones you switch. Non-binary, gender fluid, all that stuff is kind of like, oh, excuse me. Oh, my gosh. It's almost 1 a.m. here. Holy fuck me. Guys, like the stream for my tired ass, please. Like the stream. I will say that it depends on the bubble. So I personally do believe in gender fluidity and non-binary as like an identity. And I think it's a fine identity. And I don't believe in two genders. I believe in gender as a construct. So I think there could be thousands because I think like, I mean, there's literally how many religions in the world? Like you think I can't do that with gender girl. So I <laughs> discord said I'm just eating pasta and judging. Why is that so based? What a life, what a great life. So again, for me, I think when I'm hearing this conversation happening, they are kind of all right because the bubble will dictate what lens of reality we're having the conversation in. But when you come to Britney's bubble, I just feel like gender is a construct. So you could have as many constructs as you want to identify and categorize yourself into. You know what I mean? I don't think it needs to be just men or women or two genders if gender is a construct. So that's the only thing I would tell to Aiden, but I, I get where he's coming from because like in his head. Mm. No, 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 no. I, that's what I was saying. You were saying out. But, but yeah, I was saying that X was telling you that you had gender and sex incorrect, right? That's all. I agree. There's male and female. I think X believes there's male and female as well. I think anyone would agree with that, right? There's there's a male well, and then there's X, a female. I wanted to know all what X you meant. Was saying is gender means something different than you and academics thought it did. That's all he was saying. It doesn't though. It really doesn't. Let's though. just check the definition of it. How about we? Just, how about we, instead of arguing, we just check the definition on dictionary.com. Fuck it. Okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not scared of anything. I just, I, I, yeah. just because, I, I, 
it, it, it's it's like um it's just male female isn't it but sex sex x x x y and a story cool and a story yeah what why why is is gender such a problem for you to intake as new information like that it's why a is social it construct it's it's this Bro, it's because what it's a you're... social construct. No, it's nothing you're born into. You're not? True. Alex's sex is also a construct. We made it binary to make it easy for us to categorize, but there are outliers all along a spectrum. They exist. They are not just anom an, uh, anomalies. That is actually true as well. That's the problem. I feel like everything is true and nothing is true because everything is like a construct. There are obviously things that aren't exactly constructs, but kind of everything we form as an idea is a construct. We give it a name, we give it a categorization, and we make it up and we make it make sense to us. And because our understanding of information is so limited, it forces us to simplify it. But by simplifying it, we also sort of pretend it's objective. And then it ruins the whole curiosity factor. Look, Curiosity is my joy, and I will be curious until the day I die. And I'm always finding out new information, and all I care about is what is true. And I, this is why I say I don't think we have access to like the objective, right? Like, because that would be outside of our perception. And man, it's that's how unique people are. People, the world, everything, we're so similar and we're the same everywhere, and yet we're so different. We're all having such different experiences. And so again, what category you're in, how much your experiences overlap, what this says to you. Look, I know you're trying to love the rest of like the way we're all trying to love. I know you're trying to find peace the way we're all trying to find peace, right? So it's like, again, like what is even true is such, it's such a mistake to simplify it. But I also understand we have to simplify it to create a society. Like I do, I radically experience, like I understand to all my trans people, I understand how complicated it is not feeling a part of society, but I also know why we have to simplify things. But also before I left the state of Arizona, uh, if you apply for jobs, at least when I was applying for jobs in Arizona, I noticed that they asked me my gender and they asked me if I wanted to go by a different pronoun. And I thought that was really lovely. So I, I understand. I, I understand it's complicated, but I also understand societies can make it work. So it's less complicated, even gender. But at the same time, like just the fact that we exist and we don't know why, and maybe there is no why. Maybe we're just what I think we are, which is like evolved animals on a planet. It's kind of fascinating. So just remember that we're living on a shared planet and we're having different experiences. And for some people, they believe in a God they've never met. And for other people, they believe in a gender they're having an eternal, ex internal experience with. And they both tell the other person, you're not right. Look, I don't know if God's real. I don't think so. And I don't know that gender is a real thing in a, like, I can hold it way, but I don't think it matters. I think it's just as real as anything we have a feeling relationship with, which is a knowing relationship with. Like, I know I'm a girl, but I also know I'm a boy. And I think both are just as real as the other, even if one is more tangibly real because of the way we, we categorize that thing that we're physically having a relationship with. But what is real? Real isn't always what you hold. But I understand the need to make it something you have a relationship to. But it's just interesting. These religious people have never held their God. But they're so confident he's real. Enough that they will stone you to death. Or discriminate against your civil rights. Or kill you in the streets. Or tell you you're not allowed to have children. All for this thing that I can't even hold in my hand. It's a social agenda. Social construct. It's, hey, it's 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 all that, that we do. I'll it's ever guys, evolving. It's ever guys, evolving. Can, as can the guys, as, what? Can you guys combine name ten genders then, please? Bro, there's this. Oh my god, boys are gross. Stop burping on stream. Infinite. You could be a fucking attack Listen, helicopter if you Aiden, want to. Aiden, Aiden. True. Wow. Felix is so good, bro. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Meant, but that's Here's not. The thing. That's, Aiden, Aiden, not Aiden, there for that. Aiden, bro. hear me out. Aiden, hear why me out. Why are we allowing? Why are we allowing? Man, 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 listen, Aiden, 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 to, to all of you, to everyone that's listening, listen. Bro, is, am I wrong? Aiden, no, Aiden, listen, hear me out. There's male, and there's female. Thank right? you. No, You're right? In. There's male and there's female, right? Yes. But let's just say, let's say, in a so, let's say gender means social construct, right? Let's let's just say it does. Let's say sex. There's male and there's female in this world. Let's say some people want to identify as, you know, non-binary, third gender, gender queer, these kind of things, right? Let's say they want to identify as that. Who, like, why does that, who cares? 
I believe there's male and female, but who cares I only, if you want to I identify as care, gender queer? I only care when it's affecting kids. That's all I give a fuck about. That's all I care about. This whole thing where you guys okay. are this one and that. That's it. Cool. So both that's of it, you are fine. That's what I'm saying. You and both, can, even, bro, both of your opinions can exist. And don't, and don't throw me in. Oh, Hayden, you don't give a fuck when kids get beat. I give a fuck about all genders. All kids getting fucking mentally abused, emotionally abused, physically abused. I care about all that. I'm just saying protect the kids is all I'm saying, bro. You okay, guys okay, 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 okay. So you know what? Okay. I'll tell you guys you're what. Right, I'm, right. gonna I'm gonna identify as a fucking uh, a dog. Let's do it. Come on. Let's identify as a fucking dog. Come on. See, he's, doing, he's doing the warm thing. This is my this is my, whole, this is my bar for bars. My strength. Dude, I'm a clone. Yeah, right. It's my doggy style, boy. My point is this, guys. The problem is this, bro. People on the internet are so fucking bored. I get it. Cool, you guys are bored. You wanna you wanna say, oh, I identify as a fucking scooter, dude. In real life, you're a male and you're a fucking female. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, that's the truth. Okay, I'm okay. Sorry. And and a bitch okay. technically is a female dog. Yet you call Correct. girls bitches all the time, right? What are you do, do they go like it? Do they say no? Actually, I'm a female born born when I was young, not a bitch. They don't fucking do that shit, right? Bro, do what they? Are you do, do they though? Do they? I know? listen. I guys. Hey, there's a meme. There, there's male and there's there's male and there's female. Right. If anyone else wants to think anything else, that's fine. Like you can listen. Here's the problem with today's world. Okay. L let me tell you the problem with today's internet world. Okay. Go ahead. The fact that both of you can't have the opinions you have, and both be it's correct. Not opinion. No, just, just hear fact. me out. Hear me. Okay. Fine. Okay. The fa listen. Uh -huh. it, 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 to me, it's it's just crazy that you both can't be right. Right. Are there things you're both wrong about? Sure. But the, the fact that you both can't be right. Think about it. Right. Aiden, if you believe you're right, right? In your world, you're saying fact. In X's world, you're saying fact, right? As long as your things aren't hurting anybody and you're not exactly. hurting anybody by- Wow, okay, train. Live and let live, bitches. Spreading, right? That's fine. It's fine. I don't think any of you are spread. Uh, it just, it gets sticky, right? If you start like taking your ideas and using them to, you For know, people? start hate fucking uh, uh, bullshit, you're right? right? Mm -hmm. That's when it gets right. weird. But if you want to have that opinion, that's fine. If X wants to have that opinion, that's fine. You're right? right? This idea where like people are labeled for having certain opinions. Listen, here is the truth. No, 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 let me say no, it. I get it. I get it. Train, I get it. The get true it. road, the, the true road to true equality, in my opinion, is to have conversations like these. You understand? The, I the one thing I hate the most is when people and both both sides, I don't mean by right or left, I just mean <laughs> sides. The two different people are arguing. Both sides do this so often. If the other side disagrees, you label them. Mm. If the other side disagrees, you label them. That that itself will never end in peace or equality or understanding. All that does is you both right now are alienating each other I'm not, right from, I'm the, not. from the ideas I'm that not. you believe are to be correct. It's not <laughs> They're both like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I love bubbles, bro. I might not so good, bro. Bubbles, bro, be bubbling. I love them all though. I love them all. This so this has been a sweet conversation. They're so sweet. Conversation not, needs to happen, and both of you can be right. Like the, the, when it comes to social constructs, right? You can both have a conversation and get to a conclusion of what you both believe. That should be okay. This idea where it's shamed and it's automatically labeled as you know, Aiden believes this, he's transphobic. X believes this, he's you know, ignorant. Like that, in my opinion, that's not okay. You understand these okay. conversations need to happen way more often without labels being attached to them so we can actually get to a real conclusion together because right now all i see in the internet is one side right says this exists the other side's confused and instead of helping them understand through patience and education right they further them down a rabbit hole right and if anything they're pushing them further down into this ignorant hole of Honestly, they're listening really well. Like these guys all give you time time for each other to speak. As much as they talked over each other a lot, you notice that they do listen. Like Aiden's like listening. Like they're listening. Sneeko does the same thing. They they all do listen pretty well to each other, I've noticed. Yeah, they're much better. Yeah, they're they're pretty good at listening to each other. Spite and hate. And and trying to agree. Now they're friends, of course, but they are trying to like actually agree and then disagree and then agree. They're really this was really nice so far. You know what I mean? Like this was a pretty nice conversation. Do you understand? Like, like I don't understand why no, how no one's realizing this. I fucking hate the extreme sides of the internet, and I hate the extreme sides of everything. Thank you. you see, the, the 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 problem is that he brought up a yeah. real concern, though. the The way that the um, LGBTQ shit is being pushed, 
the it methods is. are wrong, but I think inherently, I think, yeah. I think, I think that the, um, the mentality and the intention isn't wrong. They're just doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's happening here and there where there's mm -hmm. instances of them doing it wrong. But I think in general, they don't do it that bad. It's a few kinks here and there and it'll get regulated and it'll, it'll, it'll come down to being more fledged out and more polished. Mm -hmm. That's the real problem. The problem is that the methods fucking suck sometimes make them better. But in general, they're doing a pretty decent job. That's yeah. it. Well, if I can, if I may, please, uh, yeah, I'm not writing. I'm not really a debater. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I, I just want to say, I, I don't think it's right. You know, leave kids out of it. Like I said, I, we're going back to, we're going circles now. So I, I okay, end okay, it. okay. Then, 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 then remove speak. any speak. sort of romance out of anything before 18 then. What? Cause you should never see a guy kissing a girl ever in any show, any high school thing, anything of any sort ever. Because if you're going to get mad every time you see a guy kissing a guy, Oh my God, the agenda of the gays, fuck them. Uh, if you're gonna be like that, right? Then remove all guys and girls, always. Make it completely neutral then. Oh, oh. That's, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a lot different though. What, How is oh, it? Oh, Aiden. They had an opportunity. They had an opportunity. You know, I'm not gonna play with you though. When we would watch movies as kids and my mom and dad would be like, oh, don't, don't, they're not married. They shouldn't be kissing. They're not married. They shouldn't be kissing. And I'm like, oh, oh. So like, you know, it was kind of like a joke, but obviously, yeah, like kids are bombarded with romantic stories from the moment they're like infants, right? We tell some romance stories and I think it's fine for kids to watch stories about romance, whether they're gay or straight, just make them age appropriate. Okay. Make them age appropriate. Otherwise it's an agenda. How is that on the agenda then? I'm just speaking on that. I just don't really want like, you know, I have a question and I'm asked both chats. How often do you guys what? go to Target? How often do you guys go to Target and you see families in Target and the families can be a mom, a dad, you know, uh, younger siblings, older siblings. You see younger siblings. Oh, mommy, daddy, what's this section over here? LGBTQ plus kid section. Oh, let's go check it out. Mommy, daddy, what is this? That's what I'm trying to tell. Like, yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on. no, 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 I want to, I want to hear my, I'm not gonna let him get away with that. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? That you don't, you, you would remove all guys and guys from all the things, I'm good. Before 18, dude, but you don't dude, remove dude. the ones of the guys and the girls. You know what, guys? This is not a cup. This is a bowl. Why? Why would you not? Why? Why would you not remove that too? I no, no, no. Aiden is using a bad example. There is this infamous question. It's like a philosophy question of like, what is a chair? What is a chair? You know, does everyone know this one? There's like a lot of them. We've talked about it before in stream. Like, what is a chair? Oh, a chair is something I sit on. Well, I guess your face is now my favorite chair. What's a chair? Okay, what's a cup? Okay, what's this? Like, what is this? There, we make it up. We call this thing a, a glass. Like, what is this? Is this a mason jar or is this a glass or is this a cup? Like, it could they, are they all of the things? That's the problem is like we really do like see something and we're like label label and a label is good and words do mean things and words should mean things but words mean different things to different people right what is a sandwich you mean your mom together at the same time i say this is a bowl right here this is a bowl cool. you can believe that i use that as a bowl for my goldfish all the time it, it is you're right Great. also i eat out of cups all the time i pour soup into mugs and then i eat them yep Bro, listen it, what, I, are I these, what are these what are these Hey, that's some pretty, that's a crazy ass, some sort of, I don't know, some long ass balls. There's some sack. cojones. But guys, I don't want them to be balls. I think this is a vagina to me. That's, again, that's something physical, biological. That's something that would be called a sex rather than a gender. Gender is an, more of an idea. It's more of some, it's not something you can touch. It's not something that you can, you can, that's malleable, you fucking dumbass. Come on, X. Brother, you're just brother. You're the one like saying like, "Yo, dude, dude, give me an idea," and I say, "Aiden, we should do this. That's an idea." No, dude, let me touch the idea. Let me touch it. Let me touch. You can't touch the idea. You can't. It's a thought. It's something. Oh, I love him. Um, Roberto says, "Can a trans woman go to a gynecologist?" I think they do, right? Isn't that normal for a trans woman to go to a gynecologist? Right, unless it, like if she has a trans, I don't know who do they who do trans women go to after transition? Wouldn't it be a gyno? Am I crazy? I don't know, but I thought so. 
that you, you, you process and you uh, uh, communicate it. You can't touch the idea. Oh, right, what well, happened? That was it, I guess. Did academics and Aiden both bail? No way! Jesus. Why? <clears throat> Why? I think I was right. <laughs> I just think... I, I think, uh, listen, I've been, I've been a, I've been pro-transgender rights a very long time. Let's go I just train. think what you guys are arguing is, I don't know. I just think it's both. I don't know. I can't explain. It's just, I don't know. These conversations, like what Aiden's saying, right, is solved by parents parenting, right? Yeah, exactly. A parent should, yeah, a parent should, and that's what I was going to say next, right? I was just going to If you trust the parents to parent, then trust the parents to get their kids trans-affirming care. You keep saying, leave it up to the parents. The parents are the ones deciding to give trans-affirming care. Period. Tell Aiden, like, let me, let me just tell him to add, join real quick. Why did he leave? Well, I just think that, that... Mm. Everything's an agenda, unfortunately, right? Mm, I agree. And things push in certain directions, right? I agree. But if you think that things are pushing you in, in certain directions, but it only is when it's gay, I mean, I think you're just wrong. Yeah. I think I think it's just what it is. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna remove all types of any sort of things related to um, sexual orientation, right? It has to be all of it. So you can't just pick and choose. We will selectively never show gay because that's an agenda, but we will show you guys and girls and heterosexuality all the time. Why? Why? It doesn't make any sense. The argument is just that one is natural. One is the God way. One Gracie said also, I want to point out when a kid sees romance scenes, but it's like a straight couple. They find it funny, exciting. But if a kid were to see the same with a gay couple, they might feel weird. I disagree. I think that's totally how you raise a kid. I totally disagree. I actually have a TikTok I'm going to show you guys after this. But if you raise your kids in a pro LGBT home, they don't think it's weird to see gay people kissing. That is absolutely a top phenomenon. Like if they if they haven't seen anything like, look, if you haven't seen something in your life, it's going to be weird. But also if you're raised around it, it won't be weird. So if your kids are raised in a home where they've never seen a straight person kiss, it's just going to be as weird for them to see one kiss as a gay couple. But if you raise them with romantic films and it has gay people or straight people, you know what I mean? Everything a human does is it's, it's nature, guys. Everything we do is our nature. We are nature. You cannot take the nature out of the tornado. You can't take the nature out of a human. You can't take the nature out of anything that we, we are living nature. You can't make a bear less natural. You can't make a human less natural. Everything we created came from the earth. We are nature. Just because we've reconstructed it to look unnatural doesn't mean it is, okay? One is correct, okay? Then you're just homophobic. It is what it is. You can just say it. If you're gonna say that, if you're gonna say, Two gender shit. If you're gonna say um, gay stuff is is, is bad, say it with your chest. Then I'm a fuck. I am homophobic. I'm a fucking. I'm a piece of Ew. shit. Just fucking say it with your chest. Because people say one with their chest, but don't say the other one. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. They're scared I, I don't, of who they I don't are. Think it, I don't think it means someone's homophobic. They could just not understand what they're talking about. That oh. makes them homophobic by default, unfortunately. Ooh, does ignorance make you racist or homophobic? Is a very interesting philosophy question. Does the ignorance of something make you the negative of something? Often, ignorance does lead to discrimination. You know, an XQC has never looked finer. I'm going to be real. He'd never look finer, bro. I know. Look at all of us falling in love with Felix in real time, you know? Mm. No, because... Listen, Unless it's ignorance? Okay. No, but, you know, because for example, okay, there are people who use the F word, right? In in Twitch days, yeah, we would equate no, but in, in Twitch days, right? F four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, one year ago, now, we equate the F word usage to homophobia. That's what we equate it on Twitch. That's what we're. Mm, K says it's still homophobic in nature, but not in intention. It goes back to intention. Are you the thing you are because you intend to be, or are you the thing you are because you act as if you are? We're told to equate it by by all the top streamers and by Twitch's moderation team. We're told the F word usage is directly, you're right, you're a homophobe if you use this. I don't think that's true. They're wrong, yeah. Is the, yeah, it, like, it's, it's are ignorance. You that's ignorance. No, are you using a word that is, 
are you using a word that is used or, you know, like there's a difference from saying something homophobic and being homophobic. Look, I, if you vote anti-LGBT civil rights, you're homophobic, transphobic. That's my opinion, right? Now, if that's to mean a certain word, like if you're anti-LGBT rights, if you think the word sh world should be heterosexual, if you think people shouldn't have gay marriage, if you think gay people shouldn't adopt, I would call that homophobic, transphobic. Even if you're religious, even if it's for religious reasons, I think religions are homophobic, transphobic, in my opinion, right? Uh, Misanthrope says, Britt, do you think we would be dealing with all of this homophobia, transphobia if religion didn't exist? Or is it that humans will always find a reason to hate and dishumanize people? I, I do think we'd be dealing with it even if religion didn't exist. I think people are ignorant and lacking introspection, extrospection. I think we're afraid of everybody. I think it's fine to have personal opinions to agree to disagree, but most people aren't willing to agree to disagree. Think about your family drama. Think about people in your own family you fought with or friends or people who misunderstand you. If you can't even get your own family members and friends to see you and to live and let live, you think you're going to make the world do it? I always say this. Before I save the world, I'm still working on getting my parents to be less homophobic. Okay, everybody relax. My parents have three gay kids and it wasn't enough for them to stop voting against civil rights for gay people. You think the world's going to, you think strangers are going to do it for me? You know what I mean? So with peace and love, like I'm still working on my family and friends to get them to live and let live, but they can't do it because they're too in their trauma. They're too in their heads. They're too in their bubbles and they can't believe, right, that people who disagree can get along. But I'm a living proof of it, right? I'm fine with you, bro. I hate nobody. I just, you know, stop putting people in positions where they have to defend their civil rights. It's really weird. Just let people be people, right? Now, of course, we want to protect children and prioritize those kids. But of course, we don't live in a perfect world. So as long as you have good intentions going in and we do our best to harm reduce, I think religion can be good for kids. I think LGBT stuff can be good for kids. I think veganism can be good for kids. But you got to do it within reason. Because if you don't recognize that those things might not work for all of your individual children who are very unique in their own way, then yeah, of course, it's going to be horrible, my bros. Like, of course, the turnout's going to be bad, you know, but I think a lot of people just it's too much work. It's too complicated. We're just trying to buy eggs and eggs are expensive. So it feels very like it feels like a big ask for people to worry about these things in such a nuanced way when like they're just trying to get through their commute for work, you know, I, I think there's a difference. And I don't think people understand that difference. Right. So I, I think in this situation, I, I really feel like what Aiden was arguing, he was what if you would have said it better, you would have agreed. If you would have just said parents should be responsible in teaching their kids, you know, you know, parents should parent. Now, the problem arises, right, which is the low percent chance, right, the one percent you're talking about, in which a parent might be inherently homophobic, transphobic. And do you want those people raising the children, right? Because then you're going to have the children that are transphobic and homophobic through that. And that's why maybe teachers should be responsible for it. It just, in my opinion, gets down, it gets to a slippery slope because of these like examples That's, so if you have the data and you know what things are and what they mean right yeah. you're still using it that way that kind of makes you a homophobe though that's just kind of how it is if you don't have the information and you don't you don't know that's ignorance flat out it's one or the other there's not really any like gray area here dude you either know what it's for and what it means and you use it anyway that makes you a fuckhead or you don't and you don't do that otherwise you're just a fuckhead person you're just you're just kind of a bigot on purpose. Are you You're a about deliberate fucker. Like it's what it is. Word? Yes. I think the I think F word usage is not, you know, it's not ideal, but I don't I think someone who uses it in a way to say something that is stupid. Like and I they said, use I don't word then. It. There's better words. You're just doing it out yeah, of being a bigot then. People are trying to cancel our word as well. But it's I just mean, like that's that's their fault. They, people can say their word as much as they want to. There's nobody is going to get better. Right. Like, like I said, like if someone were to use the F word in a terrible way, right, I would say something. But when I hear Cheezer calling Aiden an F word, I don't feel the need to speak up. On Twitch, I would have. On Twitch, I would have. And I've questioned that. I've questioned that. Would I use the word myself? No. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't use the word myself. But yeah. if Cheezer called Aiden one, I don't. I just I don't know. I, I think don't, that's I think that's wrong. Oh, well, I think then, you're using a, a last line of defense to protect bad behavior. And it's it's very shaky. Uh, and oh, Train recently had this issue with Kick um, where he he 
I th- I don't remember who it was. I think it was that one kid who just recently got banned where they were deciding like what kind of language should be on kick and train is trying to say like stop being like stop putting me in a weird position say what you want to say freedom of speech but don't say things that are totally fucked up and people just don't know the line so i don't think language is inherently bad i think context makes it bad because that's how we communicate but also britney my brain isn't really latching onto words i'm latching onto action and like how that action is carried out so yeah, it's it's a very difficult position to be in. Like, are the words you're using an indication or is it more like the ideas you hold around those words? I would say it's the ideas you hold around those words, right? So like I've noticed that with like, uh, and this is a very confusing, mm, should I give this example? I'll give this example because also something I need to say out loud. I create OF work on OF. But if you guys talk to me on OF in a certain context, it makes sense it's 18 plus. But if you brought that language here to this chat, that would be inappropriate, right? If you like post it on my Instagram and stuff, that's inappropriate. Don't like write into chat here on YouTube how much you enjoy my OF in like a descriptive way. It's inappropriate, right? This is like, this is YouTube. Like know the context. If you're old enough to buy someone's OF, know that that's the space for that appropriate content and don't bring it here. Like language is only changing an appropriateness based off the context, right? Or maybe you hear someone, I'm trying to use an example that makes sense. The reason we can reclaim slurs as communities is because we know that it's not coming from a place of that level of homophobia or racism. So we know the words inherently aren't racist or homophobic because you can reclaim them. But some people think they, they are inherently that way. But also they couldn't be without the construct because language is a construct. So again, it's like know the context. You know what I mean? So you know what's being communicated. So we know like what's happening. And that's why when you're around people, you're not sure if you're safe with. Sometimes when they say something innocent, it can feel threatening because you're like, oh, is that a dog whistle? And you're not sure. You know what I mean? And so if you if you know that much, it's less of a thing. That's why streaming is so spe- – even me. It's not like I'm out here throwing around slurs on my YouTube chat. But even the way I say dusty, I said dusty and it triggered people. And I'm sitting here like, holy fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? We are so sensitive and diverse amongst what we are sensitive to that if me saying the word dusty triggers you, well, God, of course me saying something else might trigger you. You know what I mean? So – it's kind of confusing to know how to talk to people when you don't know who's listening to you. You don't know who the audience is. I understand branding and branding more and more. I am seriously convinced I'm this close to branding myself to only attract a certain demographic of people. I've been pretty open about who I can attract, but damn, like I just want to be able to talk without everybody freaking out and taking me out of context. Who's my, but then at the same time, that's always going to happen. The more popular you get, because people are going to come in and find you and they're not going to know how you talk. But then people should go into people's bubbles knowing like people aren't like you, but they don't do that. So that's other. That's the other part, too, is like people don't see. I look at it like culture hopping. I see the Internet as an opportunity to culture, like to literally travel without leaving my house. So I'm like, oh, how do you do things? How do you do things? How do you do things? But people don't do that. They watch YouTubers as if we're all from the same places. XQC is not from America. He's not American. You know what I mean? Like we're not all coming from the same perspective, but people think we are. And so I'm like, just a reminder, when you watch YouTubers, we're not all coming from the same perspective, even if we all speak the same language. So when you watch a YouTuber, think what culture are they in? How are they speaking? What do they mean when they say that word? Because we don't mean it in the same way. That Bad one, behavior. I, I, yes, don't, I don't. That's, I, that's, 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 that's mm. if you know this is hurting and you know it's a, it's a sucky Who's it word, hurting? Who? Who? Who's it hurting? That, that's my point. Bro. I don't know who it's hurting. Who it's hurt, who's it hurting? Bro, if, that, if, 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 if somebody is like a, a gay person and, right. they, and they see people use that terminology in a negative connotation, they feel like, like what they are is attacked by for no reason it's just kind of lame i've heard a very like listen in my opinion that this would be a one person argument in my opinion Th- to me that's a one person argument okay then use the n-word then fuck it just say the, they say the order no, i no i my belief so why like, don't you I'm say it gonna, then say it then because 
because my belief is I don't like to use the word. But I mean, you don't. You don't I don't I mean, like to use the word. Yeah, yeah, but I, you, I, you, you, you don't. You don't mean it like that. And we know that because obviously, it's, it's, uh, along with your logic, right? It wouldn't right. be racial because you're not using it like that. Then use it then. Mm. I don't want to use it. Why not? No, 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 no. Mm, 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 mm. Interesting. This is a very difficult question to answer. Why do you use certain words and why don't you use certain words? Why do you use certain words in private that you don't use in public? This is a very interesting question. See how XQC is more progressive when it comes to the trans, but also more, I guess you could argue progressive centrist when it comes to language, but just pro freedom. But then train is trying to form a more, a specific relationship with these words. And he says, my beliefs, my beliefs, my beliefs. This is such powerful language to be like, this is my belief. And then train, train is actually kind of aware of bubbles. He's saying you're right and you're right in your world. You're right in your world. Yo, this conversation is so good. Because I don't like the word. I think mm. the word, right? And not to mention, I, maybe one day I will casually use it. I just don't like the word. There are certain things that I just don't want to say. Like, I can't explain it. Like, just so, because so it's I, okay for the gays to be alienated by words and usage, but alienated, not okay. Alienated. But I, I, not I okay for it. but not okay for the black people to feel alienated by that word. It, you can't Brother. pick and choose here. It's a fucking we're, 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 slur where it's not. It's what it is. Yes, it is a slur. The F word is a slur. The N word is a slur. But who it's affecting and how bad it's affecting. Listen, the same way you you accused Aiden of using the 1% to push an agenda, I believe the people on Twitch and other places on the internet are doing the same thing. Mm. Have you noticed it's rarely... It's two the, the, words, dude. Like, you can just you chill noticed, out on two words. It's not like the big of a deal, you, dude. But have you noticed it is... Interesting. So is XQC trying to get him not to say any slurs? Interesting. Interesting. Maddox says, I could never have different word usage in different bubbles. I just have different modes, like online search engines. I love that. Yeah, interesting. I definitely use different words in different bubbles, depending on the bubble, to communicate. But I don't like... I don't change my language for the bubble because we wouldn't use the words the same. But I do change my general language. Like I I might say bro more or less, depending on the bubble. You know, I might use different words for different things. It depends if it depends on how much I'm trying to communicate to that specific person. But it's interesting, public versus private. I do think public, like look, we have to have a society, so we have to have a public language. And then privately, we have to be able to have inside jokes. Okay, we got to be able to have our inside language. So, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of lost on what exactly they're debating, but I think they're, I think this is a good conversation for their audience to hear. Is mostly the non gay white person, non black person, non gay person that is sitting there, you know, for the fucking valor and the, you know, clout fighting for these words not to be used. I don't, I don't think it's a good narrative to have. I think it's, I think genuinely. There are, just, that, there are people that pretend to care, but there are people that do care about others. Unfortunately, maybe I, I care about others. Some I people, some people care about how people feel, and they want people to go around on the internet and be catching stray bullets on every Let fucking. Tell you what? They want people to I catch have, strays have, and feel like they're alone and attack everywhere because of just who right. they are. Just reduce right. that to a little, but just removing one word. How hard is it? Just one word. Why is it so hard? Right. It's, it's well, hold on. Alex said my language is not different between public and private. My values regarding the words I use are universal. Um, I don't think your values are why you use things publicly different. So your values can stay consistent if you have private language and public language. But if you value community, then you should change your language publicly. I would argue that all people have to change the way they act publicly the moment they're in a different culture. And I think that's what I consider public language versus private language. So in private, I'm sure you say things in private you don't say in public. Maybe not specific words, but maybe the way you say the words and what order you say the words. Maybe at home, you could talk about something more personal versus in public you wouldn't. It's kind of the same to my brain. Like if I say words at home, I'm saying it for the audience I'm with. And if I'm in public, I'm saying it for the audience I'm with. So when I say I have different language in public, I mean for the audience that I'm with, not outside my house. You know what I mean? So it's not about values to me, right? Like it's about who's my audience because 
these things are constructs, right? Alex says, my values say to harm, reduce. I'm not going to use words that are well-known slurs used to degrade people. Um, that's fine. Oh, okay. So you're talking about slurs specifically. Okay. Um, I guess that makes sense. But what if you're a minority and you're reclaiming slurs? Do you think minorities shouldn't be able to reclaim slurs? Kay said, yeah, it's not about values. It's just about the rules of the game, the bubble being played and how different language conveys different types of information to different bubbles. Yeah, because I believe in like reclaiming slurs in public for minorities. Like, I, I think it, I think it's fair. But I know some people like one time I got uh, I pissed off the wrong part of the LGBT community. They're like, don't say queer. And I was like, what? I call myself queer because I just think it's a better word for what I am. And people are like, that's a slur. And I'm like, that's a reclaimed slur. But I but but like people can say queer and straight people can say queer in a sentence like, oh, my sister's queer. Right. Like, of course, my sister's queer. Like, I wouldn't tell my straight siblings not to call me queer because it's a slur. But like, it's still a slur. So it's kind of interesting when we're having the conversations. Right. It's not about being hard. I just think you're attributing it to something that it's not. If if Cheezer calls Aiden an F word, I don't think gay people listening are saying, oh, my God. I am so fucking hurt and alienated and fucked up by this. He portrays I think you, something. No, no, I think you, I think Hassan, I think other people are offended for it because they can be, but I don't think the gay person, I, and look, I don't have the stats. You're not the, the gay, one to make the choice. Total, you're like a neither straight. Are you. Neither are you. Neither are you. It's why I take their word for it. Whose word? Who? Oh, oh fuck. I move forward in the conversation. Damn it. I move back in the conversation. Oh, no. I hate when I do this. <gasps> Does anyone know where I was at? Hold on. Oh, I hate when I do this. But wait, that's a really good point. Both of them are arguing on behalf of bubbles. This is why I'm saying I don't think language is universal. I think they're both right. And they're both wrong. They're both right, though. Damn it. I can't believe I did that. If you're going to say, um, transphobic, and do you want those people raising the children to speak up? On Twitch, I would have. Words, dude. Like, have you can just you chill out on two words. It's not like that are hurt by it like what who who's hurt by it where oh my god dude, my dude, you're off your rockers i don't think i'm off my rocker i'm not going to use the word right because i listen i somewhat agree with you but i do not believe inherently then the say word the end word hard r then say the end word okay what? first of all that's different a no word is inherently anything there's mouth sounds but the only people that use the hard r and word wise Come on. Like, that word is not being reclaimed, okay? The hard R is not being reclaimed. Just everybody, okay? Okay, okay. That's different. But also, like, it's just a word. But it's a word that means something. So it's like, both of these things are true at the same time. It means nothing because it's a word. But also, no one's trying to reclaim the hard R, okay? Because it's like, it's too specific. But the soft A... Everybody's reclaiming that, obviously. You know what I mean? But the hard R, it doesn't have any contextual, like it wasn't the one that was reclaimed. That's why we specified the differences between the hard R and the soft A, right? Soft A, is that what they call it? So you know what I mean? I feel like that's a bad argumentation. But like if he just said the word, just saying the word, I don't think you could argue is inherently bad. But obviously, I don't think anyone chooses to reclaim it. Like I don't say the hard R. I don't know anyone who says the hard R except racists. That's why it's weird, except like unless you're using it in an academic sense. Right. So like I don't know anybody that uses the hard R unless you are using it as an example of racism. I just don't know anyone who's reclaimed it. I don't know. I've never heard it in music. Like it's not like I hear it in culture. It's not like I hear it on Twitch. Like on Twitch, you hear Kai and all those are our I speed or whatever saying the N word all the time with a soft A. But like no one's using the hard R, bro. No one's using that except the racists. That's why you're not. That's why we don't say it. But like, okay, okay, just saying it inherently academically or like to make a point, I don't think is racist. But I again, if you use that word, it's kind of weird. It's a weird word to use. It doesn't make sense. Well, because I just told you, I somewhat agree with you. But you're not, but you're not black. You. But you're not black. So how can you tell that? What do you mean? But you're, you're not black. So clearly, you 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 can't say it's wrong. I prefer not to use it. I that, prefer that, not. So you 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 can't know then if it's right or wrong. So then you say that. What do you mean? I, I so, can't know what's right or so wrong. Who, I'm saying, so who is it up? For, so who is it up to? I'm saying who I'm is saying it up to then? If it's and word is bad to say, who's it up to? Say I, it. I, I I think it's person to person. That's what I think. 
I, th I think there are nasty words and I think the context matters. That's what I think. I think context matters and it's person to person. I think yeah. on Twitch alone, there are more white people that are upset at words that affect black people than anything. And you can, you can argue, oh, well, it's the people in power fighting for the minorities. Sure, in certain situations and context, I agree that's necessary. But when it comes to someone using the soft word N-word on Aiden's stream and we need to cancel him for being a racist, no, I think that's overboard. I think that's not the top farming. Yeah, F word or N word soft A. Yes. The hard yeah, R is. I did not say soft A. I said R. I said hard R both times I used well, this, this terminology. Oh. I, I, Wait, is hard R. Uh oh, am I doing it again? What's hard R? Wait. The R word, hard R. Yeah, hard R is the N word, and R word is redacted or redundant, right? I brought up F word and N word soft A. I brought up these two things. I brought up F word and N word soft A. You brought up hard soft R suddenly a. in our argument. Be be because it's a slur. Uh oh. Soft A is also it's a slur. The, it's the equivalency yeah. in both in both realms. It's an equivalency. Right. But I like I said, I, I truly don't believe that you're just being disingenuous then. I don't think I mean you're just I don't think Aiden's being homophobic when he uses the F word. How is it are you gonna, word how are you gonna put is up it? soft A against F word? You have to use the hard R. It has to be it has to be both slurs. You cannot use a fucking downgraded one, and then and then and then the most extensive one for for gays. You, you can't do that. You have to use both mm. R. I don't think so. Wait, what? I don't think I don't think either words can be compared. Okay. I think re in respect to each situation, right? Like for example, right? The F word, in my opinion, right? The history of the N word is pretty clear right it comes from a very very bad place right culturally speaking culturally speaking even oh, back yeah. in the day when no so even in the back in the day when the n-word soft day was more normalized right it wasn't for you but in america people used it like brother right we said it like what's brother? up dude what's up brother? but we said soft day n-word instead up, right it was normalized right but even in that time the hard r was never okay it was never okay even in that time right the F word in that time, th that's why I bring up F word and soft A, right? Hard R was never normalized. In the any hard point. R was okay for a long time. No, no, it was soft. No one, no one ever said, what's up, hard R? People said, what's up, soft A? Oh, wait, it was used wait, as dude and oh my goodness, brother, brother, as an American. Hard R was normalized in slavery days. In slavery days. Even, it's all even after, it was, still, it was still normalized for a long time. Right, right. No, I'm talking about the casual talk. I'm not talking about the actual. It was still racism. casual, even after it was uh, uh, illegal. Like, it was you're still talking used. about. You're, you're talking about casual racist usage. I'm talking about casual non-racist usage. This is the problem that no one ever brings up, right? And like I said, I, I guess you could say, "Who am I to say that?" I'm a fucking brown guy saying that, right? But most people know what I'm talking about, right? What's okay. train? The, the same thing. What's trains ethnicity? It has, a, a it has the same the treatment. The F word was, there was a period of time with the F word where people used it very casually to just say something stupid, okay. right? That, right that, 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 that's what it was used for. So I believe we brought the worst extremes and we attributed it to every usage of it. Did we not? Hmm. I hear, I'll give you an example. If it's so bad, why do I hear gay men using the F word all the time? Why do I hear black men using the N word? Alice says we've come so far from rappers wearing thongs. Just a reminder, we started off with like rappers wearing thongs, transphobia, protect the kids, and now we're on hard R. <laughs> All the time. <sighs> Have you asked yourself that? Should we not eliminate the world, uh, the word altogether if it's this terrible thing? Why is it okay for the race that it, that use it to be okay if it's this terrible, horrible thing? Who if said, we eliminated who said it, was okay? the board, who said it was if, okay? Yeah, no, I don't see anyone fighting against it. I don't see the, uh, the, the, the white okay? warrior fighting against it. Wait, what? Because a lot of times they're, they're not... The, it's the same thing as you said earlier. You, you're, right. you're not gay. You're not black. You don't jump in and say, oh, I'm offended for you guys. Or whatever. You don't do that, do you? I, I, correct. Exactly. So what's the problem then? That's my point. That's my point. Bro, what? I'm what not going to use it because, listen, when I say I somewhat agree with you, I, I feel as if... I, I, I feel like the F word is a nasty word. You understand? That's what I feel. That, that's He's Iranian? Habibi party. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so are they just basically arguing that Train is willing to say certain things? That Train isn't willing to stop Aiden from saying certain things on kick, but he doesn't use those words? 
and Felix wants him to be more consistent with that because I feel like that's that kind of makes sense to me. So when I say I somewhat agree with you, yeah, I, I think it's a nasty word to use. But I don't believe people who use it are inherently homophobic. Yeah, I agree I with that. I agree with Train. I don't think people are inherently homophobic for using the F slur. But I wouldn't be surprised if they leaned less pro-LGBT. But also, LGBT people use the word all the time. Obviously. But obviously with your friends, see, that's a problem. Mm, I don't think, I don't know if he wants to be sick. I used to say the F slur on stream a lot. And then I didn't want to break TOS, but I'd never thought about it much because like, I obviously grew up a millennial. We all said the F slur. And then of course my siblings say the F slur because like all half of us are gay. And then of course we're all saying it together because we're all gay. And then it just becomes this whole thing. But like, obviously I stopped saying it on stream. I also worked really hard to stop saying the R word. Sometimes it slips out. And I do that for you bitches. I'm not going to stop saying dusty yet. You bitches are so sensitive, but like, not really. But I did stop doing those things. Not for me. But for you, because I'm a nice bitch, okay? Maybe one day I won't say bitch anymore, right? Maybe I won't say bitch anymore. Maybe I shouldn't even cuss at all to get that back. I'll get them. I'll get more AdSense if I stop cussing altogether. So again, it's like this whole thing where I think if we're being honest, there's obviously some people don't use the language whatsoever. And then some people use it sometimes. And then some people use it because they're homophobic. And some people use it because they're racist. And some people just use it because they think it's funny. And some people just like, you know, everybody, it depends like who, who is the person consuming it. Now, is Aiden, is Aiden homophobic? I mean, a little bit, you know, a little bit, but also I don't know if he would, he's like light homophobic. You know, the question is, would he vote against LGBT rights? Then I would say, if you vote anti-LGBT civil rights, you're homophobic, transphobic. That's how I kind of feel. You know what I mean? You know, you know. Saying something that's homophobic, but I don't think they are homophobic. That's all I'm saying. Okay. okay. I'm not going to sit here and- It comes down to personal choice at this point. Label them homophobes. Well, I mean, there's, there's a, right? comes a, there comes a point where you can arm them with enough information, data, and people and knowledge, and be like, hey man, like they are genuinely some people who feel like they are attacked when they hear that shit. Sure. And I think that there's validity there. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. There is. Yeah, though. I mean, yes. And I think in that situation, you, right, the, the human has a choice, right? Yeah. To so, so, be a fucker so, or not. Yeah. So let's say Aiden's in a call with somebody who is gay and he uses that word, right? Alex said, I don't know if people use the R word without malicious intent. I just look down on them. Expand your vocabulary. But vocabulary is is contextual. So like, I don't, I don't know if you really believe that. Like, I don't, I think you believe that, but I don't know if you actually believe that because the R word was the nice way. It was the nice word at some point, And now it's the bad word, but it was the compassionate word at some point, And now it's the non-compassionate word. So we don't, it's not about expanding your vocabulary. It's about accepting the fact that humans just change what words mean. And then we have to adapt so yes, we're expanding our vocabulary, but we also are acknowledging that we, we've we decided the word means something. Like, so again, it's it's like we have so much power that we can change what a word means because it doesn't mean anything. So I'm not sure if you mean, you could you really look down on people? Like, oh, was, but it still is. We move forward, but we only move forward because it's weird to judge people for using a word that they might not have that relationship with. Right? Like, I couldn't imagine judging someone for using a word that they don't have the modern context with. But also, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, you do you, right? Like, agree to disagree. But I agree we move forward and we adapt. Yeah. And also, public language is different from private language. Like, genuinely, the R word is so neutral in so many bubbles. It doesn't mean anything. It just means you're dumb. And so, like, if dumb is, like, we, like, it, I just couldn't even imagine thinking 8 billion people on the planet can't use a word just because we're having the experience with it. Like nothing is universal. So, okay, fair. Yeah, it's so contextual. I just couldn't imagine it. But like, you know, everyone does them, right? I couldn't. I can't look down on different cultures for being different from me because that's what you're saying. You're saying, I'm going to look down on people for being different than me. And I can't do that. But I, I mean, I look down on myself for not living up to my own standard, but barely. I just, I can't look down on people from being different from me. I just feel frustrated and sad 
but I don't think I look down on people. I think I try not to do that anymore. Yeah. Mm. In that yeah. situation, that is in no situation is it okay. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But I think there's a different situation with Aiden using the F word in a derogatory, terrible way and him using it casually with his friend. In my worldview, both are nasty. But one is one thing and the other means something else. And people are too scared to say that. When Aiden is calling a gay man the F word, that is a homophobic way he's using it. When Aiden is calling Cheezer the F word, in my opinion, it is a non-homophobic way of using it. Both ways are nasty. Do you understand? I don't like how, you know, in the period of time we're on Twitch, both ways meant you are a homophobic piece of shit. I don't think that's true. Do I think the word should be used because of that? No, I don't think it should be. So, but I don't think I just, both I see are what you're I see what you're So you, you're talking in a way that isn't broadcasted to the world then? If you can control your audience, if you control who is listening and who's there, what your audience is, yes. If you're in private and you're doing that, sure. If you're yeah. if you're in public and there are other people listening, the ball game changes because mm. you don't know how they feel about it, right? And there yes. is a pretty significant. What... We have enough data to say that a lot of people feel hurt by that word, right? If you want to, if you want to still use it and say, ah, fuck them. If they feel hurt, fuck them. Then that's just you're being kind of a fuckhead. You're being no, I inconsiderate. Agree. I agree. It's I why agree. I don't use the R word. Why? I want, to see, I want to see the data where people are like, I want to see the the, the ethnicities or the sexes or the gen, so not sexes, the genders of the data of who is offended. It, it just it really feels like, like I said, and and the, the, the same thing goes to the LGBT stuff, right? The LGBT stuff, everyone, and this is anecdotal, so it might not apply to to, to a generalization, but anecdotally speaking, every LGBTQ person that I know. Right. And I know people use this as an argument that's terrible, but every that's why I said it's anecdotal. Mm -hmm. Every LGBT person I know, all the extreme stuff that you see these political streamers and other people preaching for the you know greatness of the world, generally they say that shit's crazy and extreme. Mm -hmm. We just want to be treated equally, we just want equal rights, and we want to yes. be right yes. labeled the way we, we say. That's what they it's no it's it's normal, okay, general logical shit. Yes, you understand. So yes. what yes. I'm saying is it feels as if the people who use these topics to farm clout and feel good points are like yes. are You're making right. these You're narratives right of people across the board. Right. It's not really the significance of what it is. It's more much more like the impact and what you want to be as a person, okay? The reason why I stop saying the R word is simple. I said it the time I try to say it anymore. Sometimes it slips out whatever, whatever. I yeah. try Same. not to. Okay, and it's a simple concept. Why? Okay, there's two people that I met in real life. Okay, that I, I um, and I used to play professionally. I met two <clears> people. Okay, one only had like a speech impediment or whatever. One of them was was actually mentally disabled. Okay, and yes. then and then I went up to the stands and I went up to them and I signed their T-shirts and they were like, "Can you sign this?" And they were obviously very like they were. One of them was like mentally uh, uh, challenged or whatever, right? It right, was it was hard right. for him to even speak or fucking walk around. Okay, and the only thing I thought about was that. He does not watch my stream every day, and and he watches my stream, right? And he says he, he sees me in a game. Says, "Yo, dude, you're you're throwing my game. You fucking R word." He, I know for a fact that it's a it's a he, he catches a stray bullet, right? Mm. And that one is gonna feel belittled, to feel small, to feel attacked every day. Yeah. Just for, and it's just for that. I just stopped using it. It's a personal choice. Yeah. I don't want to be a fuckhead. So if you know for a fact that some people are hurt by your words you're saying, mm. and people are like, you said the F word, like, yo, yo, dude, like, I'm gaining it, and you keep using that, it's kind of annoying. If you say, yo, fuck you, I can say whatever I want on the internet. And like, okay, you're just kind of being a fucker, dude. Like, it's yeah, not- I feel Yeah, obviously we pick and choose language. Like I said, I've tried not to use the R word. I try to mitigate my language. I try to be careful about who my audience is. It's difficult because it is frustrating because people put a lot of intent on you that doesn't exist. And so that can get emotionally draining. And then people judge you and imply things about you that aren't true. Um, and so it's kind of difficult. And so, again, I think the world says they want authenticity, but what the world wants is to feel safe. And so that kind of is contrary to wanting authenticity because if I, you know, I think and authenticity isn't always good, but it is one of those things where, or maybe your authentic self isn't always digestible. But I think on the internet, especially and in society, we should be less authentic and more reasonably authentic. And I think at home or in our bubbles and our safe spaces, we should be the most authentic. And I think that that's important because authenticity, um, if you're a good person, kind of 
overrides I think what language conveys so obviously like I've even tried to do that with my stream I think I'm more on XQC's intentional side here where I as a streamer would prefer to use language that is most heard but also maintain as much authenticity as I can in myself and again I don't mind masking for the bag right and I don't mind masking for my community and I don't mind I just want to send out the right message which is genuinely like I'm not trying to be mean I'm just trying to be myself and I'm never trying to actually like discriminate against you because I don't even believe in gender or believe in like all these things. I think they exist, but I think like we shouldn't judge people based off of them because like what does that matter, right? But I don't want to send the message like I would hate to have an – if I started noticing I had an audience of like transphobes or racists, I would obviously like change my language. And I do try. Honestly, guys, if I'm going to be real with you, even the fact that I say like what even is gender, I am doing that to kind of make the transphobes go away. Because I'm less likely to have transphobes in my audience if I let them know this is like a trans inclusive space. And I'm less likely to have conservatives in my audience, generally speaking, if I make it clear I'm pro trans children and their rights. So I am trying to signal to the right audiences like my content isn't for you, but I wish you the best. And so even language in that way is probably pretty clear. But I also agree with train to some extent. Like I think both things can be true because of bubbles and culture. So I will say that. It is it is interesting when we're having these conversations. I think obviously thing is about context because language is a construct. But as a streamer, I can understand XQC's perspective more than anything, which is how do I as a streamer make sure I'm having a better relationship with my audience? I think my audience is amazing. And I, I hope that's a reflection of me and you working together to try to like be kind to one another while still being ourselves, which can come off a little abrasive sometimes, Right. But I, so I agree with XQC's energy, but I also agree with Train. It's like, it's definitely very nuanced, yeah. It's not these big labels. You're being kind of a fucker. If you can be less of a fucker, do you want to be less of a fucker? I like to be less of a fucker. I try to be. Yeah. Me that's too, and that's, and that's why I don't use the word, right? Mm. But like I said, there is a certain point. Like, for example, we rest in peace to a community member I used to have. Uh, she did not like the use of the R word. Right mm. or the use of the a word. Hold on, I right? say poor. I don't say poor. If you're poor, you can change your fucking life. There are things you can do to take control and fix your shit. If you're fucking R word in a way and you're men disabled, you can't change that. You're fucked. You're fucked. Yo, you're XQC is so passionate right now. I can't handle it. Oh my gosh. Yaya says, what percentage of masks do you usually wear in stream? Like 50% or 30%? You know, that's a good question. I will have to meditate on that. I don't think about it that much. Um, obviously not too much, which is good. I don't think I have to mask too much. Um, probably on the lower end than the higher end for sure. Mm, in some ways, I get to be more myself on stream than even in my local community, since my local communities are pretty religious and stuff, and I try to be nice to them. Um, I would say that my stream space is a really good safe space for me. I feel like I get to be the most myself on stream. And of course, in my own bubble, I get to be all of myself. And then, of course, in front of my partner, I get to be all of myself. But I would say on stream, it's definitely less masking than more masking. And then on my Discord, it's even more less masking than masking. I feel like because my Discord's 18 plus and people pay to be there and it's like the Britney filter. Like if you like how I talk and you're willing to talk to me on Discord, I'm definitely less filtered there um, than on stream. But I would say on the lower end for sure. Definitely on the lower end. Yeah, I don't know the percentage, but definitely on the lower end. So you can change your shit. <laughs> so hear you me out. You can change your shit. Holy fuck, it's not that hard yeah. to understand it. So hear me out. So if you're black, you're black. It. Like holy fuck. <laughs> There was a uh, female, uh, right, in, in, in my community. A she female. She passed away, rest in peace. She didn't like us using the A word and R word. And even when my friends use it, I feel a little uncomfortable. The A word is autistic, right? Oh. Now, oh. right, in the Discord, we did. People think I'm in the other bubble. When I say, like, are you an autist? I'm like, oh, look, acoustic. I just think it's funny. But, we're, like, I'm basically pretty positive I have autism or I am autistic or I'm ADHD at least. Maybe not autistic. My sibling has autism. My sibling has ADHD. And I feel like it definitely runs in the family. I definitely am, like, ready to get diagnosed or at least being told I don't have it or I do, I am or I'm not. But, like, a lot of things would make sense. So when I say, like, do you have autism, I'm not saying it like these community is. I'm saying it like literally, like, do you have autism? 
because that would make a lot of sense. But but when they the boys say it, they mean it as an insult because they think autism is a mental illness. Like there's a bubble. I just realized this. There is a bubble that thinks autism is a mental illness. They think lots of things are mental illnesses that aren't. I mean, hell, even I used to think like things were – like I used to think borderline was a mental illness. But it's not a mental illness. Like autism isn't a mental illness like in the way that you're thinking about it, Right. So like when I say you're autistic, I'm not saying it like an insult. I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Like you're autistic. Like you have autism. But th when they say it, they're saying like you are less than because your autism makes you less than. Like when people say, OK, when I say, oh, are you autistic? I mean, I'm going to take your language differently. When they say you're autistic, they're dismissing your opinion as valid. And I didn't realize that. So when I was going into those communities and using autism, when people say they have autism, they think you're using it as an excuse to be a bad person or they're saying your opinion matters less. Oh, you're so dumb. You don't understand the context because you're autistic. No, I'm saying, oh, you're autistic. So you understand the context, but you're saying it in this way. Do you know what I'm saying? Like when I say, oh, are you autistic? I'm just saying, oh, then of course I think autistic. People with autism have empathy, which is another thing people don't think, or that people, autistic people understand context. They just have a different way of understanding it, but it's the same conclusion. They just say it different. So I had no fucking idea. Okay. I had no fucking idea that these communities thought when I was saying, oh, are, like, are you autistic? That I was saying like, you're too dumb to understand what we're talking about because you have autism. That's what they mean when they say it against me or other people. They're like, oh, I think Brittany's autistic. And I'm like, you're saying that in a weird way. Like you mean it as an insult. Isn't that interesting? I'm fast. I'm bubble pop, bros. We didn't use the word like around her, right? We never used the word around her. And we made it clear to anyone that was going to be in the call that to not use these words, right? Now, I generally try not to use these words, period, right? It's going to be very rare you hear me say, you know, this is autistic, right? Because of, you know, my experience with the community yeah. member and, yeah. right? But like I said, when my friends use it, do I feel a certain type of way because I know someone's being hurt by it? Yeah, I do. But I'm not. What I'm arguing isn't the, us being able to use the word. I think you get too... what, 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 what I'm arguing is the label that goes on the person using it. Do you understand? Like, yes, but that, that's, I, that's obtuse. Because the I, I density of that. hurt is much littler and the, 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 the vulnerability is much bigger. If you have... You have you, I always say my friends are fucking autists, okay? Wonder why? Because they generally are fucking autists. I think everybody, most people are on the spectrum. We're all fucking autists, okay? Yes, some of them. I mean, I think a lot of streaming communities have autism. I think it would take a very neurodivergent person to watch a streamer, to consume a lot of streams, to hyper-focus on like all these things. Like maybe not autism, but maybe the HD or other things. You know what I mean? them are more severe and they might feel hurt i don't feel like they're getting that, that hurt or that there's that me talking with a fucking autist it's it's a it's a it's not you're being not being as of a fucker as when you're saying f word it's not the same density of hurt in my opinion that's why i choose to use one and not the other one no but do do you understand like what, what's going on but like my listen uh we, we agree more than you think and what you just said like it's not what you think you just said like what you just said proves my point do you understand what you just labeled as you know what you think hurts other people more right uh, just think about what you just said it makes no sense to what you just argued for the f word and the soft a hmm. what right like because the argument you use for those where it hurts people right so it shouldn't matter what the cause is if a word hurts people right we should honor not saying it if you're only honoring not saying it because it's hurting the popular thing. Oh, I see thing what you're doing. I, that's lame. That's lame. I, I'm not, no, not, 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 not going to argue that. No. Just, that's just lame as fuck. You're no, being no, lame I as do, fuck. No, no, I you're being really lame. It. It's lame as fuck. <laughs> what? No, listen. I'm telling you I disagree with it all. I'm not telling you I believe in bro, that. Bro, bro, bro. What you're saying, what you're saying is I will shoot one bullet and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit a thousand targets, right? Oh, okay. you shot a bullet and hit one guy out of ten shots. Dude, that's just really wrong. It's as wrong as the other one. Dude, the, you, can, the, the, you can definitely tell if something's gonna be hurtful at, at, at a high impact and one isn't. Choose your shit and try to be nicer. Oh brother, brother, it's brother. It's not brother, that brother, big brother. of a deal, brother, dude. Brother, brother, just be brother. nicer. Oh man, that, that, no, that point of view to me is crazy to have. That, that's crazy, bro. What? what mm -hmm. Listen, if I would have asked you, 
six years ago, 10 years ago about the F word, you would have said the same thing about autist as you said about the F word. You would have said, oh, yeah. it's not hurting how many people. It's, it's called casual, progress. Right? <laughs> right, so what? So my point is- It's called is, progress, we move uh, on. Right, but my point is if you hold it consistent, right? <laughs> if you hold that viewpoint consistent, then you would apply it to all the words. We, we, you wouldn't say, oh, well, it's hurting less people, so it's okay, right? That's just what we know now. My point is I disagree with the entire thing. Do you understand? I believe, listen. Then say somebody, with the art, Arden. What say are you it. talking about? Then say it. I prefer not Have to Have some say fucking balls and fucking say it already. I prefer not to say it. What else? What does that have to do with anything? Then you're a hypocrite. Why am I a hypocrite? Because you're a hypocrite. I don't use the F word. I don't use the F, the, 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 the hard R N word. Do I, I say I, it in I public? I say yeah. that there's high impact ones. And there are ones that, that aren't too bad. I pick and choose what I, what I, what yeah. I say to try to not cause too much damage yeah, okay. and not to but be a I, fucking yeah, bitch ass. You say, oh no, it's Are they saying the same thing now? I'm so confused. Did I lose the conversation? I feel like they're both saying the same thing, that they're picking and choosing which words to use to mitigate harm. They're just disagreeing on the line of the harm, which by the way is what we're mostly disagreeing with always. Most of the world is always disagreeing on how to prevent harm. So the 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 world really, like the road to hell is paved in your good intentions. I feel like at this point they are, they are arguing the same point. They're just disagreeing on how to, where the line is drawn and the harm creating, which is what we're all doing, right? Always. Black and white. Okay, what you want to be in the black area ten then? Year, ten Fucking years ago, My argument is 10 years ago, what you're arguing now for autist, 10 years ago, people argued for F word. Correct? Correct. Right? So all I'm saying is yeah. if you're going to hold this, if you're going to hold this virtue signaling idea, then at least apply it to all possible worlds, even if now you don't have the data. No. To no. show that it hurts a lot of people. No, no absolutely not. Because we're not there why yet. Is there, why does Interesting, interesting, interesting. Mm, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I I think progress is gonna look different. Like I don't think we go into a linear line except on the macro. I think we'll kind of sway. I think whatever slurs we think are bad now, our kids will probably be using later. Like, I'm not concerned with, like, that's why I think it's all, like, a trend. I think it's just, like, the time. Like, Christ is King was always something you said growing up in a Christian bubble. But now if it's going to be used as a dog slur, like, or dog whistle, sorry, dog slur. If it's going to be used as a dog whistle, like, we're not going to use it, right? Um, But that's the problem is, like, it's only temporary. In, like, 50 years, it won't be that way. Or in 100 years, it won't, probably 100 years, it won't be that way. So it feels like, yeah, hmm. That's interesting. Do you like I wouldn't use Crisis King now because I wouldn't want to be associated not that I'm Christian, but I wouldn't want to be associated with Fuentes and Candace Owens because like they're using it in a weird anti-Jewish way. It's like very confusing. So I would stop saying that if I was a Christian, but also I would almost like want to reclaim it if I was Christian and say like no, you're not going to take this from us because you're an anti-Semite. Like absolutely not. We're not going to let the racists win. So it's kind of confusing. Like, when do you stand up for a word not changing? And when do you go with the progress of the word changing? And then, you know, because it is all a construct. It only means something bad if we decide it means something bad. And so it's hard because in some ways you're kind of letting people win. But also in other ways, like the hard R, no, hard, yeah, the hard R, it kind of like doesn't have a context outside of being a pretty bad word that I've ever heard of. So I, you know what I mean? I kind of, yeah, I feel like at this point, again, bubbles are so interesting. We all... We're all all just arguing about where the line in the sand is for all of us. We have a I have a line, you have a line. We all have a line. Everyone is different. Some people won't say a slur, but they'll cheat on their wife and justify it. Some people will say a slur but not cheat on their wife. You see how everyone's different. Everyone has a different line of what matters. Does it only apply to the cool popular things that people are fighting for now? Why not apply them to a consistent because, philosophy? Because it's called progress. Mm. We get the places by understanding more and we, we go we we well, improve as people. If you want to say I decide not to improve, I'm a fucker and I will it's remain a, okay, then you're a bitch ass. Think, it is what it is. I, think, I mean, yeah, sure, you I can think, be a bitch as I you think, want to. I think people use these things. I think people use these things for some feel good points. Progress, brother, I don't think we're not progressing because Aiden Ross calls Cheezer an F word. Like, like in my opinion, these are all virtue signal takes. I don't think- I think we're probably progressing a little less if Aiden Ross doesn't believe in the civil rights of LGBT people. If everyone believed in the civil rights of everybody else and you slurs, maybe the world would be a better place. Maybe the problem is that we're worried about slurs because we're still denying people civil rights. What if we lived in a world where everyone had their civil rights, but language became 
the only issue we had to face. Now that would be an interesting world, huh? No physical violence allowed, just words, which could be just as painful, let me tell you. Let's get to that point. If we can get to humanity to the point where zero violence was, like physical violence was occurring and everyone had their civil rights and the biggest monster we had to fight was language, we would be debating, we would be debate broing in these streets like the Romans, bro. Move over Socrates and Plato. We're about to argue with each other on the streets, bro. Society is not progressing because Cheezer calls Aiden Ross and Wrong. I, I don't believe I, I, I don't I, believe I, I disagree. Okay. Because, because you think that a child that wa or, or, or an adolescent or a young adult uh, watches the stream and says, oh yeah, I know for a fact, he doesn't mean it like this, because this and this and this and that. These people, these, the these people don't fucking think at all. They, they're brainless. The they see something, they do it, dude. It, it, on, it is what it is. Like, it, they don't the think, parents. dude. X, it's on the parents. And if that argument is true, then you wouldn't gamble. Like, that's not fair. Oh. You're virtue signaling on every way. Oh my it's goodness. on the parents. If that's you on make, the parents. If you make it an effort to talk about it and do say, guys, I'm using this in this way. I don't do this, don't do that. I'm using it with this was That's fine. Does she just say, yo, yo, F word. By the way, guys, I don't mean like that. It's just me and him are like this. Do you see that? He absolutely fucking doesn't. Oh, no. He has no fallback on its usage. X, Nothing. X, 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 listen. You and I agree more than you think. You and I agree more than you think. All I am, yes, in an idealistic world, we wouldn't, in an idealistic world, we wouldn't use the F word. We wouldn't use these things. But listen, we're not in an idealistic world. I do not believe, you understand? We're in this world. I do not believe when Aiden calls Cheezer an F word, it is hurting. I don't, and I, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. I know I am because I can't say because I don't have the data to say it. But I don't think it's hurting the amount of people, you or the others that are sitting here on top of your mountain screaming, stop using the words hurting people, you're all homophobes. I, I don't I don't think it is. Should we try to eliminate We're on the same page. vocabulary? We're yes. On the same page. yes. I, I, I've never said somebody's homophobic for doing something. I've never said somebody's racist for doing something. I, I've never, not even, not even once, well, I think, said or labeled anybody okay, well, as, as a label I, for saying something. Like, it's never happened. Because I, I just not something I do. Yes, I, I, like, when I say we generally I just, just agree, be, be better. Like, yeah. When I say we generally agree, I, that's what I agree with. Hmm. Be better, eliminate be better. it, understand be it better. can hurt people. Understand it can hurt people. But like I said, I don't think, right, the arguments that used to be used, you know, when Cheezer would say the F word randomly, when you'd say, oh, you know, Snaggy, you're an F word, right? I, I do not think, and I'm not referring this to you, I'm referring to other people, right? You were instantly labeled a homophobe. I don't think that is, that that should be. Because what is that now? Think about it. What are we doing to eliminate the usage of that word? We're using fear tactics to eliminate the use of the word. The, the, do you think Cheezer understands why the word shouldn't be used? Or do you think he's not using it because he's going to be canceled? That's why we're never going to progress. Do you understand? Because people are only not doing things out of fear of something happening mm. to them. What we need to do as a society is educate. They need to understand why you don't. That's true. Train is trying to meet people where they're at, which I think I try to do as well. And I agree with that ideas like me people where they're at i don't want people to be performative but also i understand like businesses need to make decisions right but i think people should change because they genuinely believe it i understand from a business perspective you got to put down some tos rules and i believe that's okay but yeah in terms of actually getting people to change i think it should be a real change i would start not with aiden saying the f word but with aiden wanting to understand like civil rights for lgbt people should be validated and that includes lgbt teens so this idea that LGBT teens, children don't exist is just not true. And I'm one of them. Okay. Living in a world where people didn't accept queer people not only gave me borderline personality disorder, but I had to live my whole life from the age of nine until 30 wanting to unalive myself because I didn't understand where I belonged in the world until I radically accepted myself and said, you know what? The world's business and opinion of me is not my business. It is my business to do my business. Okay. So like if you're upset with LGBT people existing, that's not my business. But also we should fight for our civil rights. Okay. So ultimately, I think we should be focused on getting people to understand, support people's civil rights, and then we can talk about slurs. First, civil rights. The problem is, is that people say, I'm not homophobic because I use the F slur. Okay. But are you homophobic if you deny civil rights for queer people? And then I don't know what they're supposed to say after that. Well, my God tells me I have to be this way. Okay separation of church and state genuinely with peace and love i'm happy to fight for religious civil rights but not at the expense of queer rights you have to understand this right and look queer people being in charge slash having civil rights we 
you know, we're not going to take away your religious rights. The only reason people want to take away your rights is because they're afraid of you. Maybe we should be thinking about that. You know, when religious people say like, why do LGBT people, why are they so afraid of us? Um, Ma'am, you're literally advocating for us to have our rights taken away. Hello? Don't say the word and why you shouldn't say the word. That's why you and I agree more than you think we agree. I just think this, what I'm arguing is the cancellation, the labels, right? Uh, uh, alienating people for using certain words. Mm -hmm. Now, this doesn't count hateful shit. Hateful shit, I don't fuck with. You understand? If Aiden were to call, you know, a gay man, a, you know, F -word, Cancellation isn't real. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is the intention of it. The intention of it, I have an issue with, right? The intention of it, I have an issue with. So like I said, I, I think we agree more than you think we agree. I, I, I do think you're right when you say, don't be a shitty person. I agree with that, but I think who is, I think the people on the internet, the vocal minorities who are dictating who is a shitty person, I think they are, um, what's the word? I think they're compromised. Hmm. I think they're compromised. I don't think they're being honest. They're compromised. And you ask of, from what? They're compromised by clout. They're compromised by views. They're compromised by feel good points. They're compromised by virtue signaling. Do you understand? To get clout. And that's all I'm saying. Because more often than not, I've experienced. So right, like, cook those guys then and don't, I, I don't think you should. You should. That, that's what I'm telling you. That's all I'm telling you. I, I wasn't attacking you. I was attacking the Twitch wash, right? Yeah, because I, I don't think you've ever seen me do any of those behaviors ever before. No, X, X, your I friend, care so little about this shit. No shit, you're friends with Aiden. Aiden uses the word all the time. Exactly. So I don't actually give a fuck. I, just, I try to be better. For, no I try shit. to be good. Yeah, so do I. You don't seem using the F word while I'm a kid. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Just try to be yeah, you, and, you and I have kept the exact same. Okay, so basically it's two friends having a conversation that ended up being a debate, but neither of them were really going to stop being friends with each other or Aiden over it. Vibes. Vibes. Ideas and philosophies moving from Twitch to kick, right? Neither of us has changed using crazy shit. Have I become a little edgier? Maybe, but I've always kind of been edgy. Even Nick Palm has said multiple times, you know, I'm a very edgy and I make a lot of racist jokes, right? He said, if I, I, I remember Nick Palm said on Twitch where if I could be truly me, I would be a hundred K viewer streamer. Yes. Right. Yes. I just think, I think there's a period of time where, you know, like earlier on the Aiden stream X, I brought up the, uh, I brought up the two gender thing. Right, the two you know we keep using gender and sex, the two sex thing, right? Sex just sounds weird, so we use gender, right? I remember so clearly we used to I used to at least ban people, ban the phrase, right? I used to give rants about it. Why? At the time I didn't understand why. At the time, I did it because I was afraid of being labeled, of being perma banned. That's an issue. If they would have took the time to help me understand. Right, a mm. lot more good would have been accomplished, and I did end up on understanding. And I do, you know, I do believe there is male and female, but gender-wise, I think you, you could, there could be whatever you want. And I, and I always refer to people who want to be referred to as they. I refer to them as they. Right. They also cool use fear tactics, though, to uh, go against the narrative. Though people use, it happens on both sides. What do you mean? People use. Yeah. Oh my oh. God! If you let this happen, our child are going to become butterflies and fucking transformers. <laughs> or whatever. It's like Correct. it's the same fear tactic on both sides. It's like Correct. Just brain damage. Correct. Correct, correct. Yes. Both extreme sides are corrupt. I'm saying it. They're both corrupt. They're both fucking idiots. I think when it comes to like, you know, what content you produce, it's on the parents to be responsible and, you know. Parents are, are, are becoming more and more absent. People are being raised by what's around them. And parents, parents kind of were always absent, but not absent. Depends on the culture. Like, think about when children were working or think about parents who were never home or think about kids. Like, it just depends on your bubble. Some kids never had their parents around. There definitely were some ancient cultures where that wasn't the fact or there were some cultures where the family was everything and you did everything with the family and you were working, but it was kind of like a every bubble has a different relationship with family. I will say America seems to be struggling specifically. And I would say that that is economy based, but it's also that pressure to even have kids in the first place. Look, Good parenting is also not having kids. Being a good parent can be having kids or not having kids. Choosing to not have children is just as responsible as choosing to have children. Now, the question is, are we aware of how difficult everything is becoming? Now, again, if America wants people to have babies, you better make it more affordable. You better make it more affordable. And they're not doing that. And so there's little to no incentive to have children outside of like religious obligation or if you're open to life or pro-life or something like that. You know what I mean? 
So again, you know, yes, latchkey kids, exactly. People who raised them ki- themselves on television, people whose parents were TV shows. Now it's replaced with iPads and like, you know, the internet. But obviously you're really privileged if you can have a stay-at-home parent in some ways. Like your family has to make quite a lot of money to have a stay-at-home parent. And at the same time, maybe you can't afford childcare, so you have to have a stay-at-home parent. It's very complicated. But regardless, I'm not even sure it's the parents who are raising their kids badly or inadequately so much as I don't think people trust resources anymore. We're having a really hard time knowing who to trust. And I think the information we all have is limiting. I am I am not smart enough to homeschool my kids. And I don't think my parents are smart enough to homeschool me, which is why when we all went to public school when I was 15, it was a struggle. I don't think my parents are stupid. I think my dad's an amazing engineer and he's so smart. But what the fuck does he know about English? And what the fuck does he know about chemistry? And what the fuck does he know about other things? And what the fuck did my mom know about any of these things? So the idea that parents get it through their heads, like, I'm smart enough to teach my kids all these things. Like, okay, maybe. And I'm not saying teachers are perfect because they're people too, but they're definitely burnt out. And some of them are really trying and some of them are just there for a paycheck. So again, I feel like it's 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 so much more, right, than, oh, parents aren't raising people or the teachers aren't doing their job. Humanity has never been perfect. And this like image we have on the TV or wherever you're getting your information of perfection, it never existed. It was always going to be hard. It was just going to, it's going to be dependent on what kind of hard based off of how we work as a collective. The world is a reflection of us as a whole. Your life is a reflection of you as an individual, right? The world itself is a reflection of us as a whole as a species. But your life, your life is a reflection of you. And that's very, two different, very different games. I recommend focusing on the you part. And I think that will be a reflection of us as a whole. Some people think the reflection of a whole makes the individual. It's a little bit of both. Far too much. And that's just the way that the world is going. Prices are going up. Price of life is increased. Both parents are at work. Kids are fucking being raised on pixels. That's unfortunately the reality we live in. That's what it is. Yeah. And it it sucks. Good parenting is like, brother, it's like when people say, oh, dude, do you have a dog? Yeah, I have a dog. Good parenting is difficult because we don't agree on what it is. I highly recommend you're as present as possible in your child's life. So if you're going to have a child and you know you're going to have a child, pick a career that allows you to be as most present in your child's life as possible. If you have a child and it's not planned, make the best out of it. I don't, I think choosing the child is just as valid as not, you know, having the child go to term. But in general, here's two men talking about what good parents are. And I, I think that starts with seriously saying, be as present in your child's life as possible. And we have to be more honest about the fact that a lot of people aren't choosing to be as present in their child's life. And I think we can start there. How do we make sure parents stay together with their kids? A dog, you're a shit fucking owner. I truly believe it. 90% plus of dog owners it should be illegal for them to have a dog. The dogs are inside. They don't move. Oh, I kind of feel that way about people who become parents. Not that I want to control who has kids, but I think most people are bad parents. Most people are probably bad pet owners too. <laughs> but then we all kind of judge that based off of our subjective uh, values. You know? I wonder what they mean by bad parents. You know what I mean? Like, what does that mean? They, if you feel like you have to, I have to walk my dog, you're a shit fucking owner. Your dog. I kind of agree with that, actually. I I actually agree with this. Like, we're not getting a dog because we know we we don't have the spoons to take care of the dog. And we don't want to do that to the dog. But lots of people would be like, get a dog anyways. Get a dog anyways. And I'm like, no. I don't want to have to feel burdened by walking my dog. I want to be happy to do it. Same thing with kids. Don't have kids unless you really want them. And then if you're going to force a kid into existence, like, please be there for your child should have its exercise and it should have its love it should, as a yeah. standard and it's always capped out on its enjoyment it should never you know you should never have to have to walk your dog you shit fucking owner the same thing applies to children at a 10x value you should not have a kid oh i have to do this if you didn't want to do it then you should have fucked you fuck i almost said it fuck the mess <laughs>
Yeah, the- <laughs> I agree with that. Right. Yeah, but there I know are what, definitely you know, some, uh, par- you know, I'll, I'll say it with you. I'll say, cancel me with you, bro. I will say it. Some parents should not have had sex. Amen. There are some parents who should have used a condom mm-hmm. who should have not had sex. I will mm-hmm. say it straight up. There is, there is some fucked up shit going on. And I'll tell you what, Ronaldo is one of those kids that shouldn't have been born. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, Fucking Jesus. stable Ronaldo. I don't know who that is. I should have been, no, well, been one of the one that fucked his mom. <laughs> Low key, bro. Who are they fucking talking Ron. about? That motherfucker was annoying as fuck yesterday. Oh my god, fucking Ronnie Wani, huh? No, but I, I I agree with you, bro. There are uh, this generation is cooked. Parents need to get more involved in each of these fucking kids' lives because it's just. But yeah, like, I mean, it's it's what people, 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 people ask me if I if I want children or not, and they never understand my answer. It's not that I don't think yeah. I'm ready to be a dad. I think I think I generally am. I'm not ready to be a good dad, and I don't I don't think you should be. A dad it should be a good dad. You should Agreed. never strive Agreed. to. Am I ready to be a parent? No. You should be ready not, yeah, to I'm be not. a good one. To be there yeah. and actually fucking do the things that matter and take the time. Yeah. And I don't think I'll ever have that time because I'm just more focused on what I do. But that might change in the future, you know? It might change. It will change. I mean, it might change. Yeah. Yo, somebody get XQC pregnant, bro. No based. True. True. If I got pregnant, I would make the best out of it, but I wouldn't be the greatest mom right now. That's why I'm choosing not to have kids. I'm hyper focused on my career. I want to do this. I'm too sick with my fibro. It doesn't make sense. I just don't even fit my own standard. That's why when you guys hear me say like, oh, bad dad, bad mom doesn't tuck their kid in at night. I'm not talking about the parents that are doing everything fucking possible to be there for their kids. And it's a struggle, bro. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about privileged people that pick and choose to literally avoid spending time with their kids on a regular basis. Like, what the fuck? Which, by the way, I think that's bad parenting. And if you disagree with that, fine. But like, oh my God, XQC is so hot right now. What the fuck? You girl, somebody in my audience married this man, bro. Okay. But like, obviously he knows he's not going to be a good dad right now. He'll be a dad, but he won't be the good dad because he's too focused on his job. Based. Fucking based, bro. I, I, I'm in the same boat you are, and I'm older than you, and I'm in the same fucking boat you are. Like I am not ready. I'm I'm way too immature to have children. Way. Yeah, because look at Destiny. <gasps> <You know? laughs> so I said that because I did you chat on my second mod, and I wanted to have. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna die. I wanted to cook him. Just... Oh fuck! Those guys are probably roasting the fuck out of me. Holy shit! They're definitely roasting the fuck out of me. No, but yeah, overall, and it's not just parenting. I think that's necessary. <clears throat> I think the internet has fucked up a lot of shit, right? Because think about it. Like back in my day, if I had an opinion and I said something, like I, I remember one time in middle school, right? I said something and I got hit in the mouth instantly for it, right? That is like being eliminated these days, right? And maybe you could equate that to some sort of cancel culture, but it's not the same. Like I do think like, these situations that people are removing themselves out of by joining these like bubbles that are protecting <gasps> them is Oof, I just got so turned on right now. It's an issue. And yeah. I don't know how that's gonna fix because a lot of these people get to have these like hateful and fucked up opinions and they get to connect with other people who have those hateful and fucked up opinions. In that in that regard, I agree with what you're saying. So in that regard, but like I said, I think those are extreme cases that are being used to uh push different, you know, narratives. But like I said, I don't know. I think the reality that the reality checks being removed from reality that reality usually gives people is an issue. And I think parenting you to parent better. I, I don't know. I think my current problem is that people don't even understand what we're still talking about half the time. They try to make, yeah. make this is some weird shit. Like a lot of times we're like, um, this is like label me as like a, a fucking, oh, you just got a virtue cancel, whatever. Bro, I ain't one people that say it all the time. I don't, even, I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck, brother. And a lot of times it's just like, bro, I just strive to be a little bit better. But not perfect, right? Because there's some words that I hold on to. I'm like, I think this word is fine to use. I, I generally think the R word is fine to use. I just hate it to see that one person that saw the arena. And I don't want to hurt that person. That's, it has nothing to do with anything else. It's not because of cancellation. R word is whatever, dude. I don't want to hurt that one guy in chat. I don't want you. I would feel fucking terrible if it happened to me. You know? Yeah. I don't want to be that. Yeah. That's it. That's, there's nothing else. Oh, yeah. fuck Buddhas. Yeah, I think, listen, I... Like I said, I think I agree more than we think we do. I, I, I that's why I don't use the N word or the or the F word. I mean, I said the N word off stream when call I'm singing songs. Well, chat always says, "Call me poor Sag." I'm gonna stop using it if you guys are that hurt by it, okay? Brother, brother, brother. No, you should still use that. Call me poor, he says, dude, dude. Chat, I'm, t- uh, guys, I'm telling you, chat, you can fucking do it. 
You can, it's like being fucking bullied or being fucking fat as fuck. Okay, yeah, but- you can fucking do it. There, it might be harder for you because of what you, where you come from, or what you have as yeah. tools and your your day, what you have. And you have, it might be way, almost impossible. But if you say it's impossible to give up, you can only be poor and fucking die. Is that what you're gonna be? No, it will not. Well, you're I a think- fucking fighter, and you're gonna and you're gonna do something, and a good chance that you're gonna be fucking rich and overtake and fucking be a killer. You're not a fucking. He's talking to me. He's talking to me. I'm just kidding. But- you don't top over the fucking Jenga tower. Yeah. You are. You're going to fuck, and you're gonna fuck. You be a killer. Go out there. Do something. Fucking poor Andy. Christ, man. <laughs> that was a good motivation speech, but technically, statistically, only a, like one or two percent leave rich. But anyways, uh- Jesus train. Just let us dream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But realistically, you are rich um- by, by the action of fighting. <laughs> when you go out there and you fight. You you are rich and you yeah. you are him. When you give up, you are the, the as poor as it gets. Even if you have a lot of money, you're, you're a millionaire, Ooh. and you give up, you stop fighting. You are so poor, it's disgusting. You are so poor. That's here's how I, that's how I use that word. Yeah. Damn. So here's my context of what's allowed or not, right? And I'm I'm not the all seeing eye or the truth eye, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not this thing. But here's my idea. I think it's wrong to call someone fat. Okay, I think it's wrong. Someone who is fat to call him fat, I think is wrong. But if they are, if someone fat says, train, you are ugly, I am going to call that motherfucker a fat, obese, humpty dumpty motherfucker. You understand? <laughs> That's just how it is. That's the rules, I think. I right? think so too. I've said That's it vocally. I said, I, said, I, said, game. I keep saying it. There are labels that you should not, I think you should not attack people on that they can't really change that much or like it, it fucks them over. The reality is, most big ones are bigger than their actions and the same way that i'm a skeleton and unhealthy because of what i do know how i act that's my problem call me skeleton whatever if you're a big fucking fat slob yo dude like fair <laughs> game you're fat as fuck and it's it's your problem it's because of what you're doing dumb fuck and i think it's probably fair to call people out like that because i didn't call skeleton my entire life dude almost yeah. daily for my entire existence, to the moment, like, I, I, I- People call him a skeleton in his bubble, we call him a twink in ours. I was able to speak, or was in the words, skeleton. Okay, I was never mad by it, and if it felt like, oh my, I'm a lesson. If I wanted to eat more food, I would, and I would stop being a ske- Stop, Kaylin, that was exactly what I was thinking. Kaylin, are you in my brain? Someone clip this and make affirmations while you sleep video. Imagine this dude yelling you, inspiring shit when you're trying to fall asleep. I was just thinking we all need to listen to XQC on the way to bed. Skeleton. Therefore, if I call you big, glizzy, fat, bucket of lard, glizzo. Oh Lord. I'm also in my right to do that. Otherwise, cancel both, pussy. Like what? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yo, bro. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm just. Whoo. Like, I know, I know who you are. I know who I am. I know we're not hateful people. Like I said, I you know I try not to use certain words, but I don't know. I'm kind of I don't know. I'm kind yeah. of like in a place where genetics. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I, I, saw, I just saw a gun chat. No, the, go, 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 the, go, genetics, yeah. the genetics. The genetics. The genetics. The genetics. Regardless of genetics, regardless, of, if you stop fucking eating, there's a law of the world. There's a law out there. That's what. The, that's how the world operates on. Nothing is gained. Nothing is lost. Everything is transformed. If you don't fucking eat food, your body sheds, okay, and overall loses. If you don't put more, you don't gain. You don't eat, you don't fatten, you fat fucking bitch. Get on a bike, stop typing in chat, stop eating my fucking glizzy bitch. Christ, you're annoying. And that is the end of the video. That is the, we have one second left. That's the end of the video. That's it, baby. There we go. We did it. Holy fuck. It was quite inspirational. Look at my hair. Look at the way this part of my hair just like fanned out, bro. So annoying. That was great. That was that was something. Let me tell you. Lots of good stuff here. I think all of us have decided uh, XQC is now in the hot boy category. Um... And uh, yes, great ending, RK. I agree. You know, 
Mantis is based, based, totally. Great convo. I also really appreciate the convo we had in chat. I really appreciated that. It's like 2.14 a.m. my time, so I would like to go to bed. But this was great. And thank you to the Discord member who recommended this video. It was so worth watching it. It was so worth watching it. It was so good. And I really love to see the boy bubbles expand, you know, and pop their bubbles. Kwame says, have you talked to XQC? No, I now I kind of want to, but I never thought about what I would talk to him about before. Um, but no, I don't think our bubbles would overlap very much. But I mean, I'd be happy to talk to Felix. I think it'd be a good combo. Um, but yeah, I loved his rant about parenting. I love their rants about, you know, language. I think it brought up a lot of good discussion. I like that. Oh, I really hope that bubble has more of these discussions. Because like we might be having them here. But it's nice to see other people expanding and thinking like, what if we did it different? I'm like, mm-hmm, what if we did it different? I love that, you know? Alex says, I appreciate you reading my comments, but look down on. I more so meant gay judge, not moral judge. FYI, you made me sit and think on it more. Love that. Thank you for the clarification. I appreciate it. All right, guys, please have the greatest night. Uh, treat yourselves well. I will see you tomorrow. I'm okay, I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense, I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess, please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth, and living life as a fool.